So I'm live now. Uh, Mets will be here in a little bit, I believe. But I figured I would get started and uh, see what the hell everybody's up to because it's been a while since uh, since we streamed. And uh, yeah, so here we are. We'll see if anybody shows up. There we go. It's early on a Monday for us. Uh, I'm no longer... Hey, what's going on? Live, yes. Live right now. Mets will be here in a little bit. Um, early on a Monday for us. Uh, well, for me at least. I'm not at the theater, so I don't have to worry about being there till 10 o'clock. Then trying to figure something out shooting-wise here. Um, we were going to go see... Uh, Late Night with the Devil tonight, but um, we, we couldn't do that tonight. I'm going to go, I'm going to see it with Lana and Dave, probably when it starts streaming. And then Thursday night, I'm going to go check out Godzilla vs. Kong with Lana and Dave, and we'll do a, uh, we'll do a, um, we'll do a review then. How is everybody tonight? Dan Schneider, nobody cares, Martin used to give. Uh, I didn't see I I I I didn't see the Dan Snyder uh, documentary, but I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, professors in the house. How's everybody doing? The craziness have been you're getting stronger, like Rocky. That's good. I wish I was too. I am weak as fuck. Um, my knee is is wrecked. Uh, I and I had more. Ab <laughs> invasive uh, medical procedurals done today so I'm I'm in I'm not feeling great uh, let's see get that back um, Newt's live on a Monday uh, yeah um, obviously I'm not at the theater anymore so um, Mets and I had planned to film tonight anyway they were just waiting for their brother to get back with the car, and then they would come up and, um, yeah. I'm becoming the $600 man. Not even, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, the last few days, uh, although today was pretty funny, I, I posted it on my Facebook. I was explaining to the doctor how I hurt my knee, what I was dressed like when I hurt my knee, and he started laughing, and I was like, it's fine, I'm, I'm a parody of a tragedy, it's all good. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sore as fuck, so. Uh, did your old theater boss get mad at your Nicole Kidman parody? No! It wasn't anything like that, oddly enough. It was, um, it was more so just we've been butting heads for quite a while about, uh, a lot of things. Um, I didn't like the direction things were going in, um... And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not, uh, what's new at Mets? Mets is on their way. They'll be here soon. Um, yeah. Knee surgery is a bitch. Yeah, I, hopefully it's not knee surgery on need. It, the, my MCL is, is, uh, hyperextended. Um, Tony Goggles, who shot for me, um, the Darby's, uh, Scream House thing, um, he showed me the, uh, the footage and you hear the pop in my knee, it's it's audible. And then you just see the top of my head because I have that plastic wig on, just rolling around the floor. I was trying so hard to get back up, but I had a ring in my ear the entire time. I could not stand. And then um, they thought that I was they thought that I was acting. They thought that I was joking and I was like part of the character. I just I could not stand back up. It sucked. Um, but no, Mets is on their way. Um, they, uh, we, we tend to shoot stuff on Monday nights now. Um, and, uh, now that I didn't have work tonight at the, at the, the mall. So what happens to your knees when you have to, when you, I, I don't know. I, here's the thing. Like I'm, I keep getting worried that I'm going to have to like run down a shoplifter or something like that. Like I've done in the past. And I can't, like, I have a hard enough time right now going up and down steps here. Um, it sucks. I, it also, because, like, I, I toss and turn a lot in my sleep. And if I roll on it weird, it wakes me up. 
What's going on, Tony L? What's going on with you? Um, get any painkillers? No, I did not get any painkillers uh, because I am on other stuff for the other therapies that I'm having right now, so they don't want to mix anything and cause any kind of allergic reaction or anything like that, so it's been just raw talking it. Um, and I've had, like I said in my Ghostbusters review, I, I've had I've had cameras down my throat. I've had cameras in my in my penis. I've you know um, because I'm the man. I don't not not today. Um, you know and tons of blood work, really invasive ultrasound stuff. It's I I'm in like I'm in pain. Um, may you rise again like Easter Jesus. I uh, yes I w I hope so. Um, you know. Uh, it sucks getting old, you know, I, I genuinely hate it, um, but, you know, the deep inside, yeah, right, and I said in the one video, I was like, can I have that footage, and they were like, no, and I was like, you guys suck, that would have been fun to put on YouTube, um, yeah, we're on early today, well, I'm on early right now, um, I told Mets that, uh, I was gonna start around 7, 7.30, and then they could just join me when they get here, um, our plan tonight was originally to go to, uh, see a movie, but that didn't happen. Oh, thank you, Paris Spooky. No, I, I, uh, it's been a long, it's been a day of, um, use it for a horror movie. Exactly. I said I could use that footage in a lot, lot of stuff. That'd be fucking cool, you know? Like, imagine, like, a portal to hell, and it's just, like, camera inside my urethra. Um, yeah, they, they keep finding things, and, uh... Matt's just said, sounds good, so I'm assuming they haven't left yet, uh, which means you're going to be putting up with me for a while. Um, yeah, so, uh, Mets is on their own time frame, you know. Uh, might be going to see, oh, okay, I, I was going to go see it tonight, um, and then Dave wasn't feeling well, uh, so I'll have to wait till it hits streaming to see it, um, we went and saw Scanners on Saturday night when I finished up at the mall um, and did a really, really funny review for that one. Um, I don't know, I really want to see it and, and talk about how I don't think AI is a big deal, but, you know, please rebuild me. Please rebuild me and make me better. <laughs> Instead, I'm sitting in the shower like, like this, like I'm all like Dobby the house elf in there. Um, but, you know, it's what I tried to do. I tried to do a stunt, uh, see the evil all redheads. Yeah, so, you know, man, I might be cursed. I, I maybe the redhead has, is, like, using her, her witch powers. Like, for a little while, she thought that she was a witch. I'm sure that was a phase, but, um, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm, maybe they're working the voodoo doll or something like that on me. Um... No, the doctor said this was, like, years and years of just, like, not taking care of issues that I already had. And, um, it finally all just came to a head and, and, you know, so, yeah. And then I've been running back and forth to, to job interviews. Um, I had a quick one I had to go to yesterday on a Sunday, which was weird. Uh, and, um, I have two back-to-back -back on Wednesday. So, hopefully I'll get something pretty soon to kind of uh, replace the, the, the hours from the theater, um, I, uh, I had to wait for them yesterday to give me back my laptop and my check and, like, all my shit, so I was sitting around in a parking lot forever, which is, like, a dick move on their part, but whatever, it is what it is, uh, it's funny, other theaters have been like, are you, oh, you're a free agent now, I was like, I don't want to get back into that world, um, especially one of the theaters is pretty close to where people I used to work with, tend to, to hang out, and I don't, I don't want to have to run into those people again, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm avoiding theaters for the most part for now on, <laughs> but we're here now, um, can't stick around, wanted to, looking sexy as fuck, oh, thank you, um, I do need to shave, but I was like, I don't want to shave until, Wednesday, because I have that job interviews, and I'd rather be clean shaven, you know, um, what job did you get, nothing yet, I, I'm working part-time still, um, at the FYE, uh, food industry, no, not in the food industry, 
Um, well, I guess running the concession stands for years would, I guess, be considered a food industry job. Um, you know, handling all the inventory and, and all that kind of stuff, and uh, I guess was that, you know. Good luck with the interviews. Thank you. Um, so far, they've all gone really well. Uh, you know, I've met, moved up the ladder with things. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, they're all... Each of them is for something I've never done before, but it's tangentially related to things that I have done before. So it's operations management. Um, do Uber deliveries. I thought about that um, to make some extra money. Um, and I also took on another writing job with the guys I wrote scissors for, um, been going back and forth on all their notes and, and continuing to fine tune the, the massive outline that they gave me. Uh, um, does that you, yes, hot creamy farts is one of our, uh, is one of our regulars here. <laughs> Met him in, uh, in Ohio in person. Um, and he brought us all kinds of uh, snacks and, and drinks and stuff like that. Hopefully, I hope that Metz is bringing drinks and snacks too, because I need to go grocery shopping and I have not. Um, Uber isn't a side thing. It makes oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I've never. I I, I very rarely ever do like. Um, well, I guess I have done a lot of Ubers whenever I travel, um, but like I've never done, I don't know, I guess I've just never talked to any of these people to see how much money they make and stuff like that. Uh, if we ever want to send you stuff, how do we do that? I'm not sure if you're posted. Um, I will, yo, what's going on, 80-bit Eric? Um, hope all is well. Yeah, sore as fuck. Um, a lot of medical t stuff today. Uh... Uh, yeah, so I'm 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 tired and I'm uh, I didn't sleep very well last night because I knew that today was gonna have all kinds of getting poked and prodded and shit like that. So um, yeah, uh, I'll I'll figure out a place where if people want to send me stuff, where to send it. Um, obviously not to the theater anymore. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll set something up. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was uh, everything I've interviewed for so far has been operations management, um, uh, di widely different uh, industries. But you know, I, I've basically done all of those things already. Um, and while I'm not directly from that industry, uh, you know, the years of management skills that I do have. Um, Oh, okay. That'd be cool. Thank you, Joe. Um, yeah, uh, years of, of, you know, uh, running theaters and, and retail locations and hotels and stuff like that. A job's a job. Exactly. And right now it's just about making enough money to, um, yeah, if you want to come to Indiana and get you a job in a warehouse. I'm in Philadelphia right now. You know, I, I keep thinking about maybe getting the fuck out of Philadelphia and just starting my life over somewhere else. But, you know, it, right now it is what it is. Um, uh, yeah, years of operations management, scheduling, HR, OSHA, uh, electrical, plumbing, all that kind of stuff. I've done, I've done ev staffing, inventory, I've done everything. Um, and, you know, every job I go to, I, I've been thrown into something new that I didn't know before. So, um, you know, they were, they were asking a bunch of... Uh, Change of scenery would do be good. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I don't want to leave, you know, Mets behind um, and, you know, I, I, and Fallon behind and, and um, you know, I still do want to do some production stuff here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to come down the pike anymore. Come and live in Tucson. It's a great city for movies. I love Tucson. I used to live in Tucson. Uh, what do you collect beside posters? Nothing really anymore. Um... I, uh, I used to collect comics, I used to collect action figures and shit like that, film stuff, um, I've pretty much gotten rid of everything, um, in 2021, after I got let go from Screenwave, obviously, I sold my entire movie poster collection 
to put the down payment uh, for medical stuff, um, you know, with therapy, and then to get the comic book started as well. So I got rid of most of my stuff. I and I had an entire storage locker full, like a storage unit full of um, old movie posters. Now I have a couple, a couple, you know, things over here, and then everything that's framed in all the different rooms. But I've gotten rid of. Um, I thought I saw Fallon in a chiropractor video I came across. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. She's she's been in everything. Um. I had to get rid of my retro gaming collection when the stock market crashed. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, I sold my whole comic book collection off in 2006 to bit R.I.P. P. Diddy. Oh, didn't the FBI like raid his uh, his compound or something today over like sex trafficking? Shit. Mo money, mo problems. Am I right? Um, yeah, I sold off my whole comic book collection uh, to pay for cancer treatment in 2006. And uh, that was a huge blow to the ego, but you know, I'm still alive. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I, I, I love, um... oh yeah, no, there, uh, Malchik, there's stuff I sold off um, that is worth way more now. And uh, I was just like, God damn it, dude. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so even now, recently, I was like, maybe even just to downsize even more, I'll get rid of more of the shit that I have just to, to uh, you know, just to make some extra money and, and, to, and to have less stuff in the event that I want to move anywhere else, you know? <laughs> See, I have mean, like Stogie and Wheels. He has it in like, uh, like his like bat cave. Um, because didn't he like dress up as like the Heath Ledger Joker or something like that once? Or he did like a, he did a video... That was like the Chris Nolan Batman thing or whatever. Uh, I just imagine he has like <laughs> the gun that killed Biggie and a giant penny. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just stopped collecting stuff. I used to like. I used to love like statues, like Diamond Select and Bowen, Bowen uh, Bowman ones or whatever. Um, and I used to collect way more movie posters and stuff like that, and DVDs and VHS tapes and all, but. It's just more shit to take with you or to move when you go anywhere. So, um, how are you? How you doing, Andrew or Anthony? Um, used to have Rad the movie Earthbound. Oh, cool. Somebody was telling me. Somebody was telling me the other day they went and saw Rad in theaters. Oh, I ran into um, someone who watches us was in the mall and they saw me coming back from grabbing a slice of pizza and they yelled my name. And uh, we wound up talking for a couple minutes. Super nice guy. Uh, but, um, yeah, he had just went and saw Rad in the theater. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Uh, I went and saw Ghostbusters the other night. And then we went and saw Scanners the other night. Good, just life just hits me. Yeah, I know, I know that feeling, man. Uh, did anyone get around to me? Oh, okay. People are just asking if I saw Late Night with the Devil yet. No, I haven't. And I love AI art. <laughs> I want to make a fully AI movie and replace actors. Uh, including myself so I don't injure myself again. It's very embarrassing. Um, Marcus is saying, yeah, they're doing it. Uh, they're doing it around here too because I saw a Phantom Menace poster. Um, saw an article about being more focused on busting ghosts. In the first Ghostbusters movie, they they really only go on uh, on one job to the hotel. Everything else is in the montages. Um, Ghostbusters two has a little bit more when you have like that's the same thing though. It's in the in the um, in the in the montages. Mostly is where you uh, get. Ghost busting, you know, did I watch the Dan Snyder thing? No, I don't I didn't I knew of that whole thing Yeah, I said the same thing um, That it felt more like an episode of the cartoon and I was fine with that I uh, You know, I I, I want to see it again um, Some people in the in their the comments were like, oh, no, we started the review and we thought that Newt was gonna shit all over the movie I was like, no, I pointed out 
what didn't work for me. But in the end, I really, really enjoy that movie, man. So, has some awesome movie posters. Yeah, I mean, every room is themed. Um, <laughs> I pointed out my my what didn't work for me in uh, in Ghostbusters two. Um, favorite movie of this year. I really haven't seen enough yet this year to 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 give a, an honest response to that. Um, there's a lot about Ghostbusters two that just doesn't work for me. But given the age that I saw it, hey hey, what's going on, Dendo? Um, the age that I saw it and and all the the, the everything about that uh, you know that movie will always have a place in my heart. Uh, any Wawa tonight? I'm not sure. Um, it's okay, I'm still a new fan. I, and again, like I said in my Ghostbusters review, as much as, you know, I don't really have a lot of good things to say about that show I used to be on, that review is my favorite that we ever worked on, and, and that is one of those times where you go, oh, okay, I get, I get it, that other dude, like, he's, he's really good in that one, you know, he's, he's really, really good in that review. Get your fruits and veggies. I have to. Um, all I've had today was... Uh, what did I have today? Oh, I had a um, one of those... I had a kind bar. <laughs> oh, and I had some uh, Reese's Pieces because the box was sitting on top of my... Um, uh, on top of my microwave when I was cleaning the sink. And I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to eat what's left in here. Uh, and then I had to go brush my teeth. Um... No, you know, even, uh, what's these nicotine pouches? You ever tried it? No, I never, um, I've never smoked. Ah, uh, so I don't know. How about a Ghostbusters movie? I wish Rick, Rick Moranis would show up in this one. Yeah. No, I mean, look, you know, uh, cold turkey is the best way to quit smoking. All right. Yeah, it was good. I mean, that was one of those times while we were shooting. I think that was the second review we ever shot. We shot um, Wishmaster. And the, yeah, and then we shot Ghostbusters. Um, and uh, we knew we were going to get hate because people love... James's opinion on that movie. Um, uh, he's the best part of most of those. Oh, thank you. Um, but we, uh, I remember we watched it each individually. I was watching it at my old apartment and we were texting each other throughout the movie. Um, and I took like super detailed notes because I hadn't, I didn't know still what his, the way he did movie reviews, basically, because when we did Wishmaster, we just kind of, we watched the movie together, and then we, I remember we went to his apartment after we filmed it, and his then-girlfriend made us dinner. Um, that was the first time that we had ever, like, hung out, um, and then we were talking about other movies we could do, and that's when Ghostbusters 2 came up. And that was, that review, we filmed, like, we filmed almost, like, three hours, um, and then we pared it down, but, uh, no, that was one of those times where I was like, oh, okay, like, this dude, like, really knows what he's talking about. He's really smart. He's younger than me, so he comes at it from a different perspective. I thought, like, you know, if we could carry that momentum on, the show would have become a lot bigger. Um, but that was also, like, back when we were still allowed to pick what movies we were, we were allowed to talk about. You know, that was before we got sat down by Ryan and told we had to do the, um you know, type in the Google analytics and it had to, it had to meet a certain criteria and all that kind of stuff, you know? Tony L, I'm talking about the other Tony. Um, but yeah, so that, that was, uh, there was nothing more to say. I feel like there's nothing more to say about Ghostbusters 2 after that review. I think I said everything I ever need to say about it, you know? Um, what's going on, man? But uh, I enjoyed the new one, and I definitely want to... Your thoughts on uh, 
Yes, Batman vs. Superman did come out eight years ago today. Um, and I unapologetically love that movie with all of my heart and soul. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece, and I know a lot of people hate it. I know a lot of people think that it doesn't match the version of Batman that, that they, they want, but I, I've revisited that movie countless times, and it means a lot to me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I didn't see Poor Things yet. Oh, yeah, no, you know what? I haven't heard. Yes, I did. He, uh, I, I messaged him on, uh, on Discord, like, a month ago, and he just saw it, so he just responded to it. Um, need less superhero movies. I agree, Jerks Production. We need more Jerks Production productions, is what we need. Um, anybody who's not following that guy should. Fucking talented filmmaker himself. Um, Cal was good as Superman. He's great as Superman. Um, I really enjoyed him as Superman, um, and obviously Affleck as Batman, you know, I, my whole little Affleck Batman shelf over here of toys and, and statues and stuff like that. Um, I do feel like we are getting to a point where this, it, the saturation has tipped, um, where we are going to see... Yeah, man, I, I'd love to. I'd love to work with you on something too soon. I, you know, I just just worked with Tony Goggles recently and I'm trying to get around to everybody who I've never had a chance to actually work on a like a production production with um because I know that like you know they do events Jerks does events at in Philly and um you guys showed a bunch of my shorts one time uh I remember that was before I was on the other show because those guys all came out to hang out and drink and stuff like that at that um Oh, okay. Uh, swords and Sandals, uh, Westerns. And I think Westerns have kind of gone away. Um, it would be cool to see Sword and Sandal movies, fantasy movies, like adult fantasy movies return, but I, I kind of doubt it. Um, I, I felt like after Super Mario Brothers, um, the video game movie would have popped off more, but I, I, I think that, like, that momentum has died down pretty considerably, uh, you know, you would, you would have thought that they would have rushed something else into production, um, but again, the big thing right now is getting back into horror, you know, you, um, you had a really good, uh, you had a really good, um, weekend last weekend with, uh, Immaculate and with, um, Late Night with the Devil, even Ghostbusters has horror elements, so I, I think that you're going to eventually, you'll start to see more R-rated horror, which I think is a good idea. I love Crank too. Actually, I really like both Crank movies. Um, I was excited they did a Ghost Rider movie, but then they should have made it R-rated. Um, I thought that doing it PG-13 just did a disservice to their style. Um, and not letting Nick Cage go like full Nick Cage. They shelved, yeah, they shelved a lot of the Marvel movies and TV shows. Um, there's a Bob Dylan documentary, or there's a Bob Dylan biopic coming out. Um, I don't know, man. I just, like, I, I want to, I want, like, spectacle to go back to being, like, tangible spectacle. Like, uh, like car stunts and, and stunt stunts and stuff like that. Um, and telling stories. Uh, I, I, you know, I want to, I want to see a return to nudity in movies. I want to, I want to see, um, yeah, explosions that are real. I'm really excited for Furiosa. Uh, did you check the basketball scores at the end of the night? Uh, did I this week? No. Hey, what's going on, Steven? Um, March Madness is going on, but I didn't even bother filling out a bracket this year. So I don't really, I, I've been, I, I've been kind of preoccupied of late. Yeah, uh, CGI blood is 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 a bag of dicks, you know. Um, we but, but but we avoided the blood altogether last Thursday in the shoot because uh, the outfit that I bought Fallon for the video um, and then the hair extensions and everything were super expensive, so we had to avoid blood completely. But that's all right because I got injured anyway, which basically meant we had to rewrite the ending of the <laughs> the whole thing. So um, it is what it is. 
uh, kind of killing. Yeah, I mean, CGI, when used properly, is great, but I feel like two more, it, two, now it, it's AI, same thing, it's just, it's just, it's just a crutch, and it is, but it's also, it's like, this is the future, and you can't fight the whole AI thing, like, you have, uh, the night with the devil thing, people were getting all upset about them using a AI thing for two seconds, and, um, you know, and, and you have art, people who aren't even artists, out there getting mad for for clout like they're just doing it for likes and clicks and shit like that and then um instead of being out there and being like well why don't i learn how to better use ai as a tool and when hired by someone who doesn't quite understand it but knows they want to save money then you're there to foster the conversation like i feel like that uh would be the the, the way to go instead of getting all fucking aggro about it online Plus, have you met a lot of artists online recently? Like, most Twitter people who are artists are fucking pains in the ass. I was like, I want to make an all-CGI movie, all-AI movie, just to avoid working with those people. Um, no, I agree. Uh, taking risks is is something that I really want to do. Um, you know, I, the the script I'm, I'm outlining right now for those dudes in L.A. is, is very dark uh, and super fucked up. And sometimes, like... I, uh, I, I want to tell a joke and in the thing and, and like, you know, notch down the, the, uh, stuff, but I'm like, I guess I really can't though. I think this one needs to be like, you know, looking into your eye and spitting kind of thing. So we're, we're figuring all that out. Plus it's found footage. So trying to write it in the idea that it only can ex the, this, the narrative can only exist through those lenses. It, it can't be an independent uh, you know, it has to always be mounted, and, and that's that's been interesting to try to figure out the story that way. Yeah. A schlocky rock opera? That'd be awesome. West Side Gory? <laughs> or I said before, doing one about, like, a muscular Jack the Ripper, and it's called Jacked the Ripper. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know music. Like I know music, but I can't write music. I can't play music. So yeah. Uh, your background is classy, Newt. Thank you. I, this is just my living room. Uh, just, uh, you know, every room is, is themed with, um, you know, different types of movies. Um, you could tell I love film. Yeah, I, I do. Doesn't love me back, but I love it. Um, then over here, I've got all my film reels mounted on the wall and film gear and stuff like that. Um, no, so the, I, I created a narrative excuse as to why this guy is filming everything um, that would go into the twist. Uh, and I just, I, plus I like the idea of the guy's job. It's kind of funny, the, um, they, they pitched me this script idea and uh, there was a there was a Ukrainian uh, horror movie that I had to write for Cinemasker uh, the review for, and I don't think they ever did that one. But in it, it's a found footage movie, and I was thinking to myself, like who like who puts these found footage movies together? Um, like how fucked up would that be? So I kind of worked that idea into this script as to the only job that this dude can get now is putting these fucked up things together and then the idea of um people who are morticians or or deal with like horrible things every day they have to figure out how to separate themselves from that so i thought that using the computer screen as a as a you know as a separation point would be a cool thing uh where this guy doesn't look at it like it's real you know Blair Witch. I love the first Blair Witch movie. Uh, I, you know, yes, it was like it came out after the last broadcast, and it came out after um, kind of a Holocaust and stuff like that. But I think for like for being like uh, an event movie, like something that everyone was talking about and that everyone had to go see, sort of like um, like Barbie last year, I thought that that was a really really cool thing. Yeah, it was a sensation.
Yeah, there's a million found footage movies. Uh, oh, yeah, the studio with Book of Shadows, because it was the guys who did um, Paradise Lost. Uh, <laughs> or just do Human Centipede, the rock opera, or like the Serbian film, the, the rock opera, or, you know, Irreversible, the rock opera. Um, I don't have to go see Barbie list. I saw both. Um, I saw them pretty close together as well. Um, I think I saw Oppenheimer opening weekend night with my buddy Brian. Um, and we had to sit in like the very front row of a 70 millimeter screening at the King of Prussia Mall um, at midnight too. That's how crowded it was. And then Barbie, we watched the night before it came out with um, Madeline was in town. So Madeline and I watched it. I think I posted pictures of us seeing it because Madeline wore like a Barbie, like little halter top thing. Um, yeah, no, I mean, but the, you know, that, that got people going to the movies again, which was great. The guy, who was the guy whose favorite movie was Joanna Man? His name was Nicholas. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he loved that movie. And... Um, Good for Nicholas, man. Everybody, everybody's got a, everybody's got something that they love, you know. As above, so below is my favorite found footage. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, that was one that I didn't see. Uh, uh, didn't you once get what? I've never seen a Bollywood found footage movie. Um, but you said, didn't I once get, and then you didn't say anything else there, so I don't know what else. Uh, for one weekend, Beetlejuice will be... Oh, Beetlejuice is great. Uh, the new one looks fantastic. Didn't you once say your favorite movie was Pootie Tang? No, uh, I mean, I like Pootie Tang. Uh, do I remember the Blair Wench Project? Yes, it was directed by Jim Wynorski. Um, which is a Brestwick is the one that has Stormy Daniels in it. Uh, those used to be on Showtime all the time, but yeah, Jim Wynorski did those, um, director of Chopping Mall and Return of Swamp Thing. Pootie Tang's fun. I saw Pootie Tang in the theater, uh, with, um, my ex-girlfriend Amber when it first came out. Undercover Brother wasn't great. No, it wasn't great. Uh, it was out at the same time as Jason X. I remember, um, I remember, uh, Justin Silverman and I going to see Jason X and Undercover Brother the same day. Uh, I remember, I remember, uh, I remember Skinamax very well. I've wanted so badly for years to make a anthology movie called Skinamax. Um, Starsky and Hutch movie, any good? I remember when it was out, I never saw it. Um, that was with Ben Stiller, right? I like Jason X. Jason X is fun. Um, not the best, obviously, of the Friday the 13th series, but I, I thought it was a good time. Uh, and the, you know, it's got the hollow deck scene, it's got the head smash. Yeah, there you go, the head smash. Gonna stop talking about old friends, bad fear. Uh, no, I mean, um, that, that was a good memory with them, you know. Chip's movie wasn't great. I remember when that one was out, I never saw it. Um, yeah, there was certain, again, when, even though you have access to all the movies, there was like just... I didn't feel like being there to watch a lot of stuff, so I just avoided it. Lady Chatterley, the Emmanuel shows. I have a um, Black Emmanuel poster somewhere. Oh yeah, that there was a ghost that threw in the baby, but it was just a cardboard cutout of of uh, of Steve Gutenberg because um, they had it like by their door or whatever. And it was moved back there, and people thought that it was a ghost. And I was like, no, it, it's clearly just that cardboard cutout. But I love that urban legend. Frozen Head Smash scene is great. I just like, um, there's a Bollywood uh, John Wick. All right, I'm down with that. More John Wick, the better. Uh, I want a Steve Gutenberg cutout. Who doesn't? Um, I love the VHS series. Yeah, the guy, one of the producers of the VHS series, um, was, uh, was really into the, um, the wrestling comic that I wrote, but I don't, I, I, Mark, who runs all that, hasn't really filled me in on what's been going on with it, so I've been kind of out of the loop 
on all that. I, I hope it still happens. That was a fun one to write. Uh, Urban Legend or uh, or I Know What You Did Last Summer. I don't like I Know What You Did Last Summer, and I don't really remember Urban Legend that well. It had the really hot redheaded chick who was also in... Um, she was on The Sopranos. She was like the the uh, the chick who worked for John Favreau. Um, oh, of course, uh, the Mad Balls one, um, the live action uh, pilot for the um, My Pet Monster. Um, yeah, because uh, Mad Balls even had D Girl. Yeah, because uh, Mad Balls even had a Commodore uh, uh, computer game. I remember. Ever saw Body Bags? The uh, John Carpenter anthology. That was a good one. Mark Hamill's in that, I believe. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, I, that era, I'm not, I don't like Scream. I've never been a fan of the Scream series. So, um, that era of, uh, 2000, you know, 90s slashers really wasn't for me. What happened to Jennifer Love Hewitt? Uh, was she any good? Yeah, she was fine in that one. Um, she was super hot back in the day. She was in that movie with um, Ray Liotta and Sigourney Weaver. I think it was like Heartbreakers or something like that. She's super hot in that one. Um, yeah, I, I liked her. And they made a couple of them. Because wasn't Jack Black in the second one? They're like on an island or something like that. Uh, we... Did we watch? Did I review? I know you did last summer for the other channel. I don't remember. Yeah, Liza Dushku, she was in Wrong Turn. I remember seeing that one a couple times in the theater. Blood Dolls from Full Moon was underrated. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I, um, yeah, I, I remember Blood Doll as well. I was I was super into uh, the video the the indie video store that we had in my that was near my neighborhood had a huge full moon section. So in the '90s, when they kicked off, it was trying like shrunken heads and and uh, and bad channels and stuff like that. It was trying to. Um, uh, find as many of those of that were the non subspecies and non um, uh, puppet master ones to to check out uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt uh, she was in Munchie with uh, uh, Monique Gabrielle as well that's another Jim Wynorski movie because it was on Mystery Science Theater um, that's a weird fucking movie so considered Phantoms and Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms, yo. I liked Phantoms. Was, uh, was that based on a Dean Coons book? Yeah, the weird, the 90s were weird. There's just so much stuff that I was like, I so clearly remember seeing it in the theater or like passing up seeing it because I was like, not interested in this. Um, and then a lot of that stuff like Urban Legend or, or I Know What You Did Last Summer or whatever, I would have I would have never seen if we weren't doing... Uh, reviews for them. Species was another weird series. Yeah, I, I liked the first one a lot. Great cast. Uh, Natasha Henstridge, I believe, was like the sexy alien. And like she's kissing that dude in the pool. And like her tongue goes through the back of his head. Um, then there's the weird like Giger like skull train in that movie that was like contractually obligated to put in the movie. Um, ben Kingsley, Forrest Whitaker, that's a good cast. Uh, Michael Madsen is in that one. Um, yeah, she was. And then the second one wasn't her, it was somebody else, but it was like the daughter or whatever. It was like a genetic crossbreed. Um, the funny thing about Species that I, that I just so, it came out in like 95, Alfred Molina, that's right, he was in that one. Um... Midnight Meat Train. Well, I have a funny connection to Midnight Meat Train. Uh, when I worked, I think I've told this story before. When I worked on Silver Linings Playbook, um, they filmed at the uh, the Lansdowne Theater, which is also where Mad Ron's Previous from Hell was shot. And uh, they're filming a Halloween scene. It's fucking cold outside. And uh, it's where fucking um, 
Mystique and Rocket Raccoon have the argument out front of the theater, and they needed something up on the marquee, because that theater's been closed since, like, 1988. So they said, just go put something up there. I was like, oh, it's Halloween. So I put Midnight Meat Train on the marquee, knowing that that was Bradley Cooper's first, like, starring role, and it's in the movie, and I did that. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I love the music. Um, I love the idea of the uh, the, the southern uh, blues folk uh, take on the Odyssey. I think that's a really, really cool... The Coen brothers were the only ones who could think of something like that. So I, I like that movie a lot. Um, great cast as well. John Goodman, fucking George Clooney with his palmade. Um, yeah, I, I like that movie. Uh, but yeah, no, Midnight Meat Train's interesting. Um, but yeah, it was the first thing that popped into my head. Yeah, me too. I'm a big going... And then uh, M. Emmett Walsh died um, recently, and he's so fucking good in uh, in um, Blood Simple with them. Yeah, I like Silver Lang's playbook as well. I've, 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 <laughs> I've dated my share of women who are uh, like Jennifer Lawrence. Um, and yeah... Maverick with uh, Jodie Foster and um, Mel Gibson. Well, I mean, he's in the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know? Uh, he's always been one of those actors who I've always really liked. There's just certain actors. I, I, we talk about this in the review that goes up this week. Um, Where the Philadelphia Eagles, a plot device in Silver Lines. Yeah, because the, uh, the writer is from Collingswood, where I lived before I moved to PA. Um, and, you know, uh, any of you who live... I guess like even European soccer as well, it is like a religion um, and Philadelphia is very different than a lot of cities. Like we literally live and eat and breathe the Eagles. It's even in the off season, it's the number one thing they're talking about on sports talk radio. So, you know, that movie is not a, a, a fantasy version of football fans. Like they're literally, I know people who are like De Niro in that movie, you know, um, and it's, it's, it's cool, you know? Do you like the movie Crossroads? The one with, uh, the one with, um, uh, uh, Britney Spears? I think I remember seeing that. Um, and the movie with Jodie Foster where she gets, uh, R-worded is called The Accused. Um, you ever seen No Hard Feelings? Yes, and that movie, um... That movie was fun because it felt like an 80s, 90s uh, R-rated comedy. Um, you know, it didn't feel the need to pull its punches or to, to, you know, to do the boss bitch thing and all that kind of stuff. Like, it felt like a, a throwback, and I, I really enjoyed it. And the, the nude fight scene was pretty great. I don't know if there was CGI involved or not, but if there wasn't, that's fucking bold of her because she just had a baby recently, too. Um, yeah, she's, I, I like, she's crazy. And I like that. I like uh, I like hot, crazy bitches. <laughs> we beat Tom Brady's ass. Yes, we did. Uh, the funny thing about when they won the Super Bowl, uh, I was running the, the Wayne Theater, and um, two people came in for a show, and they're like, what time is kickoff? And I told them what time kickoff was, and they still saw the movie. Then when the movie was over, they got mad at me that they missed kickoff, and they said they were going to call the Better Business Bureau, and they did. So, um, one of the girls who used to work for us, this girl, Alex, her stepdad or something, uh, apparently went to this place that's well known for their, uh, for their hoagies or grinders or subs, depending on where you're, where you're from in this country, if you're from this country. And I was so excited to eat it, but I was like, I'm going to wait until I get home, uh, to eat it. But I had worked three straight doubles, so I was exhausted. And when I finally got home, uh, it was second quarter of the game. The Eagles were not winning at that point. I fell asleep. And when I woke up, it was because the, uh, the fireworks were going off. I lived that close to Philadelphia. Um, and, uh, yeah, so when I woke up, the cat was eating my sandwich. So, uh, favorite breakfast food? Um, hmm. <sighs> I don't know. I like I like just eggs and toast. Um, I love rye toast. Better business, but rich. Yeah. Um, 
But no, I was so excited to eat that fucking sandwich and I dozed off and then I heard all the fireworks going off and I woke up and the cat was eating my sandwich and I missed the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. So that's my Eagles Super Bowl story. <laughs> and then the next day at work, I put uh, on the marquee, yo Philly, we did it. And I was running the, uh, we were trying to raise money to save the theater at the time. And uh, I had my buddy who's a drone uh, pilot uh, you know, do the thing for the video. Oh, there you are. We were wondering if the spiced uh, Coke that you made killed you. <laughs> she does give me no respect. She's right here. She's laying on my foot right now. Um, she's getting her time in because I think she knows that Mets is coming over. Robert De Niro and the fan was great. Uh, yeah, and the fan is essentially just a remake of... Um, of Taxi Driver, but with John Cruck from the Phillies is in it. Um, yeah, and then uh, Benicio Del Toro is in it as, like, the Spanish, uh, um, you know, the Spanish baseball star who gets killed in the shower or in the steam room. Uh, my bladder and other stuff. Uh, I've got all kinds of issues. Um, my cousin's an Eagles fan and a Redskins commandos, uh, Commanders fan. Um... Yeah, they have a new owner, so I have a little bit more respect for them since they got rid of Snyder because he was a piece of shit. Um, but I hate the name. I hate the commanders, the the commies. It's, a, it's such a bad name. Um, yeah, no, I uh, I have um, I have all kinds of medical problems. Um, it was disgusting. I threw away the rest. Yeah, it didn't look like you were having a very good time while drinking that in your video. Uh, and again, it goes to the fact that I just love that uh, Macabro and I are able to, like, like our little brother, are, like, able to, like, coax you into. <laughs> yeah, he owns the 76ers and he owns the the uh, the um, the New Jersey Devils as well. Thoughts on Kurt Russell's breakdown? I love everything with Kurt Russell in it. Uh, I think he's just, like, the coolest fucking dude. Um, wait, what was that in Mustard? Talk to Mr. Lobo at all. Nope, Mr. Lobo doesn't speak to me anymore. Um, it was funny, there was an autographed picture of him at the studio we were filming at last Thursday. And uh, people were like, oh, are you friends with him? I was like, I used to be. Uh, yeah, Kurt Russell is the man. Um, you know, going all the way back to, you know, even the Disney stuff that he did. I've been a fan of him forever and Goldie Hawn. I love Overboard. Um, obviously the thing and him as Elvis and, and escape from New York and all that. That's fine. He's fine. Macabro stop. If he didn't want to do it, he would say no. It's not like we're going to come there and bully him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, again, there was a whole thing about like why Tarantino made had Kurt Russell read uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood before anybody else saw it because he's like, you're probably the only person who like lived this stuff. Tango and Cash is great. Uh, 3,000 Miles of Grace. Oh yeah, with um, fucking uh, Kevin Costner. I forgot about that movie. You're fine, right? If anybody asks, you say you're fine. Newt, you need a Venkman, a Venkman trench coat. I do. I'm still shocked they haven't made an action figure of that. And, we're, and I, looked, I went and looked after we did that review. Nobody else talked about that. So we were the first ones to, to bring up the Venkman trench coat in a movie review. Um, and I've seen other people talk about it since. So I guess I'm a trendsetter. Or we were trendsetters. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I remember, doesn't 3,000 Miles to Graceland start with, like, CGI scorpions, like, stinging each other? I remember that, uh, I kind of remember that being out when I was a senior in high school. I think I was at AMC when that came out. Um, I mean, do, it was doing that, well, I mean, now I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore, but it was weird to think how fucking long I was in theaters, how many movies came and went. Boy, Mets just takes their sweet time. Lion Elvises. No, that was uh, that was the one with Nick Cage where he gets married in Vegas. Fan of Tom Green. Yeah, he's going to be in Philly uh, pretty soon doing a show at the Keswick. Let's see. 
me just say here. Newt, did you start streaming? I guess I walked into uh, a Kurt Russell appreciation and they're doing a little shop of horrors with Joe Dante. Yeah, it, uh, uh, yeah, like little shop of Halloween horrors or something like that. Um, I thought it was like connected to like the spirit Halloween movies again. Um, that's right, a younger Courtney Cox in that one. But uh, yeah, so Tom Green is going to be in Philly doing a show at the Keswick. I asked uh, my ex-girlfriend if she wanted to go, but apparently she's already going with Screenwave and her brother. So I guess she's not going with me, and I guess I'm not going to that show. <laughs> but yeah, no, I like Tom Green a lot. I love Freddy Got Fingered. I think it's such a... I think that movie's fucking brilliant. What else? He did... Um, he do he do did road trip? He did one of the ones where he's like in the beginning of it. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Backwards, man. Cause uh, what we used to quote, um, "Don't be scared to go." Eh, I just I'd rather not, you know. Um, yes, there is a road trip. Okay, he wasn't that one. Yes, there is a spirit Halloween movie, and it's awful. Uh, um. <laughs> Uh, Christopher Lloyd is in it. He's Barry in Road Trip? Okay. Yeah, I just remember he's giving the college tour in the beginning. Um, I, could, I mean, I love, I, I fucking love Joe Dante. Going back to his work with Roger Corman. Um, so more Joe Dante, the better. Like, let's, you know, make a, like, uh, even like stuff like, um, uh, the hole was, uh, but, like, even, like, Small Soldiers, I really dug. The Burbs is incredible. The Burbs is one of my favorite black comedies ever. Um, I remember begging my aunt to take me to see that movie in the theater. And it's still, to this day, one of my, um, one of my favorite. What's your LeBaron? Le I only see one LeBaron, Freddy. Yeah, we quote that movie all the time. It's like, I don't want jewels. I just wanted to suck your dick. Um... Yeah, I love Gremlins. I mean, both Gremlins, but I prefer Gremlins too. Um, my mom made me watch The Birds. The Birds is great. Yeah, I did. Yep, I saw The Birds in the theater. I saw it at the um, uh, the 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 Voorhees Six, which became a uh, a dollar theater in the Echelon Mall, where I eventually went to run a comic book store. Um, and when I first started working. <laughs> hey, and that and the Pinocchio um, was uh, Courtney Gaines, um, uh, who was in Children of the Corn. He's the Outlander. Her blood will spill. Um, no, I, I got to review the Burbs at some point. I, that movie is just so fucking quotable and so incredible. Um, and it was like the last one before Tom Hanks became more of like a serious actor. Carrie Fisher is great in that one. Even Corey Feldman is so good in that movie. Um, do I like Andy Dick? I might be writing something for Andy Dick if things go well. That's a, that could happen. The dudes I'm writing this thing for right now, uh, have a script that they want to do with Andy Dick. So if they like what I do with this one, I might get that job. He's a crazy person, but I like, I'm so in love with news radio. I think that show was absolutely incredible. An amazing fucking cast. Oh, the kid who's like, can I have a piece of cake? He's like, of course, your birthday, you can have a piece of cake. Falls into the propeller of the fucking airplane. <laughs> falls and comes back up and his face is bleeding. No, that movie, uh, I have a really funny story about that movie. Um, the, uh, there was, a, my senior year, I was the manager of the Marlton 8 uh, AMC Theater, and there was a group of kids who were the Sunday morning, like the Sunday afternoon, they were the, the box office ushers, concessionist kids, and they all belonged to the same Baptist church in uh, Berlin, New Jersey. Um, and it's funny, it's like literally right around the corner from where James Rolfe lived when I met him when we, when we were 16. Um, and they were never allowed to go to the late night screenings um, uh, for a lot. Of, uh, leaving in a few minutes, see you soon. Oh, all right, well, Mets is on their way eventually. Um, so 
uh, the, uh, the, the, they finally were allowed to go to a late night screening and it was for Freddie Got Fingered. They knew, I purposely, myself and, uh, the, uh, my assistant was named Eileen. Um, and I said, don't tell them what the movie is about. Just let them come and experience it. And the week before that was Evolution, which is a Ghostbusters ripoff, um, made by a lot of the same people, part of Ghostbusters. But they were so mortified by... <laughs> Freddie got fingered, and when you get to the scene where um, he's twirling the baby around uh, by the umbilical cord, and there's like the Native Americans have blood on them, and they're playing like the drums and stuff like that. I just look back at these kids, and they were all just like they had just experienced something that they'll never forget, and not in a good way. And it was one of the best experiences ever. So that movie is always, uh, you know, I always have that movie to think about that, you know. You are indeed. You're the wrench master. Why was Bam Margera so popular? Um, he had a show. He was in that kind of the tail end of that extreme era. Uh, he was on Jackass. Um, when he was hiding from the cops, uh, Fallon and I were filming um, Sucks to Suck, and he asked if he could come hang out there until, like, so the cops wouldn't find him, and, and I had to say no to him. <laughs> Um, are you a big fan of Polly Shore? Yeah, I like Polly Shore. Bam still roams the woods. Mets, are you going to bring booze and snacks? Because I don't have anything here. And I really could use booze and snacks to make this terrible day go better. Uh, of getting blood drawn and, and needles in me and, and, uh, and, and other things in my, in my body. Um... Fetal tissue food fight. I like that. Oh, thank you. That was fun to shoot. Um, finally got a chance to work with Tony Goggles and his crew. And um, they, uh, they did a really, really good job with putting that whole thing together. Okay. Um, did I talk about this already? When people lie, they have to have a great memory. That's true. Or you don't, you forget, you know, and then your lies all mount up on each other. Um, no, I, I probably sure I, uh, you know, I, I, I like, um, I don't know, I've always been a fan of him, like, in the army now, and uh, jury duty, and um, uh, son-in-law with Carlo Gajimo. Anything, yeah, there's nothing, um, I think Mets has voice to text as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, anything about the thing? So yeah, this is, uh, this is the last thing that I owe Donald Farmer. Um, and, uh, the, it's for a movie called Darby Scream House. And ours is this dating game, uh, thing that's in the middle of the movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I, I play Sleazy Steve, and Mets is Darby, and we're on a dating show, and there's um, there's Melvin the Nerd, and there's Backstreet Ben. I didn't plan for the dude to look like the angry video game nerd. I told the actor, show up dressed like a nerd, and that's what he came dressed as. I showed him a picture of, of the AVGN. He'd never fucking seen it before in his entire life. It was literally just a coincidence. But I've been getting all this fucking hate for that, so. You always look happy playing a perv with a stash. It's fun to put on all that nonsense. The the leisure suit was from the um the uh the the, the Jaws porn parody thing that we did for uh the other show, um, where I have the, the shark head on and then the redhead was the, the porn chick. Yeah, but everybody was like, oh, he's, he, Newt can't let it go, and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I gave the actor the script. I told him what to wear. They showed up with the rest. I, I, you know, and if the dude never seen him before, I was like, that ain't my fucking problem. Oh, yeah, the, the mustache would not stay on, so I kept purposely, uh, I kept purposely doing uh, scenes where it was 
you know, um, hanging off and stuff like that. I just thought it was funny. Why am I getting heat? I don't know, because, because everybody needs something to fucking be angry about, you know? No, I know. Yeah, but they all, they all thought that I was uh, making fun of, I was trying to have a, a James impersonator and stuff like that. And um, I started getting messages and stuff like that and, and screenshots from, from Reddit. And I'm just like, whatever. Everybody, if you hate me so much, stop talking about me. <laughs> like, you know, I'm at least out there trying to make shit. You know, we're building sets and, and schedules and writing scripts and putting costumes together and lighting and audio and all this kind of stuff. Like, I'm doing the kind of stuff they should be doing, you know? And, yeah, it's a little, it's like a little 10-minute segment in a movie or whatever, but, like, we, we put some fucking production value in it, you know? Reddit is delightful. Exactly. <laughs> Fallon looks like a hot doll. I'll tell her you said that. Um... Who was messaging me about that? Just a ton of people. Um, they they love to send stuff to me. Um, and I know screen names and stuff like that, but I don't know... Uh, I don't know who these people are. Um, yeah, Fallon and I were... Uh, before I got on here, we were, we were FaceTiming. Um, and uh, she said something about um, appreciating me or whatever. And I was like, thank you. I, I don't like you as a person. Um, and I don't find you attractive, but I appreciate you. Like, <laughs> and then I hung up on her. <laughs> oh, my Florida man. Oh, sweet. Send us a picture. Um, so there's, there's an interesting thing is going to be happening with Florida man soon. Um, beautiful people. Haven't you heard the jokes on you? Uh, no, she's too hot for her own good. Um, so it makes me angry because I wasn't born with those genetics. Um, so Florida Man might be getting a rebrand. Uh, the um, the friends of people who I used to work with, I guess, reviewed the other Florida Man comic. And I started getting heat even though i you know, been talking about this idea since 2018. Then the Florida Man comic... The other one, not mine, which is like more of like a my name is Earl kind of thing, has nothing to do with the supernatural. They reached out to me, um, so I might uh, I might be rebranding it and not calling the book Florida Man, but everything else will stay the same, um, just to avoid people talking shit and and you know plagiarism and all that kind of stuff. So uh, you know nothing will change but the title. Um, uh, just to kind of, um, to separate us from the, uh, wish I had projects. I just had Magic the Gathering cards. Nothing wrong with that. I wish I had more projects. I wish I was shooting more stuff and doing more stuff, but, you know, it's, it's hard right now to, to be able to do anything, but, you know, moving into closer to the summer, uh, we have had a discussion about doing a rebrand, um, just to avoid anybody, you know, talking shit and then unfortunately then going into the past and then trying to downgrade the work of all these other artists and stuff like that. And, and this will give us a better opportunity to, you know, come clean to the, come in clean to the market and stuff like that. So, Hey, what's going on? Uh, I hope you're doing well. I'm sore today. Uh, you know, um, sore and, and, and tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. Um, but I got work, I got a long day of work tomorrow and a long day of work on Thursday and, and, uh, Wednesday I have two job interviews and, and I think Thursday night I'm going to go see Kong vs. Godzilla with, uh, with Lana and Dave. Mets is on their way for just joining us. Um, so... Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I've been up to. But yeah, so we had a conversation about doing a rebrand just to kind of avoid people who are just like, oh, he stole that idea and all that shit. And it's just like, no. I, I went back and I did a word search to see the first time where I talked about this Florida Man idea it was in 2018. And nobody's done the supernatural element yet. So I still have that going for me. Almost six full issues are completely done. 
Uh, wait, there's a new King Kong vs. Godzilla. Yep. <laughs> Key West, man. Well, Key, there is... So, the, the second book has a Key West element where Florida Man is judging a drag competition. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there's a, there's a fun... There's a fun uh, gay pride uh, uh, storyline that's in the second script, no, the third script that I wrote for it uh, that takes place in Key West, but it also includes the idea that Key West was, uh, you know, Bone Island. There was a lot of pirate shit and then the, um, you know, and a lot of other weird shit that always happened in Key West. Like um, that dude who like, that, that guy who was like a radiologist who this girl died of, of cholera and he like dug her body up and like kept, her body is like a sex doll. Um, Van Tassel was his name, I think. Um, and uh, I've always wanted to tell a story about that because it, it's fucking scary. When I went to Ripley's Believe It or Not in, in Key West when I was a kid and I heard that story and it fucked my head up, you know. But no, all the, the, every part of Florida is going to eventually be utilized. Um, are you wearing a knee brace and a heat pad? Uh, no, I don't have it on right now. Um, the, the knee brace is actually in my car. Uh, I had an ice pack on earlier and I had heat on earlier. I got yelled at by Fallon for not doing it properly. Um, I don't know. It's, 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 uh, you, <laughs> I, I want the raw footage. I want you guys to hear the pop in my knee. Um, it was so fucking painful. <laughs> I tried to, uh, I tried to, uh, you know, plant one leg and then come up to kick and uh, that my shoe slipped and the floor was uneven and my, you know, my body and my knee went in two different directions and it, it that pop was fucking loud. <laughs> no, exactly. And that's kind of... Um, that that is uh that was kind of where the uh where I was able to sell people on the Florida Man idea um was when they started doing it was like in 2019 when they started doing the whole like put your birthday in kind of thing and that's what I was able to kind of convince people who had never heard of the idea before because I wrote the script in 2018 um and Mets was right here Mets you know was there to vouch for me when I fucking came up with the concept um but you know, everything I do is always going to be called stealing from somebody else. So, you know, it is what it is. Yes, they do. Yeah, this one, uh, this one is not fun. I'm hobbling around. Yeah, th that's the, the one. Um, uh, and I gave, I, I donated to that Kickstarter and stuff like that, too. Um, and then the second one, he's taking on Hogzilla. Um the artwork is great. Uh, I don't know the story. The first story is about like a stolen baseball card. Like it has nothing to do with what I'm doing. And you know, uh, Florida man, the name is like Santa Claus, Jesus, whatever. It's not something you can copyright. Um, they beat me to it. I wanted to do it as a film first. Uh, but you know, they, their, their, their book is out and, and mine's not. And, and, you know, and we do, I took the supernatural route in purpose to make sure that nobody could say I ripped all that off. So, I think so. Guy down south saves Christmas. Yeah. Eh, it, uh, Macabro, it doesn't matter. It, nothing matters. Um, uh, did I did I answer your question? I'm sorry. If I didn't, I might have gotten sidetracked. Um, I'm trying to keep up with everybody, and you start an anecdote, but then you don't want to leave somebody hanging. So if I didn't answer your question, or if I missed your comment, just pop it in there again, and I'll get to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, it, it's a bummer. Um, you know, we'll we'll still have the. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure we'll rebrand all the the con stuff and all that, but. You know, the first story, no matter what, whatever the title of this thing is going to be, the first story is going to be called Florida Man Saves Christmas. Um, and it's not going to change the, the story. Um, you know, and, and I've, I've written another one. There's another, uh, you know, seven, eight-part sequel 
the first book was is 12. Um, I made this one a little bit shorter. Um, and the second one is called Florida Man in R.I.P. Tide. <laughs> I feel like the modern day Harvey P. Carr sometimes. Um, I'm an unlovable loser. The real Florida man. <laughs> ETA is 905. All right. Thank you, Neil. Um, well, good thing we weren't going to that movie tonight or we wouldn't have had a chance to stream at all, you know. Uh, but I understand Metz's uh, brother had the car. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was a bummer, but it's also like, you know, uh, you got, I don't know. If, if it avoids people talking shit and you could take the power away from them in that regard, then I guess I have to, um, you know, and, and whatever. I, I think ours, I think when people get a chance to read ours, anybody who has read it already, uh, Mark Poulton, who um, works in comics, he read the other one. And read ours and goes, oh, you have nothing to wear. Oh, thank you, man. You can get some fries. Uh, I, I assume when Mets gets here, we'll uh, we'll order something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was it was a bummer, but um, we'll see what happens. Your thoughts on the FBI raiding Puff Dad? It, he fled the country. Uh oh. That usually means you're pretty guilty. <laughs> what was it? Because originally it was like he was like sexually inappropriate towards a dude at a party. But then I read it was like, um, but then I read it was like sex trafficking. And I was like, oh no, like, not good. Not good at all. Um, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I never have to, I never have that problem, so I'm not worried about it. Sex trafficker and, and other sex bring and other stuff. Oh, wow. Fuck. I had a nickel for every time everything was shit until it finally started to get better. Uh, I'd have, like, no nickels. Um, Yeah. Homeland Security did a raid, so real ugly stuff. Yeah, I saw the raid before I went live. Uh, wow. Fuck. God damn, man. That's crazy. Liam Neeson rebooting the Naked Gun movies. I didn't know that, but that's kind of brilliant because Liam Neeson is so dry and straight-laced that I feel like he would be a good Frank Drebin. Um, only because, like, <laughs> like... I imagine him, um, if you ever saw the, uh, the Ricky Gervais, uh, thing that he did where he's like talking about playing, a, like doing improv and comedy. And then every time the, the thing he's doing is horrible. And I thought of turning right wing and turning the late. No, I, uh, I'm too, I'm too liberal. Um, but like, I'm also like, there's a lot of things I'm also incredibly conservative about as well. Like I, I just believe in common sense. Um, and I feel like the world's lost its fucking mind on both sides. Uh, so I just, I'm, I'm an old man, but you know, obviously Mets being part of the, the, the queer community, I, I try to keep an open mind about everything and make sure that everybody's safe and happy and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm far more interested in people than I am, um, you know, agendas and all that kind of bullshit. But if I can find a way to make money off idiots, I most certainly will try to make money off idiots. Common sense and logic are, yeah, it's like Orwellian now. Like they're like, they're, they're like words you're not allowed to use anymore. What do you think about that, Alvaro? You're no help. Wow, so we'll be on, like, is Diddy going to have, like, the the uh, OJ, like, white Bronco moment or something like that? That's crazy. What would Biggie think?
Yeah. No, but no, nobody does critically think anymore because they don't have to. You know, everyone only speaks uh, in hyper. Hey, what's going on, Wayne? Everybody only has to speak in hyperbole, and everything is either is extremes. There's no, there's no common ground to people anymore having conversations um, and 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 figuring shit out together. Everybody's dug in like a fucking tick already. I mean, look at movie reviews. You know. Everything is either the worst fucking movie you've ever seen or the best movie you've ever seen. A person's character can easily be judged both. Oh no, I always I would much rather trust an animal. What's going on, Newt? You finally got a night off. Yeah, I'm I'm not at the theater anymore. Um and uh I didn't, yeah, I want to see Late Night with the Devil, Wayne. Um, we were going to go see it tonight. Um, he tried to screen the illegal copy of The Day the Clown Cried. Uh, can we talk about a few movie reviewers on YouTube that are terrible? Yeah, a lot of them are terrible. Um, they don't have joy in things. Uh, wish the best for you, your force for good. I try to be. Um... The last three years, life has kicked me in the teeth, and and I keep wondering what the fuck I have to do to to uh, to get karma to flip the other way. Because I sometimes feel like I'm cursed. Like I sometimes feel like the the redhead has a uh, has a, a a voodoo doll of me. Um, but you know, this is where we are. Oh. Bad enough that I can predict how a channel has been. No, me too. And I, I thought it, since I've been doing, um, you're here, you have value. I appreciate that. It's just clickbait for views. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, um, it's terrible YouTube. I review with other. Yeah, I know. It's. It sucks, man. Like, and I don't want to be negative about stuff that even I don't like because I am trying to find the joy in things. But again, like even with the Ghostbusters review, I was like, look, I didn't like this, but I really like this, you know? And I think if you can do both instead of just going into it directly with, um, thank you, Dendo. Um, if you can go into it with both, then you actually have something to say and like, yeah, the hot take thing. I hate the hot take thing. It's, you know... It's not fun, but it's also like people, hate gets clicks, um, hot takes get clicks, you know, and, and that's kind of where we are now. And there, there is no discord anymore when it comes to a film and, and you can get so easily shamed by people for having a different opinion about some stuff. And I, I knew that Ghostbusters was going to be like a bar fight, you know, and, um, you know, I'm glad that people, for the most part, liked my review. I tried to approach it from a place of, uh, uh, yeah, I don't get the hate for Ghostbusters. No, I mean, but again, if you're a corporate shill, you gotta, that's kind of what they expect. You know, um, the, the idea of the flame war, um, is kind of what you get. Um, yeah, again, that's, that, that's when I started to realize at the other channel, like, I don't want to be a character. I don't, I, I, you know, I genuinely love this shit. I genuinely love talking about film with people, but I don't want to, um, I found an empty DVD case. Uh, oh, it was weird. Yeah, I, I feel like. Anytime you find a, a, a old kung fu movie in a, in a parking lot, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just I, but I also pick and choose the movies that I'm going to talk about um, based on kind of what uh, people expect from me for the most part. Um, you know, there's certain franchises that. 
obviously I'm always going to have a, an affinity for, so I'm going to talk about them from a, a different perspective. That's why I never tipped in to do the 2016 Ghostbusters, because I was like, there's really nothing else to say about that that other people haven't already said. And if you're just going to be a contrarian just for the sake of being a contrarian, that that shows, you know? No, you're right, Jeremy. I And again, I... I I, I, I don't write notes down for the most part, so I, it's me while I'm watching the movie, letting the movie wash over me, and then when I leave, kind of going, oh, okay, blah, 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 instead of, if I get back into that headspace of, like I used to do with the other one, um, of just sitting there looking for the, the mistakes and for the, the plot inconsistencies and stuff like that, I'm not actually watching the movie. I'm, I'm, I'm doing myself a disservice as a film fan, as a film lover, to just be, you know, trying to prove how clever I am um, and how much smarter I am than the, uh, than the, the creator or something like that. But in the Ghostbusters review, I, I gave my opinion on what I would do differently than, than them, and I've done that in other reviews too. It's, it's, it's always different, but... You know, our, our, our stuff also isn't showing up in people's feeds anymore. Um, it's nothing new under the sun. Yeah, basically. Um, uh, the, our, our reviews are not really showing up on people's feeds anymore. Um, and views are way, way down. The last one that, like, really showed up for people was the, um, the Creature from the Black Lagoon one. But I think that just got caught up with the analytics because it was the anniversary uh, so I think that the fact that we don't talk about, um, you know, popular stuff and we don't give YouTube opinions, I think is just continuing to bury us. Um, and that's fine because then I don't have to be, uh, I don't have to be a character. I don't have to worry about talking about, you know, things in a way that would, would please or displease, you know, the ads or something like that. So in that part is kind of freeing and then you know you the people who are who care about what i have to say about a thing will tune into it um and then i don't have to do the i don't have to go the 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 tony route i don't have to go the struckman route you know i don't have to say no review i refuse or anything like that i can just say okay this is what newt thinks of it and occasionally with lana or dave or with Matt or somebody um you know to get our opinions i really really like the Lana reviews. Um, we had a lot of fun with scanners, and uh, I think that because Lana's closer to my age, um, we could talk about weird, more obscure stuff. We went, we go on a whole side track about Michael Caine uh, sleeping with a 16 year old in Blame It on Rio, and we stopped talking about scanners for like 30 minutes and talk about that. Um, so that's what you get in those kind of reviews, and you can see why YouTube doesn't reward us, you know. Scanners is great, yeah. Never go the Tony route, just don't. Well, I mean, it works for them, man. That's his full-time job, and and uh, he makes enough money to pay his bills and to, I guess, pay those other people who come and do stuff, and, you know, and, and people watch it and they like it, so that, I, it's good for them, you know, that I don't, I don't have that luxury. Are there people that use ad blocker? I'm sure they do. Can't wait for the scanners review. That's on Wednesday. Yeah, that was I moved stuff around um, to get that one in this week because uh, we talk about things that are happened this week. So I was like, well, we might as well do it now. So instead of putting it out next month, because I think I've got uh, Artoso has a video coming up. I shot a whole bunch of stuff in advance, so I think we already have videos all the way through Wednesdays, all the way through next month. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to stay ahead just because I was worried about, uh, you know, if I was going to get sick and all that kind of stuff. Eventually, love we choose to... Yeah. Michael Caine in the hand. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's, I like uh, when people come on and do guest reviews because I love when somebody brings me something that I wouldn't have thought of reviewing. Um, I think that's fun. It works for them. 
you know, it works for them. They have a proper set and all that kind of stuff, and I'm in my living room. Um, but I can talk about what I want, and if I ever thought about doing yoga. I used to do yoga with, uh, oh, blowout's great. I used to do yoga with, um, uh, with my ex. Uh, yeah, it's before. Have you ever looked into upgrading the microphone? Yeah, I have. Um, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I've, I've looked into upgrading right now. It's just not, you know, it's, it doesn't make sense. You know, the, uh, the, the channel doesn't make any money. Um, you know, it's more so it's kind of a hangout thing with people. And, um, if, if, you know, because this isn't anything more than just me hanging out and talking to you guys or talking, you know, about uh, recent thumbnails. Oh, yeah, the recent thumbnails. <laughs> so the, the one um, with the film reels is Melissa, and that was shot for something else. I have a couple of those. Um, and then because I had those, I said the Mets, I was like, let's take a couple that we can use for thumbnails just to see how it does. And the, the view spiked considerably went with those thumbnails. So that might be something I start doing uh, going forward uh, because I was like, let me just do this as just like a fuck you to the algorithm and all that kind of stuff. And I just loved how many comments were about the, um, were about the thumbnails. It's good to see boobs. Everybody loves boobs. Barbie movie, Florida Man, etc. No, I mean the the you know, um, at one point, sometime not last year but the year before that, I thought we were going to be moving into a uh, into a studio space, and I thought that I would have a PC set up and all that kind of stuff. That obviously never happened. Um, the producer I was working with decided that he was going to go work with some other people who are a little bit, who are more, um, professional than me and, and can do a lot more stuff. So, you know, I, I think I missed out on that. Um, watch bad boys for Tyler. Uh, I don't know if I've seen, I definitely saw the first two bad boys movies. I don't think I saw the third one. Don't mention Michael Bay to Newt. I, d I don't dislike Michael Bay. There are things about Michael Bay that I do appreciate. Um, I didn't meet him on Transformers either. Uh, he wasn't there that day. Um, no, no, no. I, I thought that I was, we were going to be in a studio and we were going to be doing, I had this other show idea, uh, which if I think if that happened, I would probably be have more subs right now than that other channel does. Uh, but it didn't happen. Um, you know, that producer work, went on to work with other people and, and um, he keeps telling me to start making short films and stop doing YouTube reviews. So I'm trying to figure out how to shoot some short films uh, for the channel, um, you know, the, uh, the Martoso got the audio that from Metz's phone for the, um, the, the thing, we, the Nicole Kidman is a liar thing. And the audio was pretty bad, but it's only because in that space can't turn off certain pieces of gear. So it's always going to be in the background. So it's kind of doing the best you could with what you have, you know? Um, yeah, short films are cool. I know. And I've, I have like, literally I was going through my desktop, um, Let's see, I believe you just triggering some. Oh, okay. Short films in order to get YouTube traction. No, just to kind of show that um, I'm not just trying to be the other show or, or the movie dumpster and stuff like that. Like they all started out being filmmakers and now just it's just do the movie reviews. I don't want to do movie reviews. Like I, I, I like talking about movies with people, but I would much rather be making shit and then just doing live streams. Like if I. In a perfect world, that's what I would do. I would just sit and talk movies with you guys and then go and make shit, you know? Oh, I, I, okay, so they're, um, they are filming the new one. That's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have nine shorts written. I have 23 unclaimed full screenplays. It's, you know, I, uh... Big fake trailers. Yeah, I have two and a half hours worth of them. Um, 
Uh, I have, yeah, I wrote um, for Midnight Show. I have over two hours worth of fake grindhouse trailers and different film eras all done, but I can't do anything with that um, with that stuff now because the movie is just sitting there waiting. Uh, I had to reshoot all the stuff that had the redhead in it and Justin in it and stuff like that. So uh, that I've been slowly doing that and then just writing new things when I get ideas. And, um, you know, it's, it all comes down to you can't do anything without any money, you know. And I feel like a lot of people who I used to work with um, have kind of uh, have kind of stopped uh, believing that I can ever get this shit done. So, um, that's been hard. How much does Donald Farmer make on a Barbie Perry? I was wondering how much money's... I mean, he, uh, he does well with distribution. Um, I, yeah, no, man, thank you so much for doing the, the theater one, too. It came out so awesome, and you, you take my weird directions very well. Um, I don't know, he does, he must do well enough. Like, uh, Shark Exorcist sold, like, crazy in Japan. Um... So, I don't know, if, if he can do it, I can do it, you know? I think, Mar yeah, Martin Lawrence could kick. Well, I think Will Smith's in better shape, but Martin Lawrence is crazy. Is Wood Rocket still a thing? Yes, they are. Uh, again, two years ago, I had an opportunity there, and... and I, uh, I said no because I wanted to, I thought I was going to be making movies, so. Can you stop taking my sock off, please? Here, give my sock back. Ow. Cat. Jesus Christ, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, I had written, uh, I had written some, like, really, really small scripts. Uh, you know, things that we could shoot for, like, next to nothing, and, um, that was all lined up and ready to go before that Ohio thing happened, um, so that kind of, like, that kind of sent me, like, well, I don't know if I can do this shit, like, I don't know what's going on, I don't know how much I can make, so that's why, um, you know, getting another job, getting healthy is gonna be, like, key, and then slowly putting money aside again to, um, to, to make things. And that way, once I can get back to paying people, um, then like they have no excuse, uh, to tune me out. Um, you know, and that's, that's the biggest thing is I feel like all the people who are like, uh, oh, we don't really believe that he can finish a project will most likely change their tune if they're getting paid. <laughs> and that's kind of where I am right now. Um, when it comes to filmmaking stuff, uh, I want, so badly for the, um, no, uh, it's there for a feature. I, I, I had a complete feature made called Midnight Show and it was literally two hours of fake grindhouse trailers and animation and all that. And, uh, unfortunately, you know, Crystal, Tony, Justin, Kieran, James, every, all those people are in the movie and they all said I had to take all their stuff out. So I had, I've been going back over the last two years and either completely getting rid of things or reshooting those elements um, so that I can release it and not have to worry about, um, you know, uh, them trying to sue me or block the movie or something like that. So vampire shirt looks awesome. Yeah, man, I, I, I want that movie to be going uh, faster. Um, obviously it, that's the dude in Alabama. He's working at his, his, uh, speed and it's not, you know, it's a priority for them, but it's not like a top priority for them. Dude, I, 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 I would revolutionize the porn industry if I got a chance to get into it. I have so many ideas on how to revolutionize porn. Um, and yeah, anthology ideas, uh, like creep show I have, um, you know, I, I, I have uh, a script written uh, called Last Video Store on the Left by the Cemetery, uh, which um, is a kind of Tales from the Crypt creep show kind of thing set in a, with a wraparound in a public access video store thing. Um, and um, why do I not? Yeah, me too, man. Um, porn is doing just fine. I know, but I have ideas. 
you know, I have ideas on how to revolutionize porn. Uh, and these are like ideas that I, you know, adult actors and actresses who I'm friendly with, who I've, you know, hung out with, and I've told them these ideas. They're like, holy shit, that's amazing. And I was like, right? <laughs> um, have I reached out? No, I haven't reached out to anybody because, again, all people need to do now, even if they knew me before, is Google my fucking name and nothing good comes up. So <laughs> I'm just... Anything I do at this point, uh, I have to do on my own. Explain these ideas. Nope, it's secret. Um, can you reach out to April O'Neil? Yeah, I could. Um, but again, like, what do I have to offer right now? Every fucker's got a script. You know, it, it's about the ability to make to materialize these ideas, uh, and um, and I don't have that ability right now. I don't I don't have a team with gear right now that, that wants to come work with me. I don't have, uh, you know, I have a couple actors and actresses and stuff like that, but none of them are going to do hardcore pornography. Like that ain't where we're going. You know, I, I just, I, I want to make a couple small, um, uh, mad about you, but I did enjoy Caroline in the city. I, I liked the cast in that one. Um, I don't know. I just, I want to make a couple small fucking indie horror comedies, you know, but I think that the, the best bet right now is uh, there's a guy named Winford in Delaware uh, who I worked with on um, uh, Debbie Does Demons who wants to make a short. And I have a short written called Nothing Good Happens in the Woods. And um, I think I can make it pretty quickly and pretty easily with not a ton of special effects and, and all that. That I can show off um, interesting lighting and, and camera moves and stuff like that. So... Didn't George Carlin have a 90s sitcom? Yes, he did. So did um, so did Sam Kennison. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I guess like trying to get a short film made uh, is kind of next on, you know, on 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 the docket, and then slowly moving, seeing if I could parlay that into getting some feature stuff made. Um, I don't know. It's it's been hard the last the last year especially has been super sobering when it comes to all this stuff. And you want to keep positive and you want to engage people who work, you know, your friends on here who watch and, and go along with it and stuff like that. But, you know, the, the lack of uh, forward momentum when it comes to the filmmaking stuff. Uh, I've been in other people's stuff. I've, I've written for other people's stuff. It's cool that, you know, uh, you know Triple Xmas came out and, and Debbie Does Demons came out. And now Shark Exorcist 2, Bigfoot Exorcist, and uh, Cult of Blood are all coming out in May and June. Um, Strange Toys will be after that. Uh, and then I've got like five or six other fucking things for Donald Farmer that I did parts for. Hopefully that will start to kind of amplify the good when it comes to my name and stuff. And then I can use that to kind of push projects along a little bit. It's just a, it's a weird holding pattern right now. And so I've been looking for more acting jobs and I've been looking for more you know, uh, writing jobs that I can do quick and shit like that. They are, they're all resume building. Um, but like right now they're, you know, they're not out yet. And, and, uh, hopefully once they do come out, it'll be like, okay, I've got this thing, you know, and it's not just me on Twitter going, I've got this thing coming out. And it's like, okay, when, you know, I thought so. <laughs> all will get good i hope so losing faith man i'm losing faith um i think shark exorcist 2 is obviously going to get creamed by the youtube movie review community and that was my goal was to be have the second directing credit and the second writing credit in something that red letter media is going to talk about and all that because that only helps me even if it's if it's fucking ass it's still a huge thing um, to have people talking about out there. So that was why I took on that project. And, and because I like Donald and I like that he lets me do whatever I want. Um, but like, you know, I, hopefully that one will kind of kick off a lot of stuff. And then I saw the trailer for... Um... Yeah, exactly. You know? Oh, I'm I'm a I'm a total pariah. Um, it's amazing, even weird places where it pops up. Uh, you know, there there's some other things coming out next this year 
uh, that I, I'm uncredited on um, because they didn't want the backlash of my name on it. So, you know, I... <laughs> It gets frustrating. It gets uh, it gets humiliating. It gets um, deflating. Uh, you know, even the the part time job that I'm doing right now. Um, we shot that little video about drinking the the fucking Dragon Ball juice or whatever, and um, the uh, the the one kid who was working there looked at my YouTube thing. And then um, did a little research. He's like, oh my God, you're the plagiarism guy. And I was like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, I, you know, and I love bad movies. And I love being, I just love being involved in movies in general. Even if something like, you know, people will make fun of Swamp Zombies, but I fucking love Swamp Zombies too. Like, I, you know, I, 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 nothing but joy uh that so many people have enjoyed that movie and even it means like making fun of it or whatever you've still seen it you know um and uh i'm hoping that they do the same thing with shark exorcist 2 and um baby geniuses directed by bob clark who also did porkies and black christmas and um christmas story uh he also did baby geniuses 2 um that is a terrible movie. They're both terrible movies. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> I would, I'll direct Baby Geniuses 5. I don't care. Give it to me, you know. Uh, but, you know, he also made Death Dream, uh, which is a really cool, underappreciated uh, Vietnam take on the, uh, the Monkey's Paw story. Um, it was The Night Bobby Came Home, I think was the other title of it. Death Dream is really cool. Even Space Doctors got, exactly. You know, and I, I, I don't know, I would love, I'd love to make a small, you know, a small sci-fi horror movie or a horror movie or, or, um, Too Ugly to Be an Actor. That's not true. Well, I wanted to put you guys in Amityville Halloween, and I had it all written out and ready to go, and um, and then that dude fucking bailed on the money he promised me. Um, I wrote really funny parts for for Yuma Cabro and Martoso and and Metz and and Fallon and and all my friends who are part of the channel. I was gonna give them all something to do in the movie, um, and that would have been a lot of fun, but obviously that didn't happen. Yeah, I know the Fall of Western Civilization ones, yep. How long have I been streaming? Uh, almost two hours now. Um, waiting for Mets to get here. Um, I started at 7-something because I thought they said they were going to be here at 8 o'clock. Uh, but no, yeah, the, the Decline of Western Civilization 1 and 2, um, uh, that, uh, uh, Punk Rock Parking Lot. Um, I remember doing a uh, double feature um, at a theater one time, uh, Decline of Western Civilization, then we put Punk Rock, uh, or Hard Rock Parking Lot in the middle, which was filmed at a Judas Priest concert, um, and, uh, in the 80s. Um, no, those are, those are, those are fun, and I, uh, I'm a big fan of that era of, um, you know, of metal and punk, so to see the one guy floating around in the pool giving his interview in that, um, they're good times. Clint Howard is an actor. Yes, he is. He's a great character actor. Any idea when the next AMA is dropping on Patreon? Uh, yeah, Mets has... So we shot it in two parts. Mets has the second part on their phone. I just need them to send it to me, and I'll, I'll post it up. Because um, we filmed half of them one night, and then we filmed the other half the other night. And I have the first one already lined up, but they didn't send me the second one. Um... Uh, I think as we were doing the whole, you know, we had, other, we had the, the Boston Makes Me Feel Good thing. Uh, we shot a whole bunch of stuff, so they just might have forgotten. Oh, yeah, I saw the Twisted Sister one. It was great. I didn't see part three. I was about the Russian ghost that is now stalking the pizza man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid to say this is a stupid idea. 
a pie in the sky movie idea would be a hardcore porno remake of Faster Pussycat. It's not tongue in cheek and is everything. No, I I mean, I fucking love Faster Pussycat. I think that might be one of the greatest American movies ever made because it is a pure drive-in experience. It's a pure answer to uh, so many things at once through the, the Russ Meyer as a filmmaker, as a writer, you know, it, it's car culture, it's muscle culture, it's feminism, it's masochism, it's, it's chauvinism. Um, you know, it's, it's all of these things through his twisted lens that fits so perfectly into that era of American culture. And like it's it's one of the most brilliant films ever. It's it's a movie that I, I would fucking kill to 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 remake or make something like. Um, you don't get wom women like Haji or Tora Satana uh, anymore. And and when you when when it's somebody like Russ Meyer filming them, um, you know they become so much bigger and so much more, uh, you know, of a threat to men. Um, no, that, that movie's just fucking brilliant. Dude, you could be the Tarantino of porn. Could be. Hills Have Eyes. I like the first one. Second one has a dog's flashback. Um, but then you have, uh, you know, you have his movies like Up and, um, and, uh, and Mud Honey and, um, you know, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls is fucking brilliant. Um, written by, uh, Roger Ebert. Um, you know, no, Russ Meyer is one of my favorite filmmakers, not just because of his, his obsession with large breasts and strong women, just like me. Um, but like he was an actual filmmaker, like, yes, he, he filmed, you know, soft core pornography. He had no interest in the gynecological elements of pornography. Um, you know, he, he was coming out of, you know, he was filming in the, in the war, um, and then went on to do like nudie cutie movies. Um, same thing of like, uh, it was the immortal Mr. T's, um, you know, the same thing that like Herschel Gordon Lewis came out of at the same time, or Doris Wishman came out at the same time, but he took it into this whole other realm when he started adding these plots to them. Um, and, and then it all became his take on it because he was a very straight laced, uh, mama's boy, you got a right leaning, but he had these counterculture beliefs that worked his way through his movies. And for that, on top of just the women were fucking incredible. Like he's, he's one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. He's one of those ones that like people point and laugh at, you know, uh, one of his movies or something like that. I was like, but you look at a Russ Meyer movie, you know, it's a Russ Meyer movie. It's like Ed Wood. It's like John Waters. It's like David Lynch. You, you know, the, the, the best thing you could say about a filmmaker is if you look at one frame of that movie and you know who directed it, that means you're a good filmmaker because you understand your own, having your own style. And, um, yeah, I'd fucking love to make a Russ Meyer style, style movie. Humongous? Uh, I saw uh, Humongous in... Um, um, I don't mean that disparaging. No, I don't see that at all. I, you know... I, uh, I obviously, um, oh, who would I pick? Oh, that's so easy. Prime era, uh, Pam Greer, um, from the, uh, the Roger Corman, um, Booty in the Jungle movies. Oh my God. Like I, if, if I had a chance to work with an actress like that, that, that would be amazing. Yeah, because again, he wasn't he 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 was more interested in the uh, the the curves on screen and and all that stuff. He wasn't interested in you know the eternal and insertion and all that kind of stuff. Um, but no, Pam Greer is my ultimate grindhouse, you know, badass vixen uh, chick. Tora Satana would probably be up there as well. Um, uh, Primera Monique Gabrielle would be up there. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of, uh, Tim Burton has a style. His, his, his style used to have substance. Now his style is all he is. And that bothers me. Yeah. Pam Greer, like you look at like the big dollhouse, the big birdcage coffee, um, uh, you know, um, Foxy Brown, like, uh, that era of movies, 
nobody looked like her. You know, you had, uh, you know, you had other strong black female actresses, but nothing like her. Like she was just, she was like, like, just like Tora Satana. They, they seem like they would be like, or like Betty Page. Like they don't seem like real people. They seem like something that like, you know, Dave Stevens would have drawn, you know, um, Jane Mansfield as well. Like you can't get, you know, more uh, voluptuous and, and, and dangerous than that. Um, and uh, that, that it's actress, it's, it's that style of B-movie actress, um, you know, but then you also have like, uh, uh, you know, actresses who weren't really like that, but who I've always really appreciated their work, like a, a Jennifer O'Neill um, uh, or a Catriona McCall, people like that, that like were just great when you drop them into an exploitation movie or a giallo movie. Uh, um, Jessica Harper is another one of those. Like whenever you saw them in something, you knew that it was going to be, they were going to elevate it. Um, but like, I, I, you know, I, I love writing um, Dame Judy Dench. I mean, hey man, um, uh, uh, what's her name from Caligula? Uh, I, I'm blanking right now, but she's another, Helen Mirren is another one that like, holy shit, like they don't make them like that. You know, you look at like 60s, like, uh, 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 oh God, what was the one that she did? It was um, Teeth and Smile, I think was the 60s movie that she was in. Helen Mirren is just like, she just fucking radiates off the screen. And then you look at her in something like Excalibur, which is my favorite fantasy movie of all time, or Caligula, that you're like, they don't make women like that anymore, you know? It's not even just being incredibly sexy, but like the screen presence, the sexuality that that oozes from them through the camera. Um, hey, what's going on? We are talking about uh, Leslie Jones is the new Pam Greer. I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, no, just talking about if you could pick, if you could work in any era, who are like some like exploitation movie actresses that you would work with. Um, and uh, she did, Helen Mirren did love being nude. Um, I am very excited because Caligula is one of my favorite uh, exploitation movies ever. So I'm very excited to see the non Guccione cut of the movie um, to see how that turns out. Maggie Smith is still hot. Leslie Jones just yells shit. Um, I liked her on SNL a lot and I've liked her in other things. Yeah, you picked a good, yeah, you picked a good time to join if you're, want to talk about uh, badass grindhouse chicks, you know, but there was always something about um, those uh, Wanda Sykes. I like Wanda Sykes. Um, she's a great writer, too. Uh, I love her scene in Clerks, too, um, at the uh, at the movies. Um, but no, there was definitely uh, seeing, like, the big dollhouse, the big birdcage, TNT Jackson, Black Belt Jones, um, you know, the, those type of movies when I was a kid, uh, definitely like rewired my brain on like women who I like to write about and uh Oh yeah, I remember that one. It was a uh wasn't Brink Stevens in that one. I can't remember who they who they added scenes with. Uh I love PJ Souls, you know, Rock and Roll High School is fucking great um you know totally but uh yeah she's another one of those people who it's just like you know um uh, uh um meg foster is another one um you know her eyes were just so striking i remember seeing her for the first time in um master of the universe and then seeing they live and just being bewitched by her eyes like you don't you don't see that in actresses um, you know, you have her, you have, uh, you know, um, I don't know, there, there's just so many that I grew up just admiring so much. Uh, uh oh, Mets is here. Who needs books anymore? I collect books still. They drew a hat, <laughs> yeah, they, them drawing a hat on Mona Lisa. Yeah, I can see that. Zoe Kravitz could be Pam Greer. What up? Uh, Zoe Kravitz uh, lacks the um, 
the uh, the screen presence and the the curviness of a Pam Greer. But I like I like Zoe Kravitz. I love Zoe Kravitz. Mm -hmm. She just gave her dad, like, she spoke for her dad, who's Lenny Kravitz, for the know, Halloween Walk of Fame. Yeah. And she's like, it's nice to know that your relationship with the mesh shirt is your longest lasting relationship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did up? I get the sweatshirt off? I guess I did take the Hello. sweatshirt off. Hello. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm also going to take my shorts off. Because they're only on, so. Yes, I do like, I like her a lot. Um, uh, she's great in, um... True Detective and stuff like that. Whoop, and I'm shorter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Starts grabbing air titties. I just saying, you know. That's fair. Yeah, um, she was good, but I liked her in. Um, I mean, I loved all of the 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 brides in um, Mad Max Fury Road. Um, I I really like the one who's apparently related to Elvis, and I didn't know that. Oh neat. Yeah. Hello friends. How are we doing today? We're we're chilling. Um I did find some snacks. Okay. Uh but we're still gonna we can still order food. Okay. I got it, so don't worry about oh, that. Oh alright. Um but I have some mini Doritos to hold oh. over. And I brought uh Girl Scout cookies and I forgot what kinds you like, so I brought all the ones I bought. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, hey guys. Okay. I'll pull up uh I bought food, I brought booze, I bought okay. sir, I'll grab for myself. Um I'm gonna give me one second. I'm gonna set up my phone charger. Oh, that was to the chat. Sorry. I'm gonna set up my phone charger and then I'll be able to talk to you all. Um, I've been keeping everyone entertained. Yes, you always do. Well, okay. Oh, right. They're all in my. I don't finish sentences. When no, I'm it's alright. It. Well, I don't either. <laughs> I've got um, my Wichita cup. Uh, that sparkles. Hell yeah! All right. Mets brought Christmas with them. Christmas? Where? What? I guess like treats. Oh yeah, okay. Oh shit, Girl Scout cookies. Why can't this stream be on the weekend? It's a party. Because I work on the weekend. Yeah, it's me too. Met saving our starving new I know, right? Um she's gotta ask her the cookies made with real Girl Scout. <laughs> you know I would never bring fake. Do you know what that's from? Uh not immediately off the top of my The head. Adams family. Is this okay. lemonade made with natural oh, yeah. lemons? Are those I wanna real? see a magic trick? I can make these Girl Scout cookies this week. Mets, let's hear about your training. Oh, it's been so much fun. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Hold okay. On. Um, hi, Mets. Hey, Mets. What's up? What's up? What up, Mets? All right, everyone's just happy to see you. <laughs> Y'all, you're too nice. Yeah. Um, so, the flavors of Girl Scout cookies that I bought, I brought. Okay. Uh, got Thin Mints, obviously. Okay. Who doesn't, you know. Um, What's the ones we're not allowed to call them anymore? Oh, I brought those, too. Uh, they're Caramel Delights now. Um, they used to be referred to as Samoans, if I remember correctly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I'm allowed to say the word. You're not. I swear to god. Yeah, I brought those, because I couldn't remember. I do like these a lot. Okay, I brought mm -hmm. lemonades, because that's a pretty safe bet. I brought peanut butter, okay. uh, patties, those and are also good. Reese's. Alright. Um, because I feel like you like peanut butter and chocolate. I do. And then these are actually a new flavor. Um, they're like, so they're brownie inspired cookies with caramel flavored Ooh. cream. So I was expecting them to taste keep bars. Like they taste oh, exactly okay. like keep bars. Right. They're so fucking good. Okay. They're not soft, which is kind of what I was expecting, but yeah, I, I brought cookies. Um, I brought alcohol Ooh. and now I'll plug in my phone and we'll order food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it pays off to be my friend, okay? You yeah. have to put up with all of this, but... It does taste like a heat bar. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I ate so many of them. I was a big fan. Alright. Um, send help. Oh my. I got too many chargers. Hold on. Cool. One of the... Yeah, no, no. It's cool. I got it. Because um, my, my main charger's been acting up lately. So, so is mine. So I have that using the black one. I borrowed Paul's. Took it out of my car. Because it's got... um, It's actually got the USB-C at the end. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, or not the USB-C, the other one, the USB-A. Oh, okay. Uh, so I've been borrowing his charger so I can charge my phone while I drive. Um, Mets going hard into the stream. Yeah, Mets <laughs> hits it like a stuff. fucking cannonball. Always, mm -hmm. always. Mets is non-binary and uses they and he pronouns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're Ambrosia. Wait, the, uh, the, I know, right? Uh, Mets, I don't want to jump into wrestling right away. Damn, did you see the Rhea Ripley footage from the weekend? It didn't. It didn't. Do you have the power? Wait, hold on, I'm backing up, backing up. <laughs> Um, cheeseburger Doritos. That sounds so good. Cheeseburger Doritos when I was out my Is that wedding. a thing? Thought Newt was on the wagon, or is it off the wagon? Have you ever gone off of alcohol recently? Yeah, I think you just don't drink often. Yeah. Uh, do you have a pouch? Oh, so this is my laptop bag. I got it for like five bucks at a thrift store. It's actually super nice. 
Um, but my backpack, last time I Broke, was, yeah. Yeah, it fucking burst open from all the lingerie that I brought to, uh, take pictures for the Oh, that's right, we were at the theater, and you're like, yeah. I think my bag broke, and I was like, oh. It did. And then... I've had that thing since freshman year of high school. You were, like, carrying it like, like a baby yeah, in a yeah. papoose. <laughs> like... <laughs> and I was to carry it. Um, I haven't seen the Ray Ripley footage from the week. Oh, wait, no, is that where she, like, slams her ass into Nia Jax's face? I try, can't remember. Well, here, Wichita, I think, planes, trains, and automobiles. And BTK, valid. valid. Yeah. BTK is a good choice. Mm -hmm. I'm wrestling less at night. Okay. Um, we don't get Girl Scout cookies in the grand old country of Mexico. How, I always wonder what those taste like. I, if they're still being sold, I can mail you some Girl Scout cookies. True. Like, tell me what flavor palettes you like. Um, I cookies guess, and booze, now it's a party, right? Do they have Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts in Mexico? I don't know. I mean, you know. Cookies and booze, now it's a party. Cookies for Locos Pizza, good times. Matt's totally <laughs> asserting dominance. Mm -hmm. Always, I'm always asserting dominance. Um, <laughs> uh, Taco Doritos are great, they are. Rhea gives Nia Jax the Rikishi stink face. Okay, yes, I did see that then. Rolls up her tights, the internet lost collective mind. I mean, yeah, that. She's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Salt Lake Night with the Devil over the weekend. Honestly, the AI image use wasn't destroyed. There was fucking AI in it, probably because it was only for three stills and not Yeah, AI. so I'll, I'll explain this to you real quick. Okay, yeah. Off. So I was going to say, we're supposed to see that movie tonight, but... So the internet collectively went, let's boycott this movie, or let's download it illegally. Mm -hmm. Because two and a half years ago, when they started making the movie, they used a 1970s looking drawing of a skeleton and a pumpkin patch okay. it's an ai image and they go well they should have given that to a, an artist okay okay fine i don't disagree, disagree with, that. with that yeah so instead let's steal the movie and then when you look up right. all the people who were fucking uh causing all the problems they're not artists they're just oh. people who are doing it for clout ah that's disappointing so sometimes i'm just like you know what <laughs> fuck the horror community you guys like every day i'm like oh well, i slept in what are we angry about today you know, there's so many other things to get mad about. Plus, AI is going to be the future. No matter what we do, AI is the future. So maybe learn what you can so that you can use, that you better utilize that tool instead of being scared of it and holding on and then watching it take over in bad ways. Yeah, I get that. Um, the Lemon Girl Scout cookies are shockingly good. I brought those. Elvira's now inspecting my cookie off. Well, yeah. Will Cody win at Mania? I have not been following the current product enough to uh, to know for sure, honestly. Um, it seems like it. Certainly seems like they're setting it up for that. I don't know though. You're overpowering Newt. He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be Boy Scout clubs in Mexico a few years ago, but then they disappeared. That is so ominous. Like it, like into the desert. Like the children never came back. I don't know. <laughs> I slept in. Who slept in? No, like I was saying, like if I slept in and like oh, what are we oh, angry okay. about yeah, today? Yeah. Oh, that's why the internet was talking about skeletons in a pumpkin patch. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid. And it's it was again three seconds right. on film. We're gonna pull up. We're gonna successfully order food. Okay. Where the fuck is my... Okay, All the Boy Scouts were devoured by where are the Quetzalcoatl. Obviously. Mm -hmm. I like how the second I was like, we're going to successfully order food, I already couldn't find my internet browser. Uh, okay, we got this. Do you want Domino's? Do you want something else? Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting friendly. Okay. I'll get, we'll get Domino's and I'll get that pasta, the bowl that I really like. So it's funny, I already got... I told you yesterday another theater contacted me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now two of them. And they're like, we heard you're a free agent. And I was like, uh, uh, I don't want to get back into that. That's fair. He made me sit in the parking lot yesterday for three hours before he showed up to let me have my stuff me? back. Yep. Just wasn't a, wasn't returning my I'm calls. I'm sorry, I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't able to help. That's all right. Him. Partners B. I was like, what a dick. This is the correct zip code. It autofilled. C. Okay. I thought you were telling me it needed the letter C. Yes. We're doing great, guys. Yeah, we're fine. Um, everything's fine. Everything's fine. No, because I got a decent, I got an okay amount of sleep, right? Because we'll be like, what the Well, you were like, what are you doing awake? Yeah, like four in the morning. You I like can... liked a message that I sent you. And I was pretty... like, go to bed. I can. I like, so I, <laughs> I, roll, I rolled the wrong way and my knee rolled and I went, ah, ah, like. <laughs> Pleasant. Okay, I would like it in a bread bowl, please. Bread bowl? Yes. Purple. Add to order. Nice. I have six. Alright. Now we can add a pizza. You're welcome to put whatever you want on the pizza. I don't pizza. care what you like. Meat. 
meat? What kind of I meat? rewatched, oh, I don't know, um, pepperoni, sausage, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, you have to, hold on. Well, we have to pick that yeah. up. So. Um, if you want a larger pizza, I don't have to choose this, like, coupon. Well, no, whatever. let's get the coupon, you know. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, you... Oh. <laughs> I don't remember. Right, I'm, so I'm pepperoni, old. what it's else? Fine. Anything else on it? Um, I'm going to go for sausage. Like pepperoni and sausage? Mm -hmm. I just, that's what I usually get at work. Mm -hmm. um, my arms look so nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, Mets, I was watching a uh, Mikey Whipwreck shoot interview from a few days ago, and he told, wait, shit. Ah! He told some fun Cactus Jack stories. Ah, oh, I have to see that. Pizza Place is still open. Yeah, Domino's is pretty much always open. Ordering from Domino's online is great. Super easy when you're hammered. So I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, is there all yeah, so you got a bread bowl, we got a medium pizza, yeah, anything else? Yeah, we can put like a side. Yeah, uh, it. Like for cheese sticks or something? Mm -hmm. Like a cheese stick? Sure. We could do... Hold on. Yeah, Whatever. let's get I'm some not, bread. Oh my god. You're allowed to have opinions on I'm the food not, we're receiving. I'm not allowed. I have to walk guy. <laughs> three paces behind you at all times like a <laughs> Korean wife. Like, <laughs> I, say, I feel like you do that to distance yourself from me rather than vice versa. No, I need to but, be all uh, up in there because in the event some shit goes palette, down. Would you like regular pepperoni, spinach, and feta or bacon jalapeno? Which one do you like? I think we liked the spinach and feta last time. That was right? Eh, it was alright. No, all right. We well, can do let's just do the stuffed cheese. Basic one? Yeah, it was can, basic. It was basic pepperoni we got, right? Yeah, basic bitch. Do you want any sauce? I'm good. Okay. Cool. We're doing great. We were uh, we were discussing my doctor's appointments. We were mm -hmm. discussing my my knee injury. Yes. Uh, which was super embarrassing. Um, Feelings are fulfilled. Okay. Then it's good on. Ancient humans. Mm. Right, that should be fine. Do we want a? What are the meat lovers and a? No, I'm good. Sure? Yeah, because we got all this stuff too. Oh, oh, right. Duh, the cookies that I brought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Those are palate cleansers. Mm -hmm. Don't tease me with the crunch cakes. Okay. Um. Actually, you know what? I do want those cinnamon bread twists. Yeah. They're good. Actually. You only live once. Right. Unless you're a Buddhist. Unless you're Buddhist. All right. Step one: confirm your selections. Step two: profit. Yeah. That's step four. All right. Step one: underpants. Continue checkout. Does it know what card I'm using? Mm. Okay. Good. Hold on. Uh, sign in to your pizza profile. Hey, that would be get out there. Pizza profilers. It's Manhunter, but it, or Mindhunter, but it's about pizza. Oh <laughs> what the fuck? I want to see the Pizza Man and Kemper. Why is it? I need the passcode. Oh my god, I hate this fucking phone. Alright. I don't know what's happening. It's, um, it's trying to make me, like, sign into my Gmail in order to fucking oh. fine. I'll do that. I'll do that. Fine. Are you happy? No. So your, your job came up as a uh, my job came up your job now. came up as a I got an email from indeed your skills match yep this job I told you it does. and and I got an email from the, your company but I didn't respond to it oh wait yeah. was it like from my general manager or no was it from, it was from like, like corporate, corporate? Yeah. okay oh my god that's because I guess I've been applying so much on indeed recently that it, yeah, they're just that they send you the things yeah. out um and I was like no <laughs> that'd be a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think you can work at my, uh, no. my location. <laughs> but um, the uh, the the place I went to yesterday, uh, the to the, I met with the president of the company. Um, it's in Langhorn, PA. Uh, I met with the president of the company through a uh, Zoom call, and he's like, "Well, go over to the location on Sunday, and my manager will be over there. You can meet with her." So I went over there. Um, I got there a little bit early. And I, she's like, what are you here for? I was like, oh, I met with the president. I think she thought I was there to take her job. And she was oh. getting all weird with it. And I was like, dude, no. I'm like, really? Like, do I have to do this every fucking where I go? Right. Like, okay, yeah. It's making me manually type in the password. So you'll have to give me a second. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, yeah, we almost went to the movies tonight for anybody who's just joining us to yeah. see uh, Late Night with the Devil. 
Um, but Dave wasn't feeling well. Uh, okay. He's not his boyfriend, so we didn't go to that. Um, I'm going to go see Godzilla with them on Thursday, I think. Nice. And then fun. Saturday we shot yes, a really Sunday. funny review of uh, Scanners. Oh, um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Nice, we did the thing. Okay. Yay. We need to change the callback phone number. <laughs> Remember when uh, last time I didn't change the phone number? Oh, yeah. Um, and here, I'm just going to put the tool and put mess in. There we go. Sure, we'll use just in that for delivery drivers. We'll do that. Um, call or text. Hold on. Was it Domino's the one time when the weird pizza guy was out there? Or was that Papa Maybe John's? Maybe be wearing all black. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have skeleton legs. I mean, I could say. And he'll be like, yeah, every other does. Skeleton pants. You gotta say that. I'll be wearing all black with skeleton pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it gonna let me log into my PayPal, or do I have to manually type my number in? So or much I... work. I know. Well, it's because everything's automatically saved onto my real phone, but this mm -hmm. is still this is still the bullshit iPhone that I have to. Mm -hmm. Sure, we'll get a code. We'll do that. Oh, and I guess uh, well, I can bring in. Um... Paper towels, because all I'm still waiting for my dishwasher. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. The dishwasher and the internet should all be fixed on April first. He told me. Okay. Yeah. I've been wondering about your internet. Me too. I mean, it's one less thing I've had to pay for. Yeah, but I guess that's they, fair. You know, at least you're not being charged for it. Yeah, well, they were at first. Yes, that's correct. We are saving your information to Domino's. Yeah, we'll put a tip on the... Uh, Domino's is coming for you. Yeah. We'll put a tip on the card. Just the tip. Just the tip. Okay, please. And we'll get we'll catch up on everybody's questions. Yeah, sorry, like I'll that. come back in a second. I just wanted to get this out of the way. Mm -hmm. Hello. The button's, like, grayed out. So uh -oh. it's pink. There we go. I successfully played. I think that was the fastest we've ordered food any time. Well, most of the time we can't figure out what the fuck we want. Yeah, that too. And we just kind of go back and forth like. Durr. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have returned, um, to the chat. Okay. All right. Well, Cody went at Mania. The YouTube Boy Scout Club. They disappeared. You put like an ellipsis on the end of that too. I do like it. Like like it's like a mystery. What happened to them? Right. I don't want Becky Lynch to beat Mommy, but it might come to pass. That's fair. Uh, one of my wrestling friends, like at the at the Monster Factory, is like a huge Becky Lynch fan. So um, I'm kind of cool with either. I like them both a lot. I haven't really watched them much, but uh, we need movies like Late Night with the Devil to do well. Fair. Yeah. I saw a post pop up that was like it made six hundred sixty six thousand six hundred sixty six, or you know, which is such the, uh, bullshit. Yeah. Because when they released on it on a Sunday, and I was yeah. like, Are you sure? Yeah, and I'm just like, well, the box office totals wouldn't even be in yet. Yeah. Let's get mad about that and not the AI thing. Right. A leg into the desert. A lemon party cookie should be a thing with smiling old men on the packaging. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Seth was screwed, Cody. Okay. Yes, it's used AI wisely, just like we did with all the other uh, technical innovations in history, right? Mm -hmm. But he will have to wait another year. I, I feel like they can't do that. Like, they can't piss off the fans that bad, especially now that, like, things are a little more tumultuous with the McMahon being fucking dethroned, thank mm. God. Um, I feel like they gotta be careful, this mania, especially because it's such a big mania. I think it's 40. Yeah. So, Mets, I was watching my... Oh, yeah, I read that. That make you a It needs the letter C. Did new move to Canada. They use letters and numbers and zip codes. <laughs> Mets, have you watched Rocky Horror yet? No, but I got scolded yet again for not having seen it yet. Um, <laughs> when I was at training, I mentioned it, uh, and it was, they were like, you haven't seen Rocky Horror? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and today's Richard O'Brien's birthday, the guy who created okay. Rocky Horror, yeah. Happy birthday, Richard O'Brien. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys remind me of the couple in Men in Black 2. Did I see the second one? I think I only saw the first one. David Cross's character in part two was Newton. Nice. That's his character's name. Um, I hope that's a compliment. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> All I remember in part two was, uh, uh, Johnny Knoxville was in it. Okay. Um, uh, menu is priced, it's 50% off, go big or see your food tomorrow. Oh, I didn't notice that. 
Um, just remember that scene from the Flintstones movie now. Meat, meat, meat. <laughs> I miss the Pizza Hut's meat lovers and pan pizza uh, pizzas. They tasted amazingly as a kid. How was Mick Foley? He was very nice. Uh, I had a very good time. We made a whole video about it. Yeah, there's a whole um, video up here about it. I, I got called hardcore. Um, not by him specifically, of course, chanting it, but he, he did ask if the barbed wire hurt, which it, it didn't really. Say nothing hurts. Well, no, it's just like you get used to it after a while, and like I drove up to New York with it on, so it's like two and a half, three hours, so it was like, all right, you know. He just popped up on a video I was watching earlier. Mm -hmm. It was 8-Bit Eric had it uh, on his stream. That Mick Foley went like toy shopping for like some toy oh, channel yeah. or something like that. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think your son and Dracula poster is trying to fly off the wall. Oh, the the thing came off. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, the AI thing with the devil movie. Yeah, I saw that. Reminds me of the average of Gamergate and the Christ is King stuff. Silly Willies. I feel like those are different. The cinnamon bread is good at Domino's, but sugar is bad. At, sugar is not bad. It's called moderation. Never pay for late pizza. Ancient humans, so we put cheese with the hot bread. This could be a thing. Accurate, <laughs> though. Accurate. Uh, I've shorted meat lovers into Capricosa ham mushroom olive. I'm gonna get a shirt that says meat lover on it. Hell yeah. Just hang out at clubs. <laughs> I'm about to eat a pepperoni and have some hot honey. That sounds really good. I saw the one earlier. There's a guy I posted on Instagram in my stories. Uh, there's a dude in, a, in an elevator. That just, he's an old man. And he has a mm -hmm. t-shirt on that says chicken, chicken nugget slut. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that! Oh yeah, I was thinking it was chicken tender slut. The chicken tender yeah, slut. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what up? Just got back from that possible Grin's House theater. Hey. Oh hey, uh, how's that going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A grind house, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never mind, it ended yesterday. Oh, okay, gotcha. Domino's in Australia is a joke. Underpants gnomes reference, nice new. Mm -hmm. Avoid the noid. God bless readily available acceptable pizza, right? Yep. Yeah, basically. It used to keep me from total collapse. Yeah, I can't imagine that that's the case here at all. Um, actually, no, if you got blood drawn, you had to have eaten something, didn't you? No, yeah, I had a kind bar. I had a kind bar, and I had literally six, uh, respecies. <laughs> have. So, on, so, it was funny, on, um, Saturday, a dude who watches the channel saw me in the mall, mm -hmm. and came up and wanted to talk, and like that, and I'd gotten a slice of pizza, and I had to get back because I was working on something, yeah. so I didn't get a chance to eat. And then I forgot that it was in the back, and then I went to the movies, and then I couldn't get back into the mall. Oh, I even know. though I have all the keys and everything yeah. like that, because I, I'm still learning everything. Yeah. So I was like, so on Saturday, I just straight up forgot to eat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to feed you. I'm and eating now. I know. I'm going to continue to feed you. That's fine. Um, is that my glass? What is that? That is my glass. Situation? That is your glass. Okay. Yeah. What's your cup? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Did you want a glass glass? No, I don't care. I was just confused by how That many... had water in it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And then this was for soda. Yes. Or pop, depending on where you're from. I'm sure Gerald appreciates the shout out. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like earlier, I was trying to explain the sandwich thing, and I was like, what's a hoagie? If it's not a grinder or a hero mm -hmm. or a sub, I was like, everybody's gonna call shit different things in different places. Um, I think fun. that was uh, Justin and Penelope's wedding cup. Oh yes, yeah, it is Stonehenge. Our friends it's got married. Yeah, Justin our friends got married at Stonehenge, which was really fucking cool. Are all waiting for me to lick that? <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound subdued today? I feel like I don't feel subdued, but I sound. I don't know. It doesn't sound it to me. But... That's good. Yeah. Um, I bet the meat lovers pizza at Sawyer's Gas and Barbecue Grill tastes good. Uh, <laughs> the Noid is trying to get your Gmail, Matt. Clearly. Do you know why they had to stop doing the Noid? Did you ever hear that story? Yes. You told that. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Newt, uh, Newt, was it you're looking? What's it you're looking to do now? Uh, I've been applying to different operational management jobs. Um. I, uh, I got one as a uh, shipping and receiving and inventory manager with uh, Habitat for Humanity. Mm -hmm. uh, I had an operations general manager uh, interview with a thing called K1 Racing, which is like a big indoor go-karts and axe throwing and arcade Hell and all yeah. that kind of stuff. That, that pays really well. Okay. Um, and the president of the company uh, and I spoke and got along pretty well. Uh, and then I had a meeting with um, a, a company that's expanding. It's like a self-storage place. Mm -hmm. They need a district manager. So I met with them. Um, and then I have two theaters have asked me to just come in and talk to them. 
Okay. So I that's good. If you can do a consultation. That yeah. Right so here. and one of them is. Uh, I hope you all think I just poured soda directly on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them is in Oaks, PA, but that that's the one that worries me a little bit because it's right where Too Many Games is, and oh. literally that's where Mike Bate, James, and I used to go to the movies all the time when oh. I was a Regal. So I'm less interested in that one. And then the other one is not a movie theater. It's a playhouse concert venue uh, is looking for a house manager. Um, so I'm going to go talk to them oh, yeah. on Wednesday as well. So yeah. I hope that goes fine. Me too. You know, they're all much better paying jobs. Every time I tell them what my Where pay got you. reduced to at the, at the Narber Theater, they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you stick around? Stuck around because I thought that I was doing, you know, I, I yeah. thought that it mattered. Yep. Um, any funny things happen at FYE, or has it been annoying? It's retail. Um, yeah. I, I don't know anything about anime. <laughs> uh, I, uh, the kids who work there, though, like, they're not kids, like, they're, they're just, like, younger than me. Um, they're, they're extremely interested in pretty much everything I have to say, though, because I guess, like, they love pop culture stuff, but they don't know it the way I know it. Well, so, that's, like, the one kid, Kevin, was just, like, Looking at me like I was fucking Yoda the other day, you know? <laughs> Your order entered the oven at 9.33. That's such, like... Maybe I'm just in that brain, but that's... that. Like, I feel like that wording has always been a little too sensible. <laughs> it entered the oven. Mm -hmm. Like, not like, oh, okay, your stuff's being cooked. It's like it entered the oven. I'm gonna put this hot cheese in your oven. It's not hot what? until you put it in the oven. No, yeah, you got that right. <laughs> Uh, current estimate delivery time, 13 to 28 minutes. I All feel right. like that's a really... That is a bizarre, range. yeah, range of time there. You're either going to get it within 15 minutes, or almost half an or hour. Thursday. Yeah, or, <laughs> or Thursday. Yeah, or Thursday. Um, okay. Newt, I hear... Yeah, I hear you need a medical supply is hiring. You should apply here. They get lots of orders for split dogs. That's right. You know what that's from? No. Return of the Living Dead. Okay. You'll watch your I've tongue. I've seen that. You'll watch your tongue boy if you like this job. Like this job. <laughs> uh, Metz said the movie was a lie. Metz is the Larry David of YouTube. Newt is Larry's manager, Jeff. <laughs> oh my God. I've got Zilla X Kong on Thursday also. Pop yeah, I'm, nice. we're going to see it on Thursday. Yeah, Lana Dave and I are going to see it. LOL, I'm playing Age of Empires 2. Build me a little people. Build. Wait, build me li What? That wording is odd. I'm a little person. Meanwhile, Semantic Pizza Man is like, um, if you have skeleton pants, they have white in them, so you're not wearing all black. That's why I specified that they're skeleton pants. I'm wearing all black for, with the exception of pants and what if he just he's like underwear mode. no the underwear is black yeah i'm actually except for my socks and the but, white is that gonna pants. come up he's like the pizza guy's like well, well hold on a second <laughs> before i give all you all black before i give you this pizza <laughs> we need to know black. about that underwear <laughs> oh, that was a good crunch yeah um but no that's why i specified because that's the exception i'm in all black except for the bones and um then. yes oh, i love that movie mm -hmm. Uh, thank you for ordering food, but now I want pizza. Then get pizza. There was a con that took place in Connecticut, and they did a Thelma and Louise thing where they can, they can I take saw. a pic with Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon, and they had boxes in between paying guests taking photos. It was like you. It was like it was so embarrassing That's looking. Odd. Like it looks like you. Were they trying to say it was like a COVID thing, or? I just think that we, as the paying customers, are fucking idiots, mm -hmm. and the and famous people are just so much better than us. That like we're like the lowly serfs, oh and it's God. like stand over there, a little bit further, okay, over, over a little there, bit further. Over. Yeah. Am I still in frame? What? Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's an eighty dollar picture. Do you celebrate Easter? Uh, I mean, I was raised Christian, so by virtue of that, I guess I celebrate Easter. Oh fuck! My mom texted us like a month ago asking what we want for Easter. <laughs> it's fine. She knows what I like. I like yeah. peeps and stuffed animals. There you and go. Chocolate. So um, I saw. So <laughs> I was. I, I'm. I get. Uh, you know, again, I'm learning a whole new retail system, and it's like, uh, we're doing these floor moves, so everything, they have to build these new sections. So they have, like, an entire wall of, like, Japanese candy mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But they have these, oh, yeah. they have these, um, these peeps that are apparently filled with, like, Jolly Rancher, but not, like, a hard Jolly Rancher, like but, like, a soft fill. That sounds so And I was good. just like, I think we need to try that. But they yeah. also have like. Before you, but you definitely need to get some. Before. Well, there's a couple of things that I think we need to try. Some okay. stuff I think you would love, mm -hmm. but they have a pickle roulette. No. Do you know what that is? No. So you know those sour straws that we used yeah. to have. So it's them, but like, hidden within them, 
some of them are intentionally pickle flavored, and it's like pickle roulette. Fine. And that's what I said. I was like, why would you want that? So just every every like couple every minutes possible of the fight, one. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're, I you love sour stuff. You're like, motherfucker. Why? Because like the shit that you brought over. Yeah, exactly. That I don't want that. No, but like, it's like, like, but also, but like, if we were gonna do that, my brain intentionally goes in with like, okay, this is gonna be yeah, bad. Yeah. But if I'm eating, exactly, it's even worse. Yeah. Because you're like, all right, nice, tasty, sour yeah. straws, vibes. Oh god. Exactly. <laughs> Did I show you the video? I've got two videos of other people trying. Yes, I did yep. show you both. Yeah, you show me the one fucking of Paul. Tony, really like, funny. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, Paul no, Paul, yeah, okay. Paul is not. Yeah. Tony yeah. fucking launched himself mm-hmm. backwards and, like, relatable. And then downing, like, the bottle of soda. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that one. Oh, my God. And then Leo described it as tasting like a seat cushion. Yes. And I think Which I don't agree of, with. Yeah, that that's, like, underselling it by a lot. Yeah. I think that, like... I think his senses got fucked up from having COVID, COVID like five fucking times because seat cushion, if I'm thinking seat cushion, I'm thinking you're eating like just some foam, right? Yeah. Like unpleasant, but like, ah, this is just Bland. foam, right? Bland, yes. exactly. Whereas, Not that yeah, abomination. Yeah, this is like a vinegary, like... If you haven't seen the nutrition of us trying the pickle cotton candy, please go watch it. You get a little bit of under boob if, if you need, you the, insp- if you need you know, the motivation. Yes, if you need the motivation to go watch it. Uh, but also, I like physically full body cringe. It's great. <laughs> and then you were like, don't eat that much, don't eat that much. <laughs> you literally pulled out the biggest chunk. I thought we were gonna get so like upset. I thought it was gonna be something for the, the video, and I was like, you know, I gotta oh give the god. people what they come here oh for. Oh my god, you did, you did. Yeah. I've shown so many people just that video yeah. to the point that when I go on our channel to watch other things, yeah. it pops up immediately. It's like, well, watch this again. I'm like, no. Well, it's like I tried the <laughs> I tried the Dragon Ball drink, mm-hmm. and I was just like, this is yeah, I saw that pop bad. up. Like, <laughs> it's bad. Uh, I saw that they were charging five hundred bucks. Oh, the con Whoa. for that. Oh, that thing that they're charging for the uh, the boxes in between. That's Jesus. crazy. So offensive, I'd never go to one of those events again. Fair. Uh, Werner, Her- Werner Herzog likes WrestleMania. I mean, oh, cool. cool. Nice. More of a fan of the Paradise Guy. Oh, I really like that movie. If I'm remembering which one it is correctly. Um, a big problem with AI is we're going to be running low on advanced chips. Huh? Is that a reference to something? Well, like, like these bold... Doritos chips? Yeah, exactly. The advanced chips. Oh, hey, I should watch Dark City for his birthday. Yes, okay, great yeah. movie. I want to see Men in Black, but instead of Will Smith and Tommy Lee, I want David Cross and Bob Odenkirk. <laughs> I sent pics, sorry, driving home. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check them out, or maybe send them nude, I don't know. A couple of Men in Black 2 are fun. They offered Jay a personal pizza, and he says his mom put a, will put a little Parmesan on it, but she's got palsy, so it'll actually be a lot. <laughs> and they imply I kill her after. <laughs> Best Fat Boy Slim song, right here, right now. Yeah, it's a good song. Someone said, Weapons of Mass Destruction are praise you. Uh, oh, God. Um, what's the other one where the people are juggling in the video? Um, fuck, what's the one where they're juggling in the video? That song, I love. Okay. Um, I haven't heard why they stopped the noid. Please tell me more. Okay, I'll check on our... Yeah, so the Noid, there is apparently a four schi- minutes away. Okay. There is a schizophrenic guy who apparently his last name was Noid, and he thought in his schizophrenia that uh, the commercials are about him. So he took a Domino's hostage and like threatened to kill people. And so the company was like, "Well, that's enough of that." Yeah. Right. Our delivery expert Orlando is four minutes away. Our delivery he expert. Left, yes, he did, left the store at nine forty one. Look, we can watch him on the little map. Ooh. What if he just started going like into the water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Like, slim. What if, what if, what if, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Being called. Hello. Oh, okay, cool. I'll uh, I'll be right down. I'll be right down with my skeleton pants. Yes, my skeleton pants. Right. Uh, <laughs> that was a good joke. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was good. But Devin Sawa in that video. Old pair of pants. That's what it was. That song reminds me of an ex. God is dead. He is dead. And he was very little. If you ever saw that Kids in the Hall skit,
See, I just wanted Mets to bring over like little snacks. I didn't think they were going to bring all this over and pizza and all that kind of stuff. So, yay. Good for me. Um, yeah, so now you get to sit and watch us eat and drink. <laughs> Yeah, I, d I really dug Fatboy Slim. I like, um, that was kind of that era of, like, them and, like, Daft Punk, um, that all came out. I'm kind of bummed that Daft Punk broke up because there's a new Tron movie coming out, and I would have loved to have seen them do another soundtrack because the Tron 2 soundtrack is literally the only part of that movie that people really remember. Oh, you mean God is Dead is in the, uh, those Christian movies? I had to sit through the, the, the one with Melissa Joan Hart. Um, it was bad, but it's, I was told it's less bad than the other ones. I swear I only get messages when I'm streaming or filming. Are we still having a chip shortage? I know that during COVID it was a big thing. Yeah, but nobody nobody cared about uh, Tron Legacy. Like I I enjoyed it for what it was, um, but I felt like, uh, and and the the the, the de aging on Jeff Bridges was weird, but it was still early in the uh, the technology. Basically, like before that, what did you have? You had the de aging of uh, Professor X and Magneto in X Men Three, which was done so poorly. Hey, how loud I always have to close your door. Yeah. Food. You come bearing food. Let me get some paper towels. Oh god. Just a place. Yeah, he was like not as close as he said he was, so he was just standing out there freezing for a couple minutes. It's fine. It's not that cold. Being a little dramatic. Okay. You'll have to stop me if I'm rereading anything that you've already read. Yeah. Uh, okay. Shh. Was it because the Noid got scammed by someone claiming to be Keanu Reeves? <laughs> um, millennial work ethic. I'm very good at working, and by God, I work hard, and I can really lick people. Oh, Jesus. Um, good night, everyone. You rule forever, Mets. Oh, good night. Sorry. Good night. I may have seen that little, like, Master Nuta. <laughs> no, because they were looking at you like Yoda. Oh, yeah. Nihilism with the Unkillable Dead. Oh, yeah, Return of the Living Dead. There is a fun video where a guy tests the accuracy of those pizza trackers. I'll have to show you later. Well, this one was actually, I think, more accurate than the guy calling and telling me that he was mm -hmm. here. I will not need a plate, just so you, you know sure? my thing. Yeah, here. Oh, okay. I, literally, I'll just... It's probably mine. They usually stick the fork in it. It says deliciousness. Yep, yep. that's yours. I just eat it straight out of the thing. <laughs> I just eat it straight. <laughs> It's the only thing I do straight. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Alright, I can't get pizza, I don't have money, no big deliveries till tomorrow. Alright, fair enough. So I know, nice to know you all still have FYE or it's closed down years ago and it's not a clothing store. I'm surprised I haven't been to one before. Yeah, there, uh, again, I just, I took the gig because it was the first one to mm -hmm. pop up. Yeah, of course. Um, but they all seem like nice people, you know? They're kind of letting me do what I do. Nice. Um, you know, the, the only thing that I'm not used to is like the, you know, they got to hit their numbers when it comes to like mm -hmm. selling like memberships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's the only part that I have a hard time with because I'm so not used to that. Right. Headspace. Pickle Roulette sounds like something in the porn movie we talked about you directing earlier. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm upset they didn't bring, bring back, or at least I haven't seen any of the peeps yet. I like that. Right? That was really good. Oh, last year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was it, a year ago? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Domino's Pizza should do the roulette thing. But hide that one slice has head cheese. <laughs> Lebanon, bologna, Lebanon bologna and pickle relish. 
Someone just said old pair of jeans. <laughs> That's the name of the song. Oh, okay, Acid Man 5000. The Noid came back in 2021. God is dead. Yes. And no uh, oh, the AI chips thing, I mean advanced microprocessors. Oh, oh okay. okay. I was like, what? Um, there's your movie right there. They're doing the Disney Pooh horror movie. You should write a Noid horror movie. Oh, it's not in the public domain yet. <laughs> Although I did hear that the second Pooh horror movie is actually way better than the first one. Okay. There are two already? Yeah. Oh my god. They knew about the first one. A lot of advanced microchip manufacturing is dependent on globalization and huge supply chains. Now that's been done. Fair enough. That kit, that K-I-T-H skit inspired a Slobby song, rumor has it. Oh, oh. yeah. Don't mention God is dead. Kevin Sorbo might need that call and tweet some juicy reasons. <laughs> Um, back on the microchips. Plus, it's really fucking complicated and expensive to make chips, especially high end ones that power AI. For like smartphones and military hardware servers. I love Tron Legacy. So mad they're doing this Jared Leto shit for three instead of continuing from the short film Tron the next day. Yes! Uh, that's what I thought they were going off of. The Pooniverse is my new obsession. Yes, that's all the villains. <laughs> I just love the name, the Pooniverse. Right? They have an entire Marvel-esque extended universe, the aforementioned Pooniverse. Nice. You'll probably get fired from a new job when they find out about your channel. Why? No, they wouldn't. What do we do here that they wouldn't want it, FYI? Yeah. Um, Nostalgia Critic has been doing good reviews lately. Okay. Okay. Wasn't Tron Legacy more just a long Daft Punk music video than a movie, though? That's yeah. Funny. But I love Michael Shannon in that, or uh, Michael Sheen in that one, where he's basically playing David Bowie. It's just so weird. No, they knew about my channel before I even got hired. Yeah, that's a strange mm -hmm. Um, Where were we? Remember that mad TV sketch where the Terminator comes back to protect Jesus from being crucified? Mm -hmm. No. Well, they did uh, one on SNL with uh, Did Jesus Uncrossed, and it was Django meets Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff Bridges looks fine in Tron Legacy. I mean, you can tell it's a special effect. You can tell a lot of effects in many movies. I insist he looked fine. Eh, I guess yeah. I saw it in, like, in 3D and on, like, the big screen, and, eh. Um, no, but I was about to strut to that pizza with Kiss playing Strutter in the background. <laughs> oh my god. Shit, now I want pizza and Coke. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, everyone want pizza. Yeah. Um, hello, my wife had pours Domino's. I have to get it when she's away. I remember, um, I was dating somebody, and uh, he had used to work for Domino's, and, like, had sworn off of it, essentially. Mm -hmm. But the one night, it was, like, the only thing open or whatever, so we ordered Domino's. But, um, he, like, he wanted to be, like, really secretive about it, because we lived with, like, five or six other people. And, um, so, like, two things, okay? He was like, all right, we have to, like, get rid of the pizza boxes, like, in the next day. We were going to, like, burn the pizza box or something weird like that. But also, when it arrived, it's, like, 2 in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. So most of the house is asleep anyway, so he's like, it's fine. No one's going to know. Mm -hmm. Well, um, one person was still awake and downstairs. Um, and this is, uh, I do not know how to succinctly describe this man. I've definitely mentioned him before. He was, uh, the roommate that always kept a loaded deagle on him. Oh, yeah. Um... That was one of the times that I had it pointed at me because he was in the living room and he heard someone walking around quietly and then like open the door, which in my opinion should tell him that that was someone from inside the yeah. house, not someone from, from outside, outside coming house. into the house. Yeah. But you know, um, so yeah, then I, I turn around with my boxes of pizza and he's got the gun pointed at me and I was just like, oh, hey, um, yeah, we ordered Domino's. He's like, oh, okay. We're a season's pizza house. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, Andrew didn't want anyone to know that we ordered Domino's. He was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, cool. Um, I don't know what the fuck he was even doing, but. What if, like, um, you couldn't get rid of the boxes, you had to put them in the recyclables, and to him it becomes, like, the telltale heart? Like. <laughs> um, hold on. Is that how that works? No, I don't think that's how that works. I'm pressing buttons, forgive me. Um, okay. The succulent eating of Mets and Newt. Look, mm -hmm. look. We're gonna do it ASMR style. Um, well I saw it in a theater in 3D and he looked fine. Well, I see kind of blurry, so maybe it's that lol. I'm the ideal audience for the de-aging effect. The guy who can see that good. There you go. Nice. I have to rewatch it. I honestly have, I only saw it that one night, and then I've seen pieces of it since then. Um... 
you know, I, I, I like I like the look of it. I love the soundtrack. Um, obviously, I have an affinity for Olivia Wilde because I used to date a chick who looks just like her. Um, so, you know, I'll rewatch it. Fair enough. I've never seen it. any of the Tron movies, I don't think. But Wow. I'm going to rewatch Blade, though. I know I've already done that like eight times, but... We were just talking about... Oh, we watched... Uh, mm-hmm. we remember we were at the Around the Corner when yeah. it was on, yeah. That was awesome. Like, I always specifically sat on the one side just to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> We realized that we were when we were at the that place with the cool burgers. Um, we um, realized that uh, Blade was playing above my mm. head, so I like switched around and sat on the other side so I could watch it. We're doing a whole marathon. Yeah, Blade Two is my favorite of that series. What's your guilty pleasure flick? Hmm, that's a good question, actually. I don't believe in guilty pleasures. Yeah, it sounds like I don't. There are no movies that I watch that I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be watching this. There's yeah. Like a bear. Yeah, and it's not like it's not like CP. Like I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, no, I think if you like something, put your fucking name on it, man. You know, like it for liking it. And there's and as much as you might think, like, oh, this is weird. Nobody likes this movie. Mm-hmm. I'll bet you there's a million motherfuckers out there who also mm-hmm. absolutely eat that shit up. So I guess the closest is like, I. I watched the Twilight movies um, with a friend who okay, had previously been super into Twilight. That. Well, I didn't actually have fun with like mm-hmm. we had fun making fun of it, but like it wasn't. I don't really remember anything about it. Mm-hmm. It only worked because I had read the book. So that's the closest is I will guilty pleasure read. No, I mean the Twilight book. That's fine. Like yeah. again, everybody. I didn't think it was a real thing when I saw it for the first time. Mm-hmm. But, like yeah, the girl's name is Bella, mm-hmm. and I was like, it's about vampires. And then I saw yeah. like like supernatural baseball. And I was like, this isn't real. It was based off a dream she had. <laughs> and, like, I think I've told this before because um, when Twilight was first, like, announced, when it first came out, mm-hmm. I was super, super excited for it. I was, like, 11 or something. And people have been calling me a vampire for a couple years at that mm-hmm. point. So I was like, oh, finally, vampire acceptance. Like, this yeah. is what we needed. Um, I mean, they need it. No. Um, <laughs> vampire rights now. Yep. So... Um, you know, I, I got super excited and I asked my parents for it, but there's sex in the fourth book, so they were like, no. Gasp. Um, so then I forgot to tell them late, like later on for my 12th or 13th birthday, somewhere around there, they got me the box set, mm-hmm. and I didn't tell them that I had learned about more about it and did not want it anymore. But because <laughs> I had it now, and especially at that age, I was reading everything in my hands on. That was around when I got uh, grounded from reading. <laughs> um, so I read through it. Like, it was fun to read through. I did not enjoy it. It's still awful. But, like, mm-hmm. you know, that's why I'm like, it's a close side to, like, a guilty pleasure movie. Um, all right. I'm backing up. The Duality of Man. Never seen Blade. Next person. Blade is great. <laughs> <laughs> I follow this really cool cosplayer on Instagram who cosplays um, Wesley Snipes' character. And it's uh, very fucking cool. Mm-hmm. He looks really good. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Um, I'm more into Kim Wilde. She keeps me hanging on. That has to be references to mm-hmm. Can I show you Tron? Yes, Joe, you can show me Tron. The first ten minutes of Blade is better than most entire movies. Yes. Oh, the first ten 100%. minutes of Blade. Absolutely. Mm. With Tracy Lords is in the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. Who hears Faithfully by Journey when Mets and Newt put food to their mouth? <laughs> Um, doesn't it start in an underground club that starts raining blood? Yes. Yeah, it's a blood rave. Yep. The, yeah, the, the starting raining blood is, like, on purpose, though. They're, that sounds like I would kill to go to a blood rave. I would have so much fun in a blood rave. And former teenage porn star Tracy Lords has a cameo. Right, you were saying. She basically crippled the entire porn industry on, on this, in the 80s. Jesus. Um, no, I would totally go to a fucking porn rave. porn rave. Porn rave? <laughs> it starts <laughs> raining... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, in Blade 2, mm-hmm. in Blade 2, um, they filmed in, like, the Czech Republic, mm-hmm. and Wesley Snipes knows, knew Michael Jackson really well, mm-hmm. and Michael Jackson's like, hey, I'm gonna show up on your set today, and they're like, please don't, like, he just <laughs> thought it would be okay to just oh show God. up and be a vampire in the club, oh and they're like, uh, someone needs to tell Michael Jackson not to come here. Right. No, um, I would totally go to a blood rave. That looks like so much. And then, of course, fast forward like an hour, and it's like there were no survivors. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty fun. And then yeah, and then that's when uh, Wesley Snipes guy comes and fucks everybody up. Some motherfuckers always gotta ice skate uphill. Right. 
Um, Twilight is fun. My sister loves that series. That damn CG baby. That fucking baby. <laughs> Vampire baby. Fucking baby, man. Because, again, I read the book, so... Then when I was seeing all the memes, I was like, what? And then, um... A friend of mine that I was talking to at the time... Um, she was like, oh yeah, I used to be super, super into the Twilight series, mm. and I want to trash rewatch the movies. I was like, well, that works for me, because I've never seen them. Yeah. So I think we watched the first two. Um, but I have seen, maybe we finished it, actually, because I do remember seeing the baby and being uncomfortable. One of the movies, like, um, they're, like, in the house for 90% of the movie, mm -hmm. and it's just people, like, posing, like, they're in, like, an H&M ad. Like, it's really bizarre. And then the last one, I just remember watching from the projection booth, like, them, like, running towards each other on, like, ice mm -hmm. and, like, ripping heads off. Mm -hmm. And then, like, at the end, it was all a dream by, like, Dakota Fanning yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's odd. Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys should review Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. I love that okay. movie. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. I liked Jawbreaker. Great costume. Mm-hmm. Santa Lathan. I don't know how to pronounce that name. In Blade is so alluring. Who did she play? Who? Which, which one was it? Oop. Oh yeah, she was the the main chick. Oh yeah. Oh, Doug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And then Blade comes in and just destroys them. Heart emoji prayer hands. <laughs> yeah. Sparkle, sparkle. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, where is Sparkle Scarzola? Maximum overdrive fucking rules. I'll die on this hill. Oh, that reminds because someone actually they censored uh, to effing. Hold on, let me all messages. Thanks. Why does this happen? It always defaults to like filtering them. I don't want to filter you guys, I promise. How about the band filter? That's not bad. <laughs> will you take my picture? <laughs> who made who? Who made you? Well, look at Fifty Shades of Grey. It was originally an erotic Twilight fan fiction. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Twilight is uh, based off of a dream she had, and then Fifty Shades is a Twilight fan fiction. Yeah, it's <laughs> layers. She's called Bella Swan, like, meaning beautiful swan, with all the implications of beauty on swan. Bit oh. much for me. Yes, that is the, yeah, that's why she, her name is. Still, I've watched the first two movies. I saw some really funny edits. Um, like, uh, the meme, the Twilight memes are so good. They're mm. so good. Um, I'm surprised they ended the movie series with most of the main characters dying in that epic battle. At least that's how I should always remember that ending. Yep, they all died. Oh. <laughs> I reminded my dad who was born in 1953 got taken to Psycho in the movie theater by my grandparents, which explains just so much. Oh my god. I love Psycho. These two are knocking boot. Wait, damn, your name. Look at this person's username. Oh. <laughs> um, thoughts on Mimic? Watch that recently, and it's like Chud with giant meat and bugs that poses humans. Directed by Guillermo del Toro, his first movie uh, for an English studio. And he had such a bad experience working for the Weinsteins that he went back to Mexico. And he's like, fuck you. And then they brought him back uh, because of Devil's Backbone to do, um, to do Blade 2. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. um, mentioning giant mutant bugs reminded me of uh, this anime that I totally forgot that I started watching called Terraformers. Mm -hmm. I may have shown you. Got the, it's got these like giant mutant cockroaches. Okay. Um, Terraformers. So. Shit, fuck, ass, boss. Um, these, these things. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> they sort of look like Ambush Bug, the DC mm -hmm. character. Okay. DC Comics character. But yeah, I, I started watching that. I'm like, mm -hmm. a couple episodes in. I don't like that promo image. Where did it go? Look at the, it's all the characters and then... <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a space ladybug. It's a cockroach, I think. A space cockroach. I think it's creepy oh. as fuck. Um, that's like, hey, you know what Japan's gonna give us now? Sexy space cockroach. Yes. It's called Terraformers, if anyone's... Oh, God. No, thank you. Hello. <laughs> oh, God. It's like... It's like a dark version of A Bug's Life. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot I'd say Zack Snyder's thing. A Bug's Life. Oh, my God. Um... Imagine Michael Jackson, Wesley Snipes, Ron Perlman, and Guillermo del Toro in a Czech bar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sounds like the beginning of a fucking joke. Of a joke, yeah. The ice skating line is one of the most quotable lines in a movie. Yep. And it's right before he blows up Deacon Frost, mm -hmm. of course. Um, well, even in part two, uh, when in, in part two, when Ron Perlman says to him, uh, uh, do you blush? Um, oh, yeah. Because a, a racist once said that to... Wesley Snipes, yeah. so he did. He used it in the movie. Nice. Um, 
Hold on. That after credit sequence in Ghostbusters Frozen Kingdom made me think of Maximum Overdrive. Oh yeah, the little the little marshmallow men steal the guy's uh, tractor trailer. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. How was that? I liked it. Okay. It's definitely not as good as the last one. Okay. It's got all kinds of problems, okay. but everything in there that works really works. Okay. Um, there's a whole uh, thing where Najim, the guy, the Indian guy from uh, from the Eternals, he's uh, his grandmother was like. Uh, their bloodline is responsible for keeping this orb that has this demon in it, okay. and um, it's inside this room that's all brass because it, it it'll the, the ghost can't call out to other ghosts uh, if this thing. So they're under the impression that it's a sex dungeon, and he's like, "Why would there be chains in a sex dungeon?" He's like, "Why wouldn't there be chains?" Yeah, in that's a sex actually dungeon? really good. Why wouldn't? And, and he's like, "Can we all stop talking about my recently deceased grandmother's non-sex dungeon?" <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Ever seen Elmo's jazz blanket? What? I like the one part in the first blade where Wesley Snipes breaks character with the police shoot him in the hospital. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I have to rewatch them so bad. Those were so the Blade movies, or specifically the first one, are one of those movies that like there was a period of time where um I would just rewatch movies like multiple times in mm. a week and then like do that for a couple weeks and then move on to like another movie. Yeah. Die Hard was one of them, Blade was one of them. Um Fuck, what were the other ones? This, uh, um, Blade. fucking Shawshank. Um, Shawshank was really good. Blade Hard. Blade Hard, yes. <laughs> Literally me. No, mm. um, hot take. Oh, no. Uh, that one scene in Star Wars 8 where they kamikaze light speed the ship through one of the big First Order destroyers is a masterpiece amidst an otherwise shitty movie. Yeah, I, I the, uh, the, the Holdo maneuver, or whatever it was called. Okay. Um, yeah, I especially, I liked how... The audio cut out and everything. I, I like that one though. I really like uh part eight. What's that? Rise of Skywalker? Mm -hmm. No, Last Jedi. Mm -hmm. Rise of Skywalker is the last one. That one's a piece of shit. Okay. Um but I, I actually really enjoyed that one. If you take out all the stuff with Finn and the Asian chick going to like the casino level from Sonic the Hedgehog, I think that's a pretty damn good movie. Hmm. I still like, I, you know for a fact I saw, the, especially the recent Star Wars, because mm -hmm. it was at the theater. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't understand why my brain refuses to accept Star Wars as a concept. <laughs> it's just like, no. Imagine you went to, like, a doctor, and they wrote a whole, like, paper about, like, the right. fact that you're, you, you have only Star Wars facial blindness, and it's like, <laughs> oh Disney God. sends their top men, and they're like, who? <laughs> and you're like, top men. Uh, to like figure out what's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. like, what went wrong in my brain? They're like, hi, I'm Mark Hamill. Oh my god. Um, if Twilight was made in the 80s, I feel like it would start Michael Dudikoff? Michael Dudikoff. Yeah, and Molly American Ringwald. Ninja? I guess. I don't know. And Molly <laughs> Ringwald with effects like Masters of the Universe and Klaus Kinski as the villain. <laughs> now that I'd watch. Because Kinski's right. a fucking crazy person. Oh, yeah, we talked about that mm -hmm. at one point. I don't know. I, I don't see Dude, Dudikoff... Don't worry about yeah, that. I don't see Dudikoff as... as uh, what was what's Robert Pattinson's name? Call Edward Cullen. Edward Cullen. <laughs> I'm like, call Edward... It had balls, Last Jedi. Yes, it did. Yeah, J.D. got fucked. J.J. got fucked. Or, yeah... Because J.D. was uh, Benicio the Her Toro's character. Okay. And I thought he was going to be like the Lando Calrissian of this one, where he's like, some days you win, some days they win. Um, but he just kind of vanishes. Uh, I didn't care for it, but it went hard. Yeah. I love how open Mark Hamill is about uh, caring for the new Star Wars movies. Um, and he had a ton of time with him. Yeah, because uh, he felt that, like, the version of Luke that we got is not the version that he thought Luke should have been. Mm. And I, I actually personally enjoy the idea of Luke shutting himself off from the Force. Because mm -hmm. um, the whole third movie, if Palpatine's back, then that completely undoes Vader's sacrifice. Thus making the first, you know, the, the original trilogy null and void, basically, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Now, who, if it wouldn't have been Dudikoff, because he wasn't that big a star, um, like, I could see, like, uh, fuck, I mean, if it's that time period, if it was in the 80s, it could have fucking been, um, uh, uh, Judd, uh, Nelson, uh, or, um, Emilio Estevez, or Robert Downey Jr., they were all 80s, like, mm -hmm. teen heartthrobs. 
That's what it is, especially. It says, looks like you're eating a giant cheese Danish. <laughs> kind of does, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me that Danish. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, Patrick Swayze would be Edward Cullen. He's a little beefy for that. Because, like, even if you look at, like, because it would have been around the time of... Wait, skate... he's beefy, or...? Yeah, like, Skate Town mm -hmm. USA, like, I think he's too big. No, I think that's okay, because, um, the whole point is Was that... Was Edward muscular? Yeah, he's supposed to be. Not as muscular as, uh, Jacob Black? The fuck Oh, that's right, Jacob's dude. the werewolf boy. Yeah. Okay, I, I could... De you know, you know who would play him? Mm -hmm. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. Mm -hmm. I could see him, because he's native. Is that a vodka bread bowl? It could be. This is a chicken alfredo pasta and then the bread bowl. Mm-hmm. Is there salt alcohol in it? I did not put it in. 80s there. Twilight. <laughs> and ironically, I would watch that. I would too, because that soundtrack would be amazing. That'd be so mm -hmm. fucking emo. Oh my and, god, that would be And amazing. like new wavy. Twilight theme by Bauhaus, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. But, you know, and Molly, I don't know, Molly Ringwald... I fell him? I think she has too much personality. Mm -hmm. Although then again, Christian Stewart has more personality. I'm so convinced that we made Skate Town USA up as we went in the review. So oh, yeah, obviously. <clears throat> oh, this is actually laced with drugs, you know? There you go. Well, because you posted that on Twitter, you're like, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and pretty much think that that was just a dream. Or I'm like, I'm still convinced this movie is mm -hmm. real. Uh, did we watch the new Roadhouse yet? No, I heard nothing but terrible things about it. Oh, really? Uh, there's apparently an entire, like, all the fight scenes are, like, CGI. Mm. And I was just like, why? It's just dudes, like, mm -hmm. punching each other. CGI should be, like, you know, if you can't do it. Conor McGregor is basically Chicken Hawk from the Looney Tunes cartoons in it. All right, you might have just sold me now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good poll. You don't get a lot of Chicken Hawk conversations. New Roadhouse is fun. All right. Yeah, uh, I watched the Critical Drinker's review of it where he called it woke. And I was just like, how? Like, have you ever seen the original one? Like, I fuck guys like you in prison. Mm, I thought that comes from. I might be, you don't know. Uh, good pro wrestler diet. Bang, bang, woo. If, uh... All right, look, I know. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Like, you could... Uh... Wrestlers can eat like that. I eat healthy other days. That's yeah, right. you need to uh, you need to load up on like mm -hmm. bread bowls. Yeah, I need I need the carbs. I got training tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How about Twilight, but in a Woody Allen style? Despite his background, he's still a funny director. But like, it's Twilight, but it's all like relationship conversations, but on the streets of like Soho in New York, <laughs> like you know. That'd be pretty good. It's all and and uh, and Woody Allen would play Edward though. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. right now it takes place in Washington. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. like, it's always like foggy and and yeah, they're in Forks, Washington. Tree. -y. Uh, I remember that because I remember like, there's a place called Forks. <laughs> it's right next to Spoons. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And Sporks. And Sporks. <laughs> Edward. That's in between. Edward becomes Jewish. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then the cross wouldn't work on him. Mm hmm. You know, he's a vampire. I forget if they addressed that or not. Finishing move, the bread bowl. Well, I mean, he's able to, like, bang, so... Mm-hmm. But... Mm. Apparently. I got this information from a Tumblr post, so... <laughs> okay, so clearly it's true. Grain of salt. But someone was like, hey, if vampires don't have blood, how do they get hard, right? Obviously, the answer is it depends on the, the mythos, right? But well, Obviously, the answer is because they're fictional characters. No, 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 I know. But, <clears throat> specifically, this is in the context of Twilight, since we factually, you know, like, canonically yeah, yeah, yeah. sex. So, uh, someone replied, and like I said, Tumblr posts are great as well, but someone replied and was like, hey, I actually used to be a huge Twilight fan. I shelled out for, like, some collector's edition book. The answer is, it's the venom. Like, that's what replaces their blood. So when he gets hard, his dick is just full of venom instead of blood. That's horrifying! Right? Awful. Awful, right? That's terrible! But then that begs the question of, like, is there venom in his cum, too? Because, oh, like, just because that venom's yeah. what's filling the tissue doesn't mean yeah. that that's inside her. Like, not in the absorbent sense. Um, 
But, like, obviously the cum was compatible enough with a human to have a baby. Yeah. And, like, he was human before he was turned. I don't know. What if all that comes out is bats? Or spiders? (laughs) (laughs) It's like, you know this... (laughs) Um, uh, Ninja Star of David is then... I feel like uh, that was in the Hebrew hammer. Oh, was it? What's going on? The thing you're eating looks good. Thank you, it is. Um, the language and the tones of Twilight is fully emotive. Uh, that it worked in the 80s. I don't know. I think it would work in the 80s. Um, you get a lot of, like, fucking, like, super cheesy, mm-hmm. overly romantic, you know, shit like that. Plus, you were able to take more chances. Like, there'd be, like, more gore. Mm. In an 80s uh, version of Twilight. Oh, yeah. Well, there isn't much in the book in the first place. Now I want to know what comes out of his dick. Like... Like, obviously it has to be compatible with the human ovum, right? Yeah. So... Or is it, like, zombie cum? Like, vampire cum? Like... I guess. Yeah. Right, because, like, so that's... If you put it under a microscope... All this semen has uh, like the fang, fang, yeah, no, yeah. has like those plastic fangs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, so he was a human and then he was turned, right? You Fuck. got it. Nick Cage is Edward's a- as Edward in the eighties. That's perfect. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But okay. So if it were a human woman turned vampire, glittery jizz. It is just glitter that oh, comes out. God. It looks like you open one of those like glitter yeah, bombs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm being like really scientific about it and everyone's like glitter, glitter come. No, um, <laughs> like genuinely I love that. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, so it would make sense because, um, <laughs> oh my God, like people with, with ovaries are born with all the eggs or ovaries. like we don't make new eggs, right? But y'all make new sperm. So every day. Yes. So like, I'm constantly, like, mixing it. <laughs> no, but, like... I, t- I kick it, it out. It reminded me of some horrible fucking... No, I, I come into a, dro- a jar, and then every day I, like, put new, like, spices in it, and then I re-drink it, and then... <laughs> that sounds awful. Wasn't that, like, a Chris Chan thing? Like, didn't he used to recycle his own cum by drinking it? I remember watching that Gino Samuel documentary and hearing that and being like, what the fuck is wrong with people? No. When you said come in a jar, I was thinking the fucking Rainbow Dash figure. I wasn't thinking. No, no, like I literally like, I, like and then I like use different like, like different <laughs> herbs and spices. That. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, you come up with like your favorite palette of it, where you're like, well, this time I used thyme. Yeah, you know? there that little My cinnamon was good. It's winter. I don't want to get sick. I put a little emergency in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. So. <laughs> If, uh, if Edward was the one getting pregnant, that could still work, because the ovum is still, like, chilling, right, mm-hmm. from before. Um, but if he's making new sperm, like, now it's vampire sperm. I guess that's why the baby grew so fast, because she was pregnant for, like, four months or something. Um, I don't know. Which was super, no. like, they definitely just did that, yeah, they definitely just, she definitely just did that to, like, uh, like, accelerate the plot, mm-hmm. because... <clears throat> I hate that I know the baby's name, but you must Renesmee... have a stomach of steel to listen to this conversation and still eat. Yeah, unironically, I do have a stomach of steel. Um, like both in the sense of I can eat things that are like low key expired and be fine, and mm-hmm. then also in the sense that I can hear gross shit and then also keep eating. Yeah, uh, with limits, but um, <laughs> let's not try to find those limits. So, um, what was I saying? Oh my god. Um, okay. oh yeah. Vampire so, cum. Vampire cum. Yeah, because but she definitely just did this to accelerate the story because um. Like, Renesmee, I hate that I know the baby's name. Uh, that's Wait, the baby's name. What is it? It's Renesmee. That's it's Renee fucking Esme. stupid. It sure is. Um, and my name's Newton. <sighs> yeah, no, uh, I remember the uh, the fandom collectively being like, you're kidding, right? Um, but anyway, so... <laughs> fucking hell, I'm gonna have nightmares now. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, so, alright, so... You know, the gestation period was, like, half the time. It was, like, four months or something. Oh, no. Macabro, <laughs> he's like... I feel bad for the dad at Twilight. That fucker had to put up with so much shit from that belt chick. Right? <laughs> Fucking Charlie was the best character, her dad. Yeah, he's just like... I Charlie just wanted, Swan is a good boy. He's like, I just want to drive a truck and wear flannel. Mm-hmm. And now I gotta deal with all this fucking nonsense. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sorry, that reminds me... It was actually... Sorry. 
I realize it's confirmed in the books that the bodily fluids are replaced with venom because um, she wears colored contacts. Okay, so their eyes are like anywhere from red to gold depending on how recently they've fed. Side note. Um, why does my brain remember all this, but not a single second of Star Wars? Anyway, <laughs> so their eyes are anywhere from red to gold, depending on how recently they've fed, right? But, so when she goes to hang out with her dad, Charlie, before she reveals to him that she's been turned as, as a vampire, mm -hmm. she just wears colored contacts, like brown colored contacts, but she has to change them out every couple of hours because the venom in her, like, her eye liquid, saline, there's a word for that, um, like dissolves the contacts every couple of hours basically so like she has to go in and put more one more in well, who wrote who wrote twilight stephanie myers stephanie myers had she put in more time into writing a good story instead mm -hmm. of the semantics and the right this could be cool yeah instead mm -hmm. she's just like oh and then they have to change the context every three hours <laughs> uh, stephanie i know you're watching <laughs> um <laughs> Let's see, this reminds me of the time I thought about how uh, sperm egg fetuses potential reproduction worked in Romero Zombies, mm. uh, and then I was horrified my brain went, and never have I went down that road again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you at all. Um, well, I guess because in Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, there's the baby, but the baby was already inside of her. It was dead, mm -hmm. so it was just stillborn, but stillborn yeah, yeah. unalive. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see, what else did we miss here? Uh, <laughs> have I ever seen the movie Grace? No, I have not. Uh, Twilight is like the Hatfield and McCoys, kinda. Uh, somebody made a case that Twilight uh, Saga is actually a redneck story, and they're not wrong. I like the idea of like trailer park vampires, because it's almost like um, Near Dark is like that. They're like transients. Um, Obscure local video essays are great, especially when stoned at 2am. So I just discovered this fucking dude, and I've fallen down the rabbit hole of this crazy person named Daniel Larson, okay. who is a YouTube, or a, uh, a, a Twitch streamer or something, or a Twitch guy, or TikTok guy, or whatever, and I'm like, this person is fucking insane, and these people are dangerous. And then another dude out there who, like, believes that he's a shape-shifting vampire werewolf, but he's just another dude who, like, preys on, like young kids on TikTok, and I'm like, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see, Dr. Logan was messing around with a zombie baby in the day. Uh, but yes, I did know that. Stephanie Meyer should uh, bedazzle the Howling series. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I, now I'm more, I'm more, like, interested in, like, vampire cum. Um... I, I like it. What have I started? Yeah. Gonna, I'm going to come back and you're going to have found that collector's book. <laughs> and like, all right, so see here where she I says like, to suck your dick. <laughs> oh my God. Well, there's the, there's the, uh, there's the AIP movie, um, Vampire Hookers. And the tagline is warm blood isn't all they suck. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. That's with, uh, uh, John Carradine. Um, we've learned so much tonight. I know, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I apparently have a hidden trove of Twilight lore. <laughs> I just, I just, now I can't get over the idea of them looking under a microscope and just mm -hmm. all the sperm cells have plastic teeth and, mm -hmm. like, or little capes. <laughs> right. You know what's extra? Okay, so, because now I'm, like, thinking about the logistics of all this, right? So, um, he doesn't want to have sex with her initially because he's going to, like, break her, right? Mm. <clears throat> And she's like, no, it's fine, break me. At the time, I was like, what the fuck? Now oh, I get it. No, mm -hmm. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. But, like, not, I'm not kidding. But, um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, so, she survives getting fucked. Still mm -hmm. a human, because he refused to turn her as well. Yeah. Um, but then she, like, almost dies in childbirth, and then that's why... Doesn't the baby, like, eat its way out? Probably. The, the... The description of the childbirth is way too long and very confusing. Um, because it's like from Bella's perspective, as she's dying, basically giving birth to this baby. It would be so much better. But also, it's like it was, how she's picturing it. It would just be so much better if it was at the point of view of the baby. It's just yum, 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 <laughs> for all three pages. Right. But no, like she like sort of goes into her own brain and she's like picturing things happening and kind of seeing her like having an out of body experience. Yeah. Um. And then, like, yeah, she's fucking dying. 
So then last resort, she gets turned. Oh, okay. So he turns her. Yeah, because are, she's are, are they in like are they in like a regular hospital or are they in like mm-hmm. a vampire hospital? They're in like his house, if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, because then like she turns right. Yeah. And very immediately like is good at denying herself human blood. Because mm-hmm. remember, these guys are vegetarian vampires, so they only drink from animals. If you were going to get a uh, hernia test at a vampire doctor, would you turn in coffin? <laughs> um, but yeah, she like dies during childbirth, and he brings her back by turning her into a vampire. Trash. No, thanks. Yes. Yeah. And then she's, like, immediately, like, in control of herself, which is apparently not usually the case. When you have a baby? No, um, because so she's a freshly turned vampire, obviously, so she needs... And she almost died, so she, like, needs blood to, like, mm-hmm. you know, get her back. She starts hunting, like, a human, and then, like, stops herself, and then ends up uh, drinking from, like, a fucking mountain lion or something. I don't remember. I just, I don't, why do I remember all this shit? I don't know, we've learned so much about Twilight tonight. Right? Um, I'm working, doing some sketches. I hope subliminally no glitter cum hasn't spattered on the sketches. Then my friend doing the drawings, what the fuck is this? Oh my god. I've crossed oceans of cum to find Oceans of cum. Um, alright, let's see. We made the case to us, I was right next story, and I watched Twilight, Twilight's an original series. Now I just, honestly, like, just, oh. How you get? What happened? No, I just I I I keep forgetting I can't pivot on my on my kneecap. So I like go. Oh, dude, you should have seen me last Thursday. Mm-hmm. Cause you know how like out here is all like brick, like it's yeah. not like real road. I stepped out of my car and my foot turned, and I literally just laid down in the middle of Crescent Street out here, and just said, "Just go ahead and run me over. I don't care." Ah. But also, is this slowly scooching, or am I, like... Oh. Fuck, is it, like, zombie? Oh, alright, Paul is tuning in. Didn't know, I just wanted to go Okay. Ask Newt what he thinks about Robots 2005 film. Oh, yeah, the fucking... Where they, they build the baby. You know what I'm talking about. The, the like, animated, animated one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love um, movie. Robin good. Williams, um, Halle Berry. I remember that one. Yeah, no, that was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder if Domino's uses palm oil. What? Isn't that like the the stuff to? Oh wait, no, that's that's palm soap. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, let me see. Isn't once bitten with Jim Carrey basically old? It's a good movie. Right? How you get a great singing voice? Drink um, That's what I. Great. That's what I told Celine Dion. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Then. What? Wait. Uh. And any thoughts on the original Salem Lot or the possible slated 2024 remake? I, uh, we, we, the Wednesday night review that's coming up of Scanners, Lana and I talk about Salem's Lot for a while. Because that movie genuinely, it was a TV movie, but it genuinely has some terrifying imagery in it. <laughs> I walked back talking about the movie Robots. I've returned with frozen pizza. Oh, welcome there back. There you go. Glad you got some form of pizza. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Paul was asking me to mention... Robots. Uh, Robots, the movie. Didn't do very well. I remember that. Um, it came out like around the same t- uh, around the same time as Shark Tale. Yeah, I, think. I also yeah. like that if I remember correctly. Although is that non popular opinion, what the fuck? I remember the Robots was a was a um, was a promo pick because we had to decorate the lobby and all that. And I remember uh, so that was one of those ones that I remember us doing like promo work on. Okay. Shark Tale sucked ass. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I couldn't remember if I liked it or not. I think I was uh, enraptured by the, the sexy female fish. Which I said that Natalie <laughs> looked like. I was like, okay, yeah, I, I walked out, that, I yeah, walked yeah. out and said, I was like, I'm tell you look at the Angelina Jolie fish in Shark Tale. <laughs> and everybody got mad and then they looked it up and they're like, fuck, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> she um, used to work for me in Connecticut. I was like, anybody ever tell you look like Ponyo? And then they looked it up and they're like, oh my god. That's cute. So that stuck with him oh, to no. this day. He's married and has kids now and his wife calls him Ponyo. That's funny. <laughs> but Jim Carrey is also in Peggy Sue Got Married with yeah. Nicolas Cage. Yep. Okay. Did any of you all see Myers' follow-up movie, The Host? Not the Amazing Monster movie, one with aliens. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Angelina Jolie fish is pretty hot, not gonna lie. <laughs> right? 
I'd right. like to be up in those gills. But I feel like when that came out, I, I didn't know I was bi yet, so it was just one of the many, like, crushes I had on chicks when I was younger. I was like, yeah, that's a normal way to Cartoon feel about Cartoon fish it. chicks? I mean, in this case, yes, but no. And you're like, one day we're going to talk about coming glitter on, on, the, on the YouTube. <laughs> yep. Um, actually, honestly, if I went back in time and told, like, pre-realizing mm. I was by me that, uh, I don't think I'd be surprised. That, actually, that would be an amazing, like, trick. Like, did, like, like, imagine, like, you're... No, that sounds awful. No, no, like, imagine, like, but imagine, like, you don't have cum, so it doesn't mm-hmm. hurt. It just, that's what it is. But, like, you... No, that is, that's worse. Because I Because the friction, no, okay, but I mean, glitter is, like, was little ex- pieces of plastic. Yeah, but if your body was already, like, and they're moving able so to fast. do it. Comes yeah, like, imagine so you, fast. like, cum, like, Peter North. And, but you can only come glitter, and then you make art, and then you get like accepted in Europe for like your glitter come art, you know? And people like they talk about it, and they're like, and they look at it, and it's literally just splooge yeah, of glitter, yeah, it's glitter, and they're just like, see what this means is this is an indentate, this is an indictment of the social working class in you know post unification oh in Germany, like. <laughs> Ponyo loves Sasuke. Ponyo loves ham. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that reference. From Ponyo. Jackson Pollock already did that. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, hold on. Is Paul in chat? He's texting me. You know, he's watching the stream mm-hmm. though. Um, uh, my dad still says Salem's Lot's one of the scariest movies ever. It is. It's terrifying. Come <laughs> drops. I don't really know how to sing this, but come drops keep falling on head. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Jackson Pollock. Okay, come more Jackson Pollock mm-hmm. jokes. The host, South Korean movie remake, something different? Yeah, it was the, uh, yeah, it was a different one. Okay. Troy McClure loves the Angelina Jolie fish. Who? Oh, <laughs> Nobody does that with fish. He was a character on, uh, The Simpsons. Troy okay. McClure, he's the actor, mm-hmm. and there's a whole episode where he doesn't get work anymore, and they started a rumor about him that he's not allowed back at the aquarium because of things he did with fish. Oh, he's like, And he marries, fish. he marries, uh, Marge's sister. Okay. Uh... I don't know why. Maybe it's just because we're talking about fucking sea creatures. Um, my brain went back to the boys. I need to. I guess there's more of that. Um, but deep. what a wild, yeah, what a wild fucking like subplot. I mean, the whole mm. thing is wild, right? I mean, Gecko, my beloved, uh, cutting off his limbs or letting yeah. people cut off his limbs. Um, I would. I but I love him. He gets <laughs> basically used. And she mm-hmm. sticks his, the fingers inside his yeah, gills yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Because of what he did to. Uh, oh yeah, no, he, he was the first. Yeah, he's, he's terrible. Yeah, I mean, most people in the most of the most of the heroes in that show are, mm-hmm. which is like the point. But um, oh man, that fucking the thing. Because there, there's a point where like I guess the one chick finds out that he's fucking this octopus yeah. or squid or whatever, mm-hmm. and um, he's got it like in bed, and he he says something. And he's like, I think he's. It's like. Oh, you know, she is interested in you too, or like, she'd like to taste you. And a tentacle just flies on her leg. Oh my god, that was the funniest thing in the entire my, movie. I like, had to keep rewatching <laughs> the part uh, in not the last season, but the season before that with the uh, the the flea, where mm-hmm. it goes inside the dude's urethra. Did mm-hmm. you see that? Uh, no. So there's a party, there's an orgy that happens at this house where all the superheroes go. Oh, wait, wait, yes, yes, yes And he's, he's, he's doing yeah. coke, and yeah. he shrinks down, he, he goes inside, and, and he sneezes, and he explodes out of the guy. I love how gory that shit I is. had to keep rewinding it to watch that scene over and over again because I was like, I can't believe yeah, that just happened. I watched happened. it a couple of times. What is my favorite death, though? Because there are a lot of really gory deaths there. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, I don't remember now. I don't know. That Homelander's show was fun, a but fucking oh. crazy person. Yeah. I fucking, I'm following, like, a blog that posts, like, Smash Your Pass polls for characters, mm. and his smash percentage is way too I high. I think he's queer, too, because he does... The actor? Yeah, because I think he, he does all of his, like, scenes where he's, like, in, like, heels and mm-hmm. stuff like that, when he's not, you can't see his feet, and I was like, interesting. Homelander. Actor. Actor body? Actor shirtless? No, I just want... Man's name is Anthony Starr. Because I see I, he's pretty, but he's not. Humble. I love uh, I love uh, Billy like, Butcher. Yeah, same. Like okay, that I like that. And mm-hmm. then like a second, he looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because he's supposed to be like an Aryan. I Superman, know what you know? I'm comfortable and supposed to be. In this <laughs> Back to Billy Butcher, though. That is how I ended up watching it because um, I think Leo sent me mm-hmm. a, uh, a gif, and I noticed that the title of the gif, like you know, like the URL yeah. or whatever, was like. Uh, Carl Urban, Billy Butcher, or something like that. Like, Carl Urban plays a character with the last name Butcher, mm-hmm. 
and wh- what's this from? And Leo's like, you haven't seen the boys? Oh, it's like, great. No, it's well, good. It's I have comic, now. I've too, seen yeah. that. Yeah. Apparently the comic is... Way different. Cool. But, um, why was I Googling him up? Oh, yeah, I was looking to see if he was queer in some capacity. Mm-hmm. What happened to him? What do you mean, what happened to him? He's oh, he was a arrested a uh, couple years ago. He was the voice actor for Homelander in Call of Duty. No, that's not what I'm looking for. He's from New Zealand. Uh, yeah, if you look him up with heels, I saw like a bunch of stuff with him in heels. All right. His name is Anthony Starr. But no, I, I Billy Butcher is incredible. Heels. High heels. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, right? That's amazing. Oh, they're, wait. Did those say the Homelander figurehead? Oh my God. That's amazing. Uh, prop guys. So Homelander's supposed to be taller than everyone else in the seven, so you'll need a height boost. Anthony, like heels? Prop guy, well, platforms are fine. Anthony, but can it be heels? Prop guy, well, it can, but it doesn't have to. I want heels, though. <laughs> <laughs> I make them fabulous. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. That's really funny, actually. Yeah. I want to, like, I'm, I am I kind of want to, like, rewatch that and, like, see. <laughs> and then I laid Elizabeth Shue on it, and you had the weird, like, breast milk thing. and. Oh, why would you remind me yeah. of the breast milk thing? All right, I'll catch you good soon later. Need a few more hours of sleep. Catch you on the chat mess. All right, good night, Neil. Good night. You still call him Pokey? Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, oh, what would Cumbie's horse's name be? Wait, hold on, backing up. <laughs> um, the Glitter Cum artist is known as the Glitter Gizzard. Um, you think there would be another sexually charged chick like Angelina Jolie at her prime? I know straight women that said they would totally bang her. I mean, there have been. I mean, there? now, like, the, the, the one now that everybody likes, and I don't disagree with them, is Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. Like, making tits okay again. Were they ever not? No, nah, there was like a big thing for a while, like, uh, you know, tits weren't okay. You know? And now we're making tits great again. I don't know if I... <laughs> okay. What's your favorite part of any given movie? Like, cinematography, story, VFX, soundtrack. It's, oh, like, what aspect of a movie uh, is your favorite part? Just of the any experience. Given movie? That's fair. Yeah, I don't really have, like... Like, there are certain movies you'll take, you, after you see it, you'll take certain things yeah, from yeah. it. But I think in anything, it's literally just the experience in the moment of it. Um, obviously, that varies between the cinematic experience yeah. and the, the watching at home with people, watching it by yourself. Obviously, it varies each time, but mm-hmm. I think it's just the, the letting it wash over you aspect of it. I agree. That is always the best. Mm-hmm. Um, glitter cum only leads to darker places like Gumby cum. Oh, that's why we were talking about... Gumby. Oh, that would be horrible. Like Gumby, like he would like in the in the intro, he would like like roll up into a ball and like what if like you came a bunch and then each little cum was like became oh, like no, the sir. minions. Like I saw this post. I started talking about it and then I forgot. It was like what if instead of like regular cum, right? You you come like one really big. There's one single sperm, yeah. and you gotta like chase it around and kill it. Well, but I was that. like, I'd keep mine as a pet, and then someone made a joke about, like, biting it. They did just, like, They did that in... That would uh, taste awful, but the texture would be so Wadzilla good. was okay. a short film in uh, Chillerama, I think it was. Okay. And it's this dude comes, and it's just one giant sperm, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing until it attacks the city. Oh <laughs> That's amazing. Could you imagine just, like, chilling at home, and you're just like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Elvira's like, really? Oh, my God. Um... Did you watch Gen V? Gen Five Gen is a is a V. Gen, yeah, I didn't yeah. get all the way through it. The boys I... spin off. It's so good. Okay. Like, why I didn't, didn't I watch? It. Oh, someone's got a vomiting power in it. Yes. Yes, I did not watch it. Um. The girl, yeah, she purges. Uh, yeah. We love it. To make it. herself smaller. We love it. Um, I should have expected that because it's all fun and games till the movie villain vampires start braiding dicks like Twizzlers. <laughs> what? Um, like balloon animals. I guess the boys is great. Yes, I need to rewatch it. I there's not enough gecko in it. I know that's just me mm-hmm. obsessed with this man who will let people cut off his limbs. But um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, what would come be? Okay, what would Cumbie's horse's name be? You'd still Pokey. call him Pokey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, Gen V is good too. I watched it. Um, who created? Who created Gumby? What was the name of the? Oh, artist? I have no idea. Art Cloaky. Kind of like that actually. Mm-hmm. What is that? Some sort of something. What? I feel like, sorry, I feel like there's something on me and it's definitely my own hair. Aha, I found you. Glitter Um, come everywhere. Glitter come. 
That would be... Well, I just, that would probably what, not be a fun test. I guess I should tell everybody that's why I've been at the doctor recently. There's nothing else. Oh, I've done. I put that's a fun, the actual I put a funnel yeah. in, the, in the tip of my penis and I've just been pouring glitter okay. in it. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking, I was... Uh, look, I, I follow this like medical poster on um, on Instagram and they recently posted like, oh, extracted dildo or whatever. Yeah. And the, the caption was worded super weird because it was like... Um, uh, you know, a patient complain of like, ooh, of like stomach pain and mm-hmm. like uh, difficulty defecating for the past 48 hours. Yeah. And then the very next line is like, patient admitted to like putting a dildo up his ass like three days prior. And I was like, so that's probably <laughs> why he's having difficulty defecating is because there's something else in, in there, there. Yeah. And has been for a day longer than he's been experiencing these symptoms. I'm going to start pouring antique chalk in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Cement. No. Um. <laughs> Sound effect. That's what they use for the, all the close up scenes in Oppenheimer for the nuclear explosion was me coming antique chalk. Oh my god. I need that out of context. <laughs> um. Alright, they definitely deviated from the books, but it's still great. Well, right. I think honestly it's better that they did from what I've heard. In some regards. In some regards. Yeah. Homelander is basically a sociopathic Superman. It's, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the point, isn't it? The sex episode is amazing. Sex party. I appreciate that yes. you like went back and specified. You're like, no, no, no. Too much sex happens in this show. The yeah. sex party. Sex party. Yeah, the orgy episode was solid. Um, yeah. Sorry, my brain's like... Super orgy. Janet Jackson's nipple almost destroyed America. It did. Uh, wait, didn't the orgy scene have a guy with like a prehensile penis? Yeah, yeah. He's in a couple yeah, things. Yeah, he's in a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Wild, man. Yep. Um, can you imagine, like, finding out that you have, like, I just... That's your power? Yeah, you're just like, oh yeah, whatever. But then, okay, even funnier, right? Because, like, he was one that was born a hero, right? Mm-hmm. He wasn't... So, we'll say hero. Yeah. Um, imagine, like, growing up thinking everyone can control their dick to that capacity. And then, like, you comment on it. Like, you know, bros be bros were yeah. like, talking about whatever. And you're like, yeah, hey, you ever do that weird fucking thing? And everyone just looks at you like, never, no. You ever just be sitting in the living room and just, like, hit the button for the garage door in two rooms away? Like, yeah. you know? No. no. No, because, like, again, like... Like, I get bored, and I, like, I don't... I think I get lazy. I don't want to turn off the lights. So yeah. Know, just send it over. Walk the dog. What do you mean, send it over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, what were you about to no, say? No, well, I mean, like, again, in theory, mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. In practice... Not so much. No. Because, again, scared. women are going to be terrified of it. Or dudes, well, whatever. Um, okay. no. <laughs> you're more of, you know, it's more of a curiosity. Mm. Um, like, I would much rather be able to fly. That's fair. Because if, if you so could... like, okay. If you could, have, if you could fly, if... Because if, if, he could control the length of it, right? He can, yeah. So he could make it normal True. size. But then what happens if, like, he decides, like, while it's in there... I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, and then get, and then like the next thing you know, like the fucking top of her head pops off. I mean, you know? there's definitely like a market for that. I'm I know, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if you can, no, you're just saying, like, he gets like he gets like lost in the sauce yeah. or whatever, and just fucking like it comes out her eyeball, you know? Okay. Um, but then it's like, because it, like if you could fly, <laughs> but you had a baby dick, you're already a god, so who fucking cares? <laughs> you know, the idea, the ability to have flight makes you a <laughs> god, so it's like. Oh, okay. are you going to say my dick is small and then I'd fly you up into the air and drop you? Yeah, no, no it's massive. It's the biggest I've ever seen. <laughs> exactly. I just... No, that's fair. And, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, imagine being that guy and finding out that that's weird. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, everyone thinks their body is the norm until they mm. see another body and they're like... You know? Yeah. So, like, I didn't realize that my nipples were, like, unusual until one of my therapists complained about pale nipples, and I was like, she does not know what she's mm-hmm. talking about me. She can never um, know. Yeah, no, I was, like, actually weirdly distressed about it. Yeah. I was like, what? What? My, what do you mean my nipples are weird? Like, she's not talking How'd to me. How'd that come up in therapy? That, I'm gonna be real, that therapist just kind of... Childhood trauma, ghost nipples. Ghost nipples. It's like, what am I paying you for? <laughs> Gerald says, like, that one dude in high school is like, I can suck my own dick. <laughs> I've talked about that guy, right? I've talked about, mm-hmm. I've talked about the suck his own dick guy, I think. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's got a name, but, like, so, okay, the two notable suck things about him. Suck his own dick guy. The two notable things about him are that he can suck his own dick, and he lied about having, about not having a girlfriend anymore to hook up with me. Mm-hmm. So, I think he wants to be known as one of those rather than the other. Yeah, alright. <laughs> 
Um, what kind of country is this? God bless Sydney, sweetie. Yes. Did I read off the Janet Jackson's nipple almost destroyed America? I think I did. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're in Brody from Mallrats territory. <laughs> uh, the writing, it makes or breaks almost everything. I mean, yeah. Rick and Morty did an episode entirely about Morty lying about jerking off. That doesn't surprise me. Gen V is good, great character arcs. Okay. okay. Uh, have you seen Spurt and Squirters 2? They squirt to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spell with Z's too. Yeah, Squirters. They squirt till it hurts. <laughs> I just needed you to have that. Yeah, story. yeah. <laughs> Chillerama was funny. The werebears and the sex zombies. Yeah, yup. Sometimes because I haven't seen something, I wonder, like, are you guys all conspiring to make this up? Well, kind of like skate time, yeah. I say. Yep. Um, <laughs> but... The orgy episode in the books is even more intense. Yes, I it can is. Imagine. I remember that one. Yep. Uh, it's not the size of the boat; it's the motion of the ocean. Very true. Um, I'm like I'm just a ghost ship. I'm, a ghost I'm just. Ship. I, I'm the, I'm His the... name is Richard Own Suction. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a whole support group for people hurt by super sex. One guy hooked up with a woman who had ice powers when she climaxed. She broke his junk. I remember yeah, that episode. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. I honestly, if like that was, if this was like actually how superpowers work, mm. I couldn't have a sex-based superpower or like one that could activate that way because like, oh man, what if like, it would be like when I got mono? A mirror. What if you found? Oh, here's a cool one. What if you found? Because you know, how, like the X Men find out they have their powers at like puberty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like yeah. Rogue finds out she has her powers. Yeah, she like, can't, like, yeah, What yeah. if you found out that your vagina was a dimensional portal and you're fucking a dude and he gets just thump and he's yeah. just gone. He's gone into another dimension. <laughs> you don't know where that is. He was just this guy, and you're in high school at the time, and you're like, you know, you're getting hot and heavy. Yeah. And now, like, a kid in your class yeah, is just gone. gone. <laughs> and I'm imagining, right? So, if powers are known to be a thing, would you first assume then that he actually shrunk, and not, in fact, that you have a magical portal? You get a mirror, like, yeah, you're like, fuck, oh, you're digging around, and they're like, and now every time, there, every time, there's gonna be those, like, there's like. Flyers on trees mm-hmm. that like Eric is missing, and you're like every time she walks by, she's like, "That's <laughs> terrible." I really hope they find him. <laughs> like really, because I've put some other stuff up there too, and it's also gone. Yeah, yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I don't want my parents to find my report card. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, hide the drugs. Do you want them back? What do you mean? <laughs> Just. This <laughs> So, but it makes it has to make the sound of like those things you send up at the at yeah, the, the sh- bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get it back with a pen. <laughs> oh no! Oh right. So when I said it's like when I got mono. So um, I think I told this before, but I got mono and I didn't know uh, because the person I hooked up with had gotten it like a day or two before. Whatever. Somehow mm-hmm. it got to me, and yeah. neither of us knew until like. A day or two later, he was, or no, what was it? It was like a week later, he was like, by the way, mono. And I was like, oh yeah, it did feel a little weird for a couple days. Like, I basically slept for like two or three days. Yeah. But then like, in that week or so, I had hooked up with a bunch of people. Oh no. So I like, was a fucking mono super spreader yeah. for a minute there. And uh, like, thank God that I, you know, it was, I was consistently hooking up with, I think it was like four people. I was consistently mm. hooking up with those four people. At the One same of them, time. No. Might and be easy like, to tell everybody. Right? Hey, gang. Hey. Um, <laughs> no, but like... Everybody's an Indian style. <laughs> right? Um, but And one of them was the one who gave it to me. So it was like three people who yeah. didn't know. And um, like they all got sick. And I was like, oh, that's, oh yeah, we all got sick. That makes sense because I was sick. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then, yeah, the one guy was like, oh, yeah, that was mono. And I was like, well, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, oops. But um, so, yeah, no, imagine like... And I was the good news is I was consistently hooking up with those four people mm. like for the next period of time. Yeah. So like even though it all happened like within that week, it was that consistently. Yeah. So like I only really spread it to like those three people. But um, and then I guess theoretically whoever they gave it to. Mm. But um, no, like imagine I find out I have some power like that, and like I don't know, I just I I fuck up like a bunch of people. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, like oh, you know what I mean? Like. So the support group's just like, all right, anyone who was fucking Mets, just sit over yeah, there. Yeah, away from us, please. <laughs> no, not, not like that. Like, they have to put them in, like, one of those, like, tents, like they're infected. Yeah, like right. <laughs> no, I meant, like, no, because I was picturing, like, the, the ice thing. Like, 
I'm like, why do I keep breaking people's dicks? Yeah. And then like I figured out, I'm like, oh fuck, I have ice powers, right? What if my ability? So there's just like a whole like section of people who just like have frozen genitals. Yeah, I can I can only come like ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> that would feel interesting actually i wouldn't hate that the thing is though is like you'd have to make sure you don't like forget any up there like you gotta like make sure you get them all so i, mean, I like, guess they would be like organic, organic. because it's oh, from yeah, your body true. too that would that could still rot though yeah like, you make sure that gets out of there yeah because like i don't know I'm... it's not like it'll get lost up there but like if it gets like wedged that's you know what I mean? for the like... justice league and those are your only powers yeah like, i can come ball bearings. i have i have i have a warp zone cunt. <laughs> <a> warp zone. <laughs> you need something gone i got when you. a dick goes like, in there gone, gone, it though. makes the sound of mario like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay okay hold on um backing up a little bit um in my middle school the suck my own dick guy was just marilyn manson oh yeah that the because uh, the rumor was he had his uh, ribs removed. Ribs yeah. removed. Yeah. You think Wonder Woman has had her share of broken lovers? Ooh. Oh, I have to imagine. Poor Steve Trevor. Mm-hmm. Poor, I mean, unfortunate for him. Oh, no. no. But I mean, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I'm thinking there's... about that episode of, of Star Trek when uh, when uh, Worf and fucking Dax are mm-hmm. gone. And then they, like, limp into the fucking... Yeah. Into the, the emergency. Well, that was the, the cool thing. Bag. That was the cool thing about... Um, Jessica Jones and mm, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Luke, Luke Cage because they could mm. finally fuck right. on the same level. They like broke everything. Yes, because cool. like that's like you know, Batman and Wonder Woman. Mm. He's taking his life yeah, in his own hands much. each time. You know, <laughs> Superman dick throbs Lois ceases to exist. <laughs> this conversation. Oh yeah. It's, uh, Listening to this conversation makes me feel bad for poor Lois. Like, yeah, that's right. Well, because fucking Hancock or Hitchcock or whatever the fuck it was Hancock, called yeah. is Hancock, um, like, parodied that. Where mm-hmm. he, like, he has to tell her to get off, so he fucking blows the yeah. roof open. Well, they did, there's a book called um, The Pro mm-hmm. about, like, this prostitute who gets superpowers, and she's blowing, uh, she's blowing Superman, uh, the, like, the third Superman yeah. character. And he, like, he's about to come and she moves her head. It fires through the roof and hits a plane and <laughs> takes the plane down. <laughs> Amazing. Because um, in Mallrats, it was he'd have to wear a kryptonite condom, but that would kill him. And then he can't get Lois pregnant because the first time she gets a, a, a suntan, mm-hmm. the baby would kick through her stomach because his powers are yeah. just from the sun. Oh, you know? you're right. Oh, my God. Gerald said, send a probe through on a dildo, like going through a black hole. Like a fucking, like a... No, it's like, it's like in Poltergeist, like they, they <laughs> put tennis balls yeah, and exactly. covers on them. Because imagine it has to come out somewhere else. Somewhere, right? So imagine there's like, I want to know like where the place is where the That's things what I'm thinking, come like, out. Is there just like some place I just sent this guy and then subsequently like a whole bunch of like... And he's just, just, he's all like mucus up and like he's like a, a husk of a human yeah. it, it's like it, it falls out of yeah like, he like falls out of a tree or something and we're just like it's the it's the ball pit at uh at uh at Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese, Cheese is where it comes <laughs> out <laughs> they need like it's like Poltergeist though it's like they need a Tangia <laughs> pass over children oh my god I got stereo monorail no uh mono like mononucleosis <laughs> uh it is an illness um Known as the kissing disease, um, and I almost actually I almost accidentally gave it to four people because um, it spread through saliva, right? So I was I had the soda. This was actually at the theater. Yeah. I had a soda, and uh, I put it down, and I shared drinks with my brothers because you know mm. why not? And my brother like went to pick up my soda, and I was like, no, 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 <laughs> slap it out of his hand. <laughs> You don't need the calories. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I have mono. He's like, what? I'm like, I have fucking mono. No, no, no. Yeah, the, uh, remember the girl who I went out on that not date with when those fucking weirdos showed up in the oh, parking yeah, lot yeah. and took pictures? Oh, so she had mono and didn't know she had mono. We didn't hook oh, up or anything like that. that. <laughs> and she's like, good thing we didn't hook up. I have mono. I have and I was mono. just like, yeah. well, I didn't think we were going to hook up, but sure, okay. <laughs> like, well, is it good? Yeah, yeah, good. I'm in agreement. Um... Oh my god, Batman's a scientist. <laughs> Once I thought I had Mono for a whole year, it turned out I was just really bored. <laughs> no, but like, I went into the pit with Mono, and I shouldn't have done that. Not even because of the spreading potential, because it was like after I felt better. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that shit like enlarges your spleen or something. Yeah. If, I, if I had gotten like elbowed wrong, you know, but mm-hmm. I didn't know I had Mono yet, so I was just like, hell yeah, in the pit, let's go, you know, I'm getting beat up, getting flung to the floor, and 
like punched in the throat and like elbowed and shit. Oh my mom. I was like, yeah, exactly. And then like later I was like, oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Almost <laughs> just died during fucking Amon Amar. It's like, oh my god. Um, but yeah, Monorail Main Street is still cracked and broken. Sorry, Mom, the mob is still <laughs> <laughs> Monorail. Monorail. Instead, type would marry your monomancy. <laughs> Don't call me that. That's funny, though. The ring came off my pudding can? What? Take my pen knife, my good man. Right. Uh, have either of you seen The Evil Within or AKA Baby Blood? Yeah. No. Wait, have I? Evil Within? Maybe? Maybe. Coming ball bearings. I bet Tetsuo the Iron Man comes ball bearings. He has a drill dick. <laughs> He's a drill dick. Yeah, okay. you ever saw Tetsuo the Iron Man? So, um, I was gonna watch it shortly after I watched, um, Ichi the Killer. Okay. Yes, because Gerald was showing me. Yeah. That, uh, I forget why. I don't remember why we ended up not watching. Oh, saying. you know what? We almost watched it after we did, um... So I've almost watched Tetsuo the Iron Man. Yes, because we all, after, uh, after Necromantic, I was gonna show you that one. Yes! Because it was on Joba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think I've seen it yet. Okay. I think, but I did see the preview for it. Looks looks fun. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Stereo nucleus. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Cyclops. Those aren't laser beams. He legit just opens a hole to an energy dimension. He's just punching people with his eyes. Is yeah. that true? Oh my god. Oh, X Men ninety seven is fucking awesome for anybody who's watch not watching it yet. Totally should watch it. It's incredible. Oh, Neil was gonna show me Tetsuo Iron Man, but then ECW got to bog. I assume that's. <laughs> Got to Bog. <laughs> I yeah. don't know what... That was it. You guys were supposed <laughs> to go to the swamp and watch the movie. I would totally swim in a bog if it weren't for the fact that, like, my body would not make it. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, something horrible would happen. And not, like, the regular, like, oh, I drowned. Or, like, no, no that shit would get, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. bogs are fucky. Like, don't... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't mess with bogs. You get, like, that, you know that, like, there's this, like... Too big. Oh, I got two into ECW. Uh, okay. But you know there's, like, there's amoebas that, like, swim up into your pee hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you get something like that. Exactly. But, like, yeah, I don't I don't fuck with bogs. I want to fuck with bogs. They're so cool looking, but I don't fuck with bogs. <laughs> don't fuck with bogs. <laughs> I'd be out there giving yet. fucking frogs mono. <laughs> Let's see if you turn into a prince. No! No! <laughs> uh, donuts, is there anything they can't do? Uh, been there, done that, but it was pink eye. Oh, oh no. Oh. Cyclops uses... Condensed concussion force, I believe. Right? Yep. Okay, so that's what they're doing. Yeah. Y'all seen X Men '97 so far? I'm just thinking. talking about. It. It's awesome. Someone said X Men '97 is great. I agree. Yep. I guess Puff Daddy and R Kelly can finally do it with the. Sense yeah. Did you hear head? like Puff Daddy's like on the run from like the fucking feds? Apparently, Why? the Homeland Security uh, like raided his house today because apparently, like uh, allegedly, he was like running a sex trafficking ring. So they were telling me before you got here that like he's like trying to flee the country. Oh no! I told you. I thought I told you we won't stop. Like, <laughs> I heard Sex nothing about this. So yeah, because I woke up at like four thirty ish, right? And then um, I immediately got on call with uh, my friend Shannon and my Canadian friend Fun Bun. Um, she's got a human name, but you know we call her Fun Bun. Fun Bun could be a, a human name. I'm sure it could. But uh, it's we a played name. Monster Prom or like one of the sequels, like Monster Camp or something. I successfully seduced the uh, the cal- uh, the calculester's his name. He's like a computer man. Um, he has very, he has very strong data vibes. I was a big fan of that. Um, and previously, I have successfully seduced the giant the giant monster lady, uh, my wife Dahlia. Anyway, um, I digress. So I just did that all day, and then as soon as we finished that, uh, I got ready. And then when Joseph came home from grocery shopping, I left. So I have not been privy to the news today. I wasn't either. Is like, what the point of that was. Yeah, I wasn't either. But it's like apparently P Diddy's like in trouble. Oh no! All right. Um. Weird sidebar, Newton Eagles fan and their old receiver, Irvin Fryer, was in a barbershop quartet in college named Earthwind Fryer. Yeah, yep. I love that. Yep. You think there's some people worth getting mono from, like that episode of Seinfeld being sponge-worthy. <laughs> I mean, I like to think I was worth getting mono from, but I can't, I can't when I to that. When I got, when I, so when I was going for the, the doctor's appointments for the first time, and they do all the blood work and stuff like that, when the doctor goes, well... I have good news and I have bad news. I said, well, what's the good news? He goes, well, you don't have any STDs. And I went, oh, that's good. I go, what's the bad news? Goes, you might have cancer. I was like, that's not how you say that. Because like, <laughs> I would much rather have an STD. <laughs> yeah, most of those are curable. Okay. Wow, that's a way to drop that information. Right? It's like I, you can either have, uh, you know, gonorrhea or butt cancer. Like, you know. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's insane. Yeah. Although today when I went and saw him, I put it on Facebook. Uh, he asked me, he's like, well, how'd you hurt your knee? Because I'm there to do like the yeah. other stuff and all. And um, so I showed him the picture of me in the costume and stuff like that. And he's <laughs> like, uh, and I was like, yeah, I can't go see a regular doctor. He's like, come with me. So he felt so bad for me that he went down and he scoped my knee for me. Oh my God. Um, and he, I was just like, it's okay. I'm a parody of a tragedy. <laughs> oh my God. Um, all right. Mm. My flip phone, a Monomarth ringtone, was the only thing that saved me on a rainy seven mile slog from the Monterey County Fairgrounds one time after dancing at Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Oh. That's a lot of words. Yeah. Um, what is Big Bad Voodoo Daddy? They were a, uh, <laughs> they were like a, um, like squirrel nut zipper. Okay. Uh, they were like a, uh, like a, a not big band kind of thing, but mm -hmm. it was like a, like a Brian Setzer era of music. Okay. Um, second question, why, what, were you walking from the Monterey County Fairgrounds? Why was it seven miles? What, why did you, why was your phone, your, your ringtone specifically helpful? I'm so confused. Zoot suit music, thank you, Gerald. Yes. Zoot suit music. Like, did you just have people repeatedly call you? Did you have Throw no other music? Like I'm well, it was a flip I'm phone. So it was curious. probably before like the ability to like connect to the internet and stuff like that. No, I know that. I mean, like, like no other. Uh, sorry, when I had a flip phone, I also had like a, an MP3 player. Like I had both, um, and I would carry them around. So, like in the new Ghostbusters, there's a CD player that's haunted, but it's haunted by a possessed spin doctor's <laughs> CD. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, I guess if you just had your flip phone, yeah. I don't know, that's interesting. What was the song? I also want to know what song you had to listen to for seven miles. I'm trying to, to play think. the MIDI files. Yeah, that's true. I'm right? trying to think of what would be, what was like their, what, what was Big Bad Voodoo Daddy's big song? I don't know. Because Scroll Nut Zipper had, in the afterlife, you will be heading for the serious threat. Now you make this scene all day, but tomorrow they'll be heading to pay. It's called, it was like, hell. Just yeah. Sound familiar. <laughs> yeah, but what a monomart song. I had no other music and I think no service. So I was listening to 15 seconds of Hail Odin's Son. Oh, okay. Oh, um, Twilight of the Thunder God? 15 seconds of Twilight of the Thunder God over and over again <laughs> is insane. <laughs> oh my it's god. Like Chinese water <laughs> torture at that point. Oh god. No, just fucking loops. Jesus. Zoot Suit Riot. Mm hmm. Um. Pull the comb Where, wait, the verse there. two, there are bite marks on my, wait. Verse two, there are bite marks on my dick, got my AIDS and my aches and pains, shooting up drugs is the life for me, I got my HIV from the album Blood, Guts, and Pussy. Is that a song? Like, that exists? That's his yearbook. You're making a joke. Yeah. Throw back a bottle of beer. Zoots are the mighty, are the mighty, mighty Boston's in that vein? No, they were more like a kind of ska punk. Skunk. Skunk. <laughs> I I love the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, Never had to, but I better knock on wood. Because it gets. Oh, that's that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm familiar with that song. Never had to knock that, Every on time wood. that song comes on is a crapshoot of like whether or not I absolutely hate mm -hmm. it or I'm like, yeah, this is a vibe. They had a like, couple good songs. Yeah, had like, uh, there's other bands of that time period, like, um, Harvey Danger. Okay. Uh, the lead singer looked like high school era Justin Silverman. Oh my god. Um, I want to publish zines and rage against them. She oh goes, yeah. I, I like that song. I pierce my tongue. It doesn't hurt. It feels fine. I mean, you I heard that on the. Remember when you found and I were driving up to the uh, yeah. thing and it came on. Yeah. Yes, that that was a good song. I like that song. Mm -hmm. Um. The nineties were weird. There's a lot of music that came out of the nineties that could never come out of any other era. Um, that they'll never make anything like again. And there's a couple songs that you just hear it and you're like, where does, where does creatively does this even come <laughs> you're from? Right. You know? Um, hey, don't make fun of Ska. I'm not, I you love Ska. To, you need to listen to the Digimon movie soundtrack. Yeah, no, we're not making fun of Ska, but also, <laughs> fair enough. I like the thing where it was like, ska -net. And it was, a, it was an exoskeleton, but it had a fedora on and it had a trumpet. <laughs> oh my god. Because, yeah, the way you ended up describing Scott to me was like, because you said it was like punk with, with horns. Trumpets, yeah. yeah. Trumpets. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, kind of like King for a Day by Green Day. Mm -hmm. But like, not quite. Yeah, everybody had to pick it up, pick it up, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, all that shit from the mid-late 90s blends together for me. That's fair. 
Um, Macabre said, I'm off to get dinner. Hope to catch you later, but if you end early, have an awesome week. You want to be You too. Good night. Good night. We'll have to figure out the next thing to uh, to bully uh, Maritoso about. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Are we, we, made, like, we, made, we, made, we both did a video about the spiced Coke. Okay. And they don't have that where he is, so he had to make his own. So he literally just put, like, spice into Coca-Cola. Okay, that's and funny. then we didn't hear from him for, like, a week, so we <laughs> assumed he died. <laughs> Go ahead and try to sue me, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so mad though, because like, so I keep, I've been going to Wawa a lot, because I go there after uh, training, mm -hmm. and um, like to get the salad and whatnot. I keep forgetting that it, they have the spiced Coke. Yeah. So then I made a point, last time I was at Wawa, to grab two of them. Mm -hmm. And then I went to drink it, I was like, why doesn't this not taste this good? And fucking, I, inst I grabbed the zero sugar ones. I don't uh, know how I, I managed. I like the zero sugar stuff. I mean, it tasted fine. Yeah. It was sufficient caffeine, but it did fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I had two full zero sugar ones. I was super mad about mm -hmm. that. But, um, two kinds of people. People love ska and liars. Exactly. <laughs> Boston singer was in a hardcore band called Impact Unit. Let's bring you back to the nursing home, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> King for a Day is a great song. It is. That, uh, I love that whole album. That's fair. He doesn't need to sue, just release the bloopers. <laughs> oh, God. Yakuza was a good band that mixed Zoot Suit with hardcore and rockabilly. Okay. Kind of like a Mr. Bungle with a Zoot Suit twist. I just really like the phrase Zoot Suit. Yeah. <laughs> zoot suit I will happily right. say Zoot Suit as many well, there's times like, there's as like, there's like, like uh, 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 Guitar Zero. It's this really cool Japanese movie with like this rockabilly punk guitar band that fights mm -hmm. like monsters and aliens and shit like that. Yeah. Japan. What are we gonna do about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> God, these do taste so much like Heath bars. Right? Heath Ledger bars. Yes. <laughs> dead of a drug. Each one tastes dead of a drug overdose in an Olsen twins bed. <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard Needle Up My Cock by Gigi Allen? No. Yes. <laughs> and I literally just had that this morning, so. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. It's the third time in the last two weeks that I've had to have something shoved in some part of me. No, thank you. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Saturday, uh, last week on... Tuesday was the worst because then I had to go to work directly after it mm. and every bump that I hit on the <laughs> ride there I was like I just died right now <laughs> would anyone even notice <laughs> oh God. it's wild because like you know I have genital piercings right mm -hmm. and those were elective of course but um <clears throat> that's how people expect me to describe them yeah and then they were actually fine right they just like Stung a little, mm. right? And then, like, you're describing that. I'm like, that's what people were, like, thinking. Because I yeah. had to drive, like, 45 minutes home after I got my VCH. Mm. Um, Do you remember when Melissa and I was like, wait, you have genital piercings? And she was like, dude, how many times did we fuck? And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't remember. Right? Then she made it weird. <laughs> Ruined the whole movie. Look, we still love, look, we still love her, okay? It's like, maybe, maybe, maybe in that we'll moment we don't have that conversation. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. And my dick is like, are we still doing this? I was like, no. Uh, no. no, we're not. It is funny. Sorry, though. guys. Everybody's going to go home. <laughs> Your dick just throws a coat over yeah. his <laughs> Show myself out. Walks out of the balls. Like. <laughs> Oh my god. No, I don't, it's, I don't think he's coming back. Right. It's fun when I, uh, now detachable penis is stuck yeah. in my head. Um, it's funny sometimes when I go to hook up with new people, if like they don't have the preface that I have a whole bunch of body piercings, mm -hmm. um, they'll be like, oh, and I'm like, yup. Yep. Got metal everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, Including in my heart. <laughs> fucking hell yeah. No. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, that reminded me of other metal things that I'm mm -hmm. happy about. Um, I won't, I won't talk about it, don't worry. Okay. There's, that was directed to somebody specific. Um, but, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Um, I'm buffering, buffering. Yeah, no, I fucking, that reminds me also, I still have to get my goddamn four shot put back in. I'm down to one genital piercing instead of two. It's fine. It's not a huge deal. <laughs> Just annoying, because it felt like December, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll get that put back. Yeah. I'll get that put back. 
It's not back. No. Um, I did recently have someone try to put it back in for me, and they like half got it, but they were like, <coughs> isn't it? Thank you. He didn't want to like keep pushing it through, and I was just like... Into your fine. portal vagina? Into my portal vagina. Um, <laughs> well, because like, you know, there... There's obviously a specific hole that goes into, but if you aren't careful with a piercing and you're trying to put the jewelry back in, you if you do it like a little bit wrong, you just kind of re pierce a yeah, new yeah. hole. So like you don't want to do that, especially yeah. not down by my pussy. So you're just like I'm just gonna not. Um, so I'm gonna actually have to go to like a real piercer and be like, hello. Not um, flares this time in the mall. Oh god, <laughs> dude, they're offering um, what are they offering now? They're offering a new piercing. They're offering like septum piercing now. That is bad. Do you're not get the... your fucking septum piercing clear. No, but the people who work at the fucking mall. No. They're all I'm like. Bad. They're all like. You shouldn't even kids. get your earlobes pierced yeah. there, okay? Because they use like a fucking. They use a, a gun, right? Which you're not supposed to. Like a Glock. Like a Glock, yes. Yeah. I, I, I was like, let me breathe and wait for the joke. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, the fucking piercing gun. I hold gun. it sideways. <laughs> and those are like impossible to sanitize correctly, and the, the impact is bad for your your. Like, ear, and like, you know, you just want to use a fucking needle and you want to get done by a fucking professional. So, you don't even want to get your earlobes done at Claire's. Now, they're offering fucking septum piercings. I think it's septums. It's like, uh, so my septum fell out. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, just put the jewelry back in. No, 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 the whole thing. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Um, Heath Ledger Bar's new Canax flavor? <laughs> Xanax flavor. <laughs> Heath Ledger bars, they taste like sleeping pills and cold medicine. Like everyone made the same joke. On this episode, Luke, Newt learns he's not into sounding. I think we already knew that. I, I don't think yeah. he ever struck me as a man into no. sounding. Um, not that anyone has ever struck me as being into sounding. Like, whenever... I found out that, like, one person was into sounding, and I did not expect it. What if, like... You know, like, those, like... I wouldn't be opposed to trying it. You know those things where it's, like... Careful. You know, like, you hold that magnet, that, like, metal thing, and you go... Like, and it, like, vibrates. Kind of? Like a tuning fork? Yes. Oh! What if you use one of those? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and then, like, so you can make your fillings rattle. <laughs> it reminds me of when I put a tense unit on my, um, piercings. That mm-hmm. was fun. It, like, just kind of, like, pulsed a little. Like... Um... No, it's such a weird fucking sensation each time. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Things don't generally go back in no. there. Yeah, it's like the <laughs> toothpaste in the tube, you know? <laughs> it ain't going back in. <laughs> but when he, like, unrolls, like, the satchel yeah. that they have to do it with. Yeah, because they need, like, the... I'm not going to get into Yeah, it, and I'm just like... And I'm just like, maybe I'll just have cancer. Like, maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did I receive a text that says, excuse me, what the fuck is sounding? What sounding is? That's, that's, I, that's oh. the text that I just received. Excuse me, what the fuck is sounding? Well, I'm happy to tell you. <laughs> so you take my penis and you put your ear up to it. That would be probably preferable. And you hear the ocean. So, sounding is, um, I don't know how it ended up being called this, but... It's when you stick, like, a, a length of something. Usually the meme is a Nintendo DS stylus. But, um, generally if you're doing it correctly, you get, like, a little no. plastic. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, please, Nintendo, don't. <laughs> <laughs> now you're playing with power. <laughs> anyway, um, if you... <laughs> If, you, if you're doing it correctly, they make, like, kits of them. Yeah. Um, and they're different sizes as well, because you're most people who are into it try to... Expand. Expand. Yeah. Um, but it's either, like, a plastic or, like, a metal... It's probably not plastic, plastic. I don't know what the actual material is. But um, rod that you then insert in the urethra. Uh, generally, this is... Uh, generally, this is done to a penis. But you can actually do it mm. um, on, a, on a female urethra. So, um... If you like do that. it like super wrong, you can you can you can do it really wrong. Yeah. Um if you do it right, apparently it feels rather nice. I've never done it before. I wouldn't be opposed, honestly. Um but I I don't know. Yeah, that's a thing that people are really into apparently. And then um so that was funny, right? So I've told this before, when I worked at Adult World, um, we like put the stuff that was frequently stolen like close to the counter, right? So um one of the, like, ends of, like, the DVD uh, displays 
had um, chastity devices and sounding rods, and then also there was a combination. So it was a chastity cage with a come through sound. So it was you know extra wide to accommodate the hole that we're adding back in that we you know already had before we plugged it up. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, because it was by the counter, I had to explain what sounding was, like, eight times a day. Because, like, people would come in for, like, fucking lube or something, and in order to get past, like, to the lube, you have to walk past the chastity cages here's, and sounding devices. Here's how I die. Ready? Yeah. So I do it myself at home. You do what? Sounding? Sounding. Oh. But it's sticking out. Okay. And then my phone rings, and I bend over to do it, and the piece that's sticking out goes into an electrical socket. Oh! And I'm like, <laughs> I'm electrocuted and die. Oh my god. But yeah, the uh the, They call the, my parents over and they're like, that's how we found them. <laughs> Hopefully they'd call me first. I would clean I would make it look like you died with, with dignity. Yeah. Okay. And yep. valor. Yeah. Not with a metal rod <laughs> coming metal out of my fuckhole. Coming out of your fuckhole into uh, <laughs> a less advised fuckhole. They're like, <laughs> is this a sex thing? And they're like, I don't know. Anymore. I don't know. I just promised I'd yeah. put him back. Mm -hmm. I like steal a little like toe or something. Yeah, like yeah. Finger. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna nibble on this on the way. Just... Just... And they're like, wait. It's like a mean? magic trick. It just keeps coming. <laughs> oh no, no, bad. <laughs> like, you know those like sword swallowers? Yeah, like... yeah. <laughs> I did like start learning how to sword swallow way back in the day. Um, it is a <laughs> because of your love for the, oh, wait, we're live. Okay. I think we went Did we go away. A, yeah. For a minute. Oh, okay. That's more epic than autoerotic asphyxi asphyxiation. I can't yeah. talk. That's right. OMG, that baby pterodactyl screech. Oh, did I do a little, did I do a little pterodactyl? <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Uh, new, the sounding scenario can be like your porn version of Final Destination. Yeah. That sounded, that sounding fucking painful. I, yeah. If you do it right, it doesn't hurt, supposedly. I have not personally experienced it. I have watched other or people. Or what do if it, that's like my new power wise. is I keep my sword in there. <laughs> I'm like Psylocke with a dick. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> On guard. I got gotcha. you. No, I got it. I'll save you. Reach your pants. I don't think we need <laughs> And then everybody's like, we quit. No, we're not we're not playing with this guy. That's fair. Do not pierce anything at Claire's. My BF yelled at me. Yes, that is correct. Do not pierce anything. Mm -hmm. Steal vagina by impaled Nazarene. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, ever heard 311 sucks by anal cunt? No, actually. Yes, I haven't yep. listened to anal cunt. Amber and I were talking about anal cunt uh, when we last hung out. <laughs> Good effort, boys. We'll get him next time. Just like his coat over. <laughs> uh, the Claire's glizzy is a menace. Free platinum points. <laughs> You're not telling me the Claire's is selling fucking hot dogs. Uh, I don't think that's what you mean. I think you're trying to make a dick joke. I just couldn't <laughs> grasp it. Uh, it's only a matter of time before 7-Eleven starts offering piercing and tattoo. No. No. <laughs> At the same time. No. Uh, you know, I don't think you can talk to Melissa or Madeline about sounding a Mets exclusive. No. I don't know. I mean, I feel like... They're both I think, into... I think Melissa would be able to handle yeah, it. Yeah. Madeline would just be like, it's not for me. I, maybe not. No, I don't know. Madeline's yeah. crazy. Okay, fair enough. Madeline's fair done enough. some shit. I mean, we all have. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Um, maybe I think the the difference is if you're having this conversation with me, I'm approaching it very like educator. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, well, so you see, first you have to. Where Melissa's well, like, so when I was 13. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, and then Madeline's like, oh, you you know, I've done some things. Yeah, because right? I mean, she's a rave person. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know. But then I'm like. So, okay, make sure you use plenty of lube, and so you want to make sure that you probably want to get the metal sounds, but then also the silicone ones, are, you know, or whatever, right? Like, yeah, and then, have, like, yeah, and then I have, like, like, a little guide, like, yeah, I get a little printout. Well, this is, like, I'm at a rave that was at a bowling alley, so we're behind the dumpster at the KFC, <laughs> oh and I'm like, why is this happening? <laughs> Amazing. She tells me, uh, she was here on last week, um, and, uh, she's like, oh, yeah, my friend works, uh, in Maniunk, and I'm like, oh, cool, where? And she's like, oh, this. And I look at the address, I was like, dude, it's right there. So we literally walked across the street. <laughs> nice. And she's like, oh, I saw you guys walking out of that thing. I was like, yeah, I live there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Newt, John Riggs makes that DS stylist sounding joke in every video. <sighs> Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I've seen that, again, I hope more is a joke. I can't imagine that you want to actually use... Now, the good news about using a stylus, I guess, is it's got the, like, the hook thing, so, like, it won't go in it, all the way. No, yeah, like, you it You, like, won't. fish it out? Well, no, because like, it's, like, so... Because, like, when you have the stylus, right, like, it's it's the shape, and then mm. there's, like, 
the like the thing it latches with. It's not like a hook hook. It's just like an, a protruding. What piece. if I get you're like I come to you and I'm like, hey, I need to show you something, and you're like, what? You're like, I did it wrong, and you're like, what do you mean I you did it wrong? I put the DS in there, but the stylus is hanging out, so it looks like when a when like a, when like a, a, a snake swallows like a water buffalo. Like. I would hope. But you can still hear the game. Is that Pokemon Sapphire? Oh <laughs> Fuck! I have to call the place about my 3DS. They still have it. It's been over a year at this oh. point. It's fine. I would like my 3DS back. Mm-hmm. It is hacked, so I would. I'd like to keep it. Um, <laughs> all right, hold on, what else we got? Uh, buffering, buffering. A friend of mine with a big ass sat on my phone and didn't notice. I whispered to her girlfriend, call my phone. Hilarity and stuff. <laughs> good, good. good night, everyone. All right, good night. Good Never night. feel bad sounding near a KFC, and please don't think about that scene in Carrie where she hears that they're all going to laugh at you in her head. <laughs> Wait, what does that do with sounding in a KFC parking lot? Why not? I'll laugh at you. Oh, my God. Many other great porno grind bands besides Anal Con. Anal Grind, Gonorrhea Pussy, Funeral Rape, my favorite, Porky Vagina. Those the screen mine. glows through the skin. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Fucking, oh, you guys reminded me. Um, One of my coworkers has recommended me the band Mannequin Pussy like eight fucking times and I keep forgetting. And I like literally wrote it in a note on my phone. Is that, and then that's I like to... cat mannequins? Uh, Mannequin probably person? not. Oh. But yeah, I don't know what the band's genre is, but he was like, you'd like Mannequin Pussy. And I was like, would I? And he was like, it's a band. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I know I would. I'm like, That's why, why I'm not allowed back in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you probably like Mannequin Pussy. And I'm like, probably, but what? Do you, you ever hear of the movie Mannequin? No. It's made in Philadelphia. Okay. The mm-hmm. best band names. Thro- Wait, Throat Plunger and Triple X Maniacs? What is happening? Are you guys just listening for no Throat Plunger? Throat Plunger. Oh, one word. Oh, of course. That's I mean. solid. I, I actually really mm-hmm. like the concept. I need to put these cookies up. That's not where they are. Where did I put the cookies? Which ones? Oh, they're right. See? We're good. All right. I'm functioning. Are you going to... It's called Porno Grind. Yeah, that's what I said. I am, I am vaguely familiar with Porno Grind. Andrew McCarthy loves Mannequin Pussy. He Why does love a joke and not. Oh, because it's from the movie Mannequin. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. works overnights at a, a, a department store in Philadelphia, mm-hmm. and the the mannequin comes okay. alive at night. Oh, sweet things. I forgot. Oh, it's the, the second sweet one. Things. It's the it's second, second one. one. This is what we get out of the way. I'm handling things so normally. <laughs> okay. Is that another band? It's an okay band. What's an okay band? You listed like 20 of them. Um, I don't, I don't, oh, Mannequin Pussy? Maybe. Um, I don't really want to list that last one, but, (laughs) um, that's just because I'm weird, but, yeah, no, he, uh, he didn't recommend me any specific songs or anything, but he was just like, You'd like Mannequin Pussy. I forget exactly how I said it, but it was very much with that air of like, where I was like, huh? Or, yeah, because then the other day when I worked with him, he was like, hey, did you ever check out Mannequin Pussy? And I'm like, that's a really weird way to ask that question. Especially uh, since no. you guys work in a mall. Oh, yeah. Sure. You know? <laughs> yeah. I always forget that it's also a mall. <laughs> the way I'm not allowed in Boss Cobs anymore. <laughs> that's extra pussy. funny because uh, the, the round one I work at used to be a Boss Cobs. Okay. Um, I prefer Splash over Mannequin. Could show Newt the clown court track we got from Al. Uh, I could, I could show Newt that. Yes. Um, mannequin is a good allegory about mental illness. Mannequin pussy sounds like a Gore song. <laughs> gore is so good. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Gore. But yeah, I prefer Splash on my. Eh. My hair got in the drink. Or actually, that's an Elvira hair. Motherfuck no. <laughs> Splash is about a Tom Hanks falls in love with a mermaid. I thought so. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it, but that sounded familiar. I was like, yeah. why don't I know Splash? Um, I almost just misread Mannequin Pussy as Rammstein Pussy, which is actually, they have a song called Pussy. I was talking about it with Joseph last night, actually, because um, we were driving home from work, and Mon Gig and Mon came on, and that translates to Man Against Man. My mm-hmm. brother was like, hey, what does this mean? Or what does Gagan mean? I'm like, oh, it means against. He's mm-hmm. like... He's like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's a very gay song. Um, and he was like, I mean, I can imagine. He's like, I kind of got that vibe even before I asked because it's got, like, you know, he's like, it says man twice in the title. Mm. I'm like, oh, yeah. 
You know how it is, like two men, right? Um, <laughs> this is just what we talk about on our way home from work, I guess. So, um, Wait, two men is gay? Yes. Three men is also gay. I know. But not six. That's pretty gay, Nate. Oh, fuck. See, this is why I let you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but no, so... What the fu- oh yeah, so it was like I was talking about it because uh, according to the comments on the music video for Mon Gag and Mon, like at least one person was like, "Oh yeah, like I thought I think it was on the music video. Either that, it was in the lyrics. Uh, there was a comment. Someone was just like, oh yeah, me and my brother like translated Mon Gag and Mon. We we're like, yeah, war, man against man. Yeah. And then they went and watched the music video, and it's like nothing but like oiled up naked dudes <laughs> touching each other. Like in um, war. Yeah. Because I was like, oh yeah, it was directed by the same guy who did the, uh, who directed the Pussy music video. Mm-hmm. And Joseph was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I've played Pussy for you before, I think, the song. And uh, he was like, yeah, probably. And uh, yeah, I was like, that's basically, then I explained the Pussy music video to him. And uh, that one, they like, deep faked, like 2009 deep faked, mm-hmm. you know, they put the band's heads on porn bodies. And yeah. then they're, like, it's actually porn. Like, there's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. visible genitals and the mm-hmm. end is a bunch of cum shots. And, um... Yeah, like is it, it glitter though? It's not glitter. Um, they initially released it on X videos, I think, and then it's also on Pornhub now. And then they had to censor it to put on YouTube. Um, so, what if they didn't? But we still got fucked over, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> They're just fully like fully people getting just yeah, just absolutely yeah. Well, I saw a video recently. Apparently, there's like a laser hair removal thing where they just straight up show vagina hair, and I was That's like, educational. Dude. What the fuck? So was our video. <laughs> <laughs> Very educational. It teaches you the best it makes you feel exactly. good. Exactly. More than one equals gay flag. I mean, you're, well, okay, let's, I guess, all right, with, with one exception, because I've been in a couple of threesomes where it was two guys with me, right? Mm-hmm. But they didn't interact with each other at all. I would argue that that isn't gay. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> but I mean, like... <laughs> If you're jerking off the gay porn, that's gay too, yes. you're by yourself. Right, exactly. So yeah. I don't think that rule actually works. But I guess if you're gay, it's not gay porn. Two baby porn. bottles equals education. What? Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's just the emojis. But yeah, oh, so it, it's gay if it's one person, but you're thinking about or looking at dudes. But it's not gay what if, if it's two guys. But what if not... I'm looking at a dude, but I'm pretending it's a girl? Okay, that's fine. That's not gay. <laughs> That's just Eminem's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is fucking Eminem says something like this in one of his songs. He's like, um, is it gay if I, like he's like playing football or something? He's mm-hmm. like, um, if I'm like if I reach in between this grown man's ass, I don't fucking remember now. Yeah. He's like, is it still gay if I imagine it's a girl's butt? And <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? This is the on? Jenny Slate thing where she's talking about why she doesn't understand football, but she she loves football because she likes to create her own version. Where she's like, <laughs> we're all in the locker room together, and we're like, we're all wearing the same thing. And he's like, hey, Tom Brady, yeah, if I get the ball, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. What? You're my best friend. That fucking reminds me. So, like, Leo and I are, are done. We're not hooking up anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one of the recent things that he said to me was, um, hold on, I'm gonna go find it because it was fucking funny. Wait till Newt learns about femboys. <laughs> I know all about femboys. Hell yeah. Alright, no, 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 where was this? Because this was so fucking funny. Hold on. Um, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna look well, up. Well, the verbiage he used in something that you were telling me about last week before you left made me laugh. And I can't what the fuck what. did he, what was I talking about? About the whole situation, um, yeah. Oh! <laughs> You what fornicated was... with a friend yes. enemy. Yeah. Oh my god, the, the use of the term <laughs> fornicate made me laugh so hard. Because you know that like while he was constructing that text message, <laughs> he was like, this is the punch. He was going through his like his yeah, vocabulary. Fornicate. Yeah, yeah. Fornicate. Okay, so um he was like, Oh, I wanna hang out, and I was like, Oh, I got training tomorrow, whatever, mm-hmm. right? Um Thursday, oh shit wrestling. Are you thinking of prowling for some dick today? If you get hot and bothered but they still decline, let me know. Uh, ten, eleven minutes later. This is nine o'clock in the morning. Fuck, man, why does locker room sex sound so good right now? Get on your knees and put this down your throat. Then pound that pussy on the bench and come and get filled to the brim. After practice, so everyone's still sweaty. Maybe turn on the shower head so nobody can hear you getting pounded. Fuck, man, now I'm really jelly that you have the chance for locker room pounding. Send some news while in the locker room and keep me updated if you manage to score with anybody. And then I fucking message back. Hold on, where was it? Um, so this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <pretty much. laughs> 
<laughs> it's 9.50 in the morning. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I've just gone to, who the fuck is texting me that, oh my god. Hold it's on. like, um, look, I love being horny, but. I, I replied, oh yeah, because he was like, uh, oh, and sorry if I overstepped with that long string of texts. I said, no, nah, you're good. Uh, I think, I was just wiped yesterday. Although, I think you're overestimating the locker room, LMAO. <laughs> Oh my god, that was why he's like, ah, yeah, absolutely. It's just a fantasy mind palace thing at that time, and I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, imagine waking up and just seeing that string of texts of just, and then like, because he'll send something like that, and then he'd send like a normal message. Yeah. So it'd be like that, and then be like, hey, yeah, I'm playing Magic the Gathering yeah. tonight, and I'm like, can we? What the fuck? <laughs> we need like a sexy like putting on a knee brace, applying yeah. <laughs> applying icy right. hot, you know. Um. Okay, bagging. All right, hold on. Me. Cock and D ball torture. Cemetery rapist. That another song. I wish Tom Hanks would remake Splash, but a horror flick about a Fiji mermaid. I wish. I'd Mexican like pussy too on the move. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till New learns about feminism. Is gay actually gay, or am I overexcited? It's as gay as you want it to be. Time for bed, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Right. With uh, with thoughts of locker room. Yeah, at that moment, it's just like I. Need it was to just. It was here. so detailed. He was talking about me getting like filled on the bench, and I was like, "Hey, bud." I don't know if you're familiar with what's going on here, but that's yeah. not the case. I imagine so many people like oh will God. go, oh, I like those guys' reviews. I'm going to watch their live stream. Right. And then <laughs> just me not, really not, unsubscribing <laughs> isn't enough. They need to drive miles away from their house <laughs> and throw their laptop out the window. <laughs> no, I'm just like, are you, what? Hello? Like, I woke up and I literally was like, can I fucking help you? Like, what, yeah. what do you mean? I bet you're going to get filled up in the locker room. And I was like, first of all, um, so, like, the way that the way that the wrestling school is set up, like obviously we have the men's and women's bathroom. Yeah. There's a shower room, but it's not like I don't think it's a communal shower room. I don't know. I've never used it. I think there's just the one shower though. Yeah. And then like, even if it was, I assume those would be kept gender separate. Yeah. But like when we're changing or whatever, like mo- people come mostly dressed, and then like we've got like curtains in the back mm. where it's just a bunch of us like you know changing our shoes or yeah. whatever or shirts. Like it's not like like Choking. people aren't like stripping down. Yeah. And, like, Choke me with your wrestling shoe strings. Oh, like. <laughs> but, like, it's not like there's anywhere to... You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I was like, you're severely overestimating the yeah. locker room vibe. Like, I to, usually show up almost entirely dressed, and I just change my shoes and, like, put my shirt on. To be fair. Yeah? So, mm-hmm. played in a men's league uh, for ice hockey, and uh, I was on an ex-girlfriend's dad's team, and uh, the Zamboni driver really really liked the girl I was seeing at the time so we were hanging out with him and talking and stuff like that but all my stuff was still in the locker room Mm -hmm. so he's like hey I'm gonna go out I'm gonna be back in a little bit you guys can just turn the lights off and you leave we totally banged in the in the in the locker room um but you know that's different you know um yeah no that's that's completely different than should have invited a friend it was a hockey fuck we could have had a two-man advantage Jet boy, jet girl, I'ma make you be a girl. What is that song? It's not gay if you think your hand is between two warm pillows. True. Larry David talking to a guy about religion on Curb saying, worshipping the son of God. Kind of gay, don't you think? I can think of it as a girl, but yeah. The locker room text has, you keep using that word, but I don't think you know what it means. <laughs> Who's this guy's dad? Vince McMahon? Oh my God. I'm pooping your hair. No. In my own hair? I don't, how would I do that? Oh God. <laughs> Um, I guess you're doing a handstand. No. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just, I don't know. He, he was just, he, he was frustrating because, like, I don't want to get too much into it just because he annoys the fuck out of me. But, um, we, again, we're no longer hooking up. But, let's, um. Let's fornicate in the gymnasium. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, like, he was constantly playing back and forth between, like, not wanting me to hook up with other people, but knowing it was going to happen because I was very clear about that from the get-go. And then, like, wanting to hear about it, like, he was, can I help you? She, like, she just yeah, trollops no, around the house. <laughs> um, like, he's like, no, 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 I'm totally cool about it now. So, like, did you hook up with that one person? And I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to tell yeah, you yeah, that. Yeah, fuck you. And then he was like, no, 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 like, I'm good this time. And then every time I told him it was a new disaster, so. You know who doesn't like hearing about stuff? My wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, Mets is coming over. <laughs> Alright, look. 
All right, look. <laughs> yeah, his dude's wife and kids. What the fuck? <laughs> she said, look. That's... <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. No, I had to ring a film in Kino. Es gibt ein Problem in das hat mit Peter Jackson zu tun. What? What is it? Um, I have gotten a, a, I tried to open my, like, browser, and it was, like, new Lord of the Rings movie in, in theater. Uh, there is a problem, and that, uh, and it has to do with Peter Jackson. I don't know anything. There, wouldn't, there can't be a new Lord of the Rings movie, because they signed an exclusive, the Tolkien estate signed an exclusive um, with, uh, uh, Amazon for the, the Rings yeah, of Power series. I don't know. No. I just, that just popped up, and I was like, are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Um, the comedian Paul Mooney had a good, funny, gross joke. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. One day, a kid walks in on his parents, going wild, screwing. His dad looks at him and laughs. Woo, the kid walks out days later. One out of two. Okay, so we're waiting for the second okay. half of this joke. All right. Have you ever ran into an AIDS-riddled Forrest Gump on the streets of Philadelphia? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. That is not something I thought you'd say yes to. What do you mean? Like, just like... Forrest Gump being, obviously, not a like, literal... No, yeah, but like those, like, types of, you know... Okay, sure. Yeah. And I don't know if it was AIDS, but there's definitely something going on with the, one of the okay. dudes up the street here. Hold on, how do I look at my previous slippers? Please confirm your password. You save password, please. You're ordering more pizza? No, I'm trying to check something. Oh, it didn't fucking... I'm not... I'm gonna do this later. Uh, <laughs> I want to know the other half of this joke. Oh, there it is. Dad walks in hearing... Mo wait, days later, Dad walks in hearing moaning, and he sees the kid... What? Why? Oh I don't want to. Come on. Kid just pumping grandma. And the dad looks horrified. And the kid turns to him and says, Not so funny now when it's your mom. <laughs> Why? To be fair, grandma was asking for it. See how she was Look. dressed? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, Newt, it's a taunt. It is a Tom Hanks joke, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, I don't understand. The the Forrest Gump thing. Uh, There's going to be a new Lord of the Rings animated movie called The War of the Rohirrim. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited. That's that's cool. I think the Rohirrim are super underrated, and I would like to hear more about them. Mm -hmm. I am apparently watching the video. There we go. I guess I'm just deleting all of these things. Oh, I've and been sent a Snapchat. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> um... Mm -hmm. Oh, your phone's fucking popping yeah. off. God damn. Yeah. It's all the same person. I don't even know who that is. Um, I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, that's like all the same person. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. That oh, name does not seem familiar. My entire upper back just like crunched weird. <laughs> that's fine. It was like all at once. It was just like, <laughs> I'm like, hello? Hello. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm happy for us to make fun of Leo more, honestly. But <laughs> then I have to subject myself to his text messages, so maybe the, not. I was watching your, <laughs> your oh, stream. You stream. It fucking better not be. If he's that done with me, mm -hmm. he should not be anywhere fucking near here. I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with him. I like my women, like I like my grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> Soft on one side and hard and crusty on the other. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. It's a guy. Jesus thing. Christ. I don't understand. First of all. <laughs> um, oh my god. I can't get over that forty cape with a friend's mm -hmm. enemy. Fucking. I love. I just love the use of the, the word fornicate. I know, right? And that's why I said add gymnasium. Like he's gonna now only talk in like old timey terms. Yeah. Like, just like. Don't you understand that at one point our relationship was on the trolley? Like. <laughs> Twenty three skidoo. Mm -hmm. Made Leo try the pickle cotton candy. Now I'm like searching when I've recently. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, um. All of that, none of that's yeah. funny. Uh, all my recent screenshots of him are me being like, Can you look at this fuckhead? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at this fucking idiot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, unironically, like, mm -hmm. it's fine, I don't need to get into all that. Um, I just, 
great. I'm not dealing with that right now. It's all right. There's messages happening, and I don't want to... Oh, There's okay. nothing new happening in the chat. All right, what time go. is it? Hold on. Does Newt like Alex Cox films? Mostly Repo Man, Sid and Nancy, and Walker. Yeah, of course. It's 11.40. I've got parking until, like, 1 o'clock. Oh, okay. All right. But, um... Well, we'll hang on until... I haven't seen Repo Man. I've been meaning to. It's good. Not... Well, Repo Man, not Repo the Genetic Opera. I've been Two meaning to watch things. both. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Repo Man is just a weird fucking so cool movie. punk rock movie with, uh, um, Emilio Estevez. You look like little fish. They do. Little fish. <laughs> it was the, it was the, uh, sushi for beginners. It was, a, it was <laughs> rice with a goldfish cracker on top. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Mm. We're from here. Okay. I'll take over. Mm-hmm. Especially if we're doing jokes. Uh, if we're doing jokes... I had a friend give me um, an introvert test. He said, rather be in a room where there's... Uh... You're reading a joke. <laughs> well, I am, but it's a good thing for you in a room alone. I'd rather be in a room alone, so I'd rather have people <laughs> say good things about me and be in a room alone. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, you read it? Well, I, I like... Yeah. All right. If we're doing jokes, I had a friend give me an introvert test. They said, would you rather be in a room where they said good things about you or in a room alone? I said, rather people say good things about me and I'd be in a room alone. My friend said, what well, you described as awake. Your perfect situation is your own funeral. Yeah, exactly. It's funny, but I, in, in okay. my head, I was, you know. The term 48 sounds like something coming out of a health textbook or something you do to a horse. <laughs> Those are two very different things. Um, no, he was mad that I was fucking a specific person. And, um... Was like being so dramatic about it, mm-hmm. but um, the Repo Men was all right. Jude Law flick, okay. Oh yeah, I remember that one too. Hey, just so you know, I sent pictures of that theater in Discord. Okay, his is kind of pinky, punky, pinky. I need a job. I need a good job. I need a job that satisfies my artistic needs. Oh, are you like singing something? I say, will you join me this afternoon to the gymnasium <laughs> for some fornicating and to watch a game of the New York Knickerbockers? <laughs> I actually sent them to movie reviews like a weirdo. No, that's fine. I'll check. That's probably what was popping up. Yeah, then. our um, our channel names in the Discord are suggestions more than anything else. Repo Man Two may be coming. Okay. Yeah, I read about that. Weren't you open from the get go? We sure were. Um, <laughs> I always am. Like that's like one of the first things I tell people when we hook up is I'm like, look, <laughs> listen, look. I usually word it like, don't try to tie me down, but sometimes I'll just be like even more blatant and I'll be like. I'm gonna keep fucking people. <laughs> yeah. But like I try to I try to couch it a little bit. I'll usually be like, hey, like, don't try to tie me down. I'm I'm gonna like I'm much more open than this. I'm don't wanna, you know. Can you tell the wind to stop being the wind for a minute? I'm never gonna no. fucking say that. It exactly. makes me sound so like <laughs> Can you tell the tides to stop rolling? God. That sounds like um okay, so I've been watching this a couple YouTubers watch reality Talk shows oh. well yes i do actually go back and watch your videos <laughs> a lot um but i rewatched our skate town usa video uh, isn't it great again. i forgot I like, wow that was really funny i totally yeah. forgot about all of that uh, yeah i because i was running on no sleep yeah and i'd been awake for way too long at that point mm. so when i went back and watched it i was like what <laughs> I don't remember that in the movie, and yeah. here I'm talking about, yeah, no, that that's a fun review. Go watch Skates on USA review. I always imagine, like, when I forget about things we talked about, I'm just like, I'm seeing it for the first time, but I know it's my head. Right. So it's, like, AI. Like, it's, like, deep God. fake, and I'm like, did who, I say Who that? put this out here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, fuck, what, what prompted me to talk about that? Uh, what about Skates on USA? Oh, yeah. So I've been watching YouTubers watch reality shows. Mm-hmm. Um, notably, I mentioned Milf Manor to you. yeah, yeah. Um, but a different guy, I've been watching, I think his name is Jarvis, uh, Jarvis Johnson, I think his name is, uh, I love him, he's so, he's so funny, mm-hmm. uh, and then he's got his friend Jordan Atika, Atika, I don't remember how to pronounce his last name, um, but he, he's also very, very funny, mm-hmm. but, um, they, well, first off, we were watching them watch the most racist show I've ever seen in my entire life, um, it is actually so bad that, so they're covering multiple episodes in per episode of YouTube, right? If that makes sense. Like, they're watching a couple episodes, then reviewing it, like, in the moment. Yeah. Um, I do love every, racism. Every time, because Gerald and I watch these episodes, and then, or, like, you know, the, the YouTube coverage of mm-hmm. it. And then we tried to get Neil to watch, and all three of us stopped at the same point on the third video. It's so bad. So, uh, I'll get into that, but I was going to talk about um, 
It wasn't Love is Blind. It was another... It's called Sexy Beasts, I think. Netflix has some dating show where they, like, do, like, insane special effects makeup to turn the contestants into, like... Animals? Beings. Yeah. Okay, okay. Animals, um, insects, like, yeah. some... The one poor chick got turned into like a zombie. There was like a hag, like a hag or like a witch mm. or something like that. Like it just crazy special effects makeup. And the whole point is like, oh, the, you don't know if these people are hot. And it's like, first of all, they're only doing the makeup on the face. Yeah, so like, you, you still, still see, see the, the body. body. Yeah. And like, second of all, obviously it's like everyone's hot. You know what I mean? Like whenever yeah. they take out everyone's it's hot. TV. Yeah. Um, that sounds like something that the rhino guy in that show would say. Is like, he can't stop, like, the And that's why, like, the second you said that, I was like, like, you can probably watch it back and see my face change a little. I know you're not accusing me of being, like, that weird fucking hippie type dude, but, like, goddamn, I was just like, oh, that sounds Wouldn't like it be awesome if, like, say. you get a date and it's, like, a hot chick, and then when they take the thing off, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Like an ember? Yeah, and you're like, put the makeup back on, put the makeup back on. Oh my god. Um... The racist one's bad, though. It's a white family and a black family, and they change races. Like, they get makeup done. Like, the white family wears blackface, and the black family gets done up in white. Did you ever see that Always Sunny episode where they take the Mexican family? Yeah. <laughs> um, don't tie me down, tie me up. Exactly! Exactly! Thank you. That's mm-hmm. my that's my relationship philosophy um, for myself. Um... Okay, I've actually never seen Reaper Man. I saw Reaper the Musical, though. Okay. I like Reaper the Genetic Opera. Oh my god, don't tie me down, tie me up. I love that. No matter what you do, don't fall in love with me. Yo, yeah, that's actually my go-to line. I'm like, do not fall in love with me. Please don't. It's not... It will only upset both of us. Look at Elvira, though. She's like, hi, even me? Yeah, you're watching. You're actually really watching me. Do you mm-hmm. want some of this? Nope. You're not gonna have any. I just, like, do you want it? She's on the diet. Just for me to say no. No, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. Um, she is, like, really staring me down. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've been poly for the past seven years. My girl wanted to just, just switch over, get married, and tie the knot. I resisted, but then we went monogamous. We had a kid three years ago. I love my son. He's adorable. That's great. I I'm, hope monogamous I'm glad you love your son. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> like, I hope not hate that up for you guys. Um, escape from New York or They Live, the most relevant to today? Um, I mean, They Live probably is the most relevant, but mm-hmm. uh, Escape from New York is my favorite of the two. Okay. Hello from San Antonio. Hello, Culinary Mercy. Hello. Ah, oh, they live for sure. Love, love will tear us apart again. Love. I've been in deep prep for a matador role, and Newt helps me understand the origin of the weird hat. Huh? <laughs> I do love weird hats. So in Tucson... Wait, you're also the one with the amount of Earth ringtone. I feel like every sentence you say is so fascinating. Um, In Tucson, painted on the side of this wall by this record store, is a Jack Kirby, or John Romita Jr., John Romita of... um. Wanda, the, the Scarlet Witch, and mm. Vision, and they're kissing, and there's a, the bubble above it says, Love will tear us apart again. Mm. And I think it's really cool. It's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm watching. Um, yeah. And fun last week got handed paternity papers in, so guess my son's not mine. Why do we decide to go to monogamous? Oh. I don't know if you. Hang on. It sounds like, yeah, if, if, if she was gonna. That sucks. I mean, obviously, he's still your son. Like, I know, yeah. you know, like... Oh, I remember you talking about this in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like... What the... You're right. Why would you go monogamous just to... And that's the thing, okay? Because there were several people that I've dated where I was like, hey, I don't really want to go monogamous. They're like, no, no, no. Like, you're all mine, right? And then they end up cheating on me. And I'm like, you could have had this from the get-go. <laughs> I don't... But they didn't want me to be able to do it. That's the real thing. Yeah. They want to be able to do it and have me be all theirs. I'm like, well, sucks. This is a two-way street, buddy. I'm starting to think that Elvira might not really be mine. Yeah? Because I, like, I don't think we look that much alike. No, no. She totally has your eyes, okay? No, she'll eat my eyes when I die. Yeah, she'll have your eyes. Uh-huh. Um, no, I... I, I don't know. Care. I'm pretty sure her mother lied. That's possible. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want to admit it, but it is possible. <sighs> she's tired of getting abused. And I've been raising her. Yeah? I mean, she's been yours for how many years now? Seven years. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you had the best thumbnails of the past couple days, That's right? That's right. I, everyone thinks that... So you did, like, some of me, and then there's one of Melissa. Melissa, yeah. And everyone's like, hey, Metz is looking good, and I'm like... Uh, not my tits. Mm-hmm. But I have <laughs> so many. Not my tits. I have so many more now, like because we have a whole bunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's like I'm waiting for reviews that like I don't think will do as well, mm-hmm. and then just put that. <laughs> yeah, because I saw the pictures as you're taking them. They uh-huh. look good. Yeah, they look good. 
No, I'm so much paler than Melissa. So, like, everyone's like, hey, nice. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's not me. Yeah. But, well, because Melissa's uh, part um, part Hispanic mm-hmm. as well, so, yeah. It's just super funny because, um, fucking, uh, two of them popped up next to each other. One with my tits and one with hers, right? Yeah. And, like, that really, like, hit the difference uh-huh. for me because I'm, like, glowing white. Yeah. And she's, like, you know... Normal. And yeah, those tone. pictures were taken in the summer too. She was like yeah, they're tan. Yeah, yeah, of then, course. You know? But it was just funny. I was mm-hmm. like, um, can't say you're wrong, but it's getting close. Oh no, what is going on? Oh, they live. Okay, John Carpenter is the best director. I work in advertising. We're there. Consume. Okay, great director. Mm-hmm. Newt, are you reviewing Immaculate? If so, I have a great idea for the thumbnail. Oh, please, <laughs> please share. You're face blind, we're tit blind. You know what? That's fair. I can actually recognize people's tits better than their faces. I do love the thing. It's like people are now trying, like, angry, and they're like, her tits aren't even that great. And I'm like, hold on. Who the fuck are you talking about? Like, (laughs) first off, all tits are great. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Second of all, if you mean mine, I know you're wrong. (laughs) Um, No, I do. Have you seen the trailer for Immaculate yet? Apparently, no. like, Christians are, like, super angry about it because it's, like, so blasphemous, but it's that Sydney Sweeney chick, mm. and I thought it was, like, a, like, an exorcist knockoff mm. kind of thing, but apparently it's, like, way more blasphemous than that, and I was like, okay, we need to see that movie, mm-hmm. and then I went back, I was looking at the tweet, um, that movie was, that we were gonna see, the Love Lies Bleeding, the one about the lesbian, uh, crime bodybuilder one, mm. um, apparently, like, the other chick in it, not Kristen Stewart, but the other one, um, the director was like, yeah, I'm, like, looking for a, uh, a, a bodybuilder for this lesbian love story thing. And then that girl, like, posted her, like, pictures of her, like, uh, like, lifting weights or something. She's like, I'm available. And people are like, well, you clearly need to cast that person now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, it is a whole control thing. You're right. It is dumb. Um, the, like, turning me monogamous just to... Hurt. Self-control? Mm-mm. Oh. That's the thing. That's the Laura Control. Brandy, Laura yeah, Brandy song. Okay. It's about controlling your partner, not. Maybe. Gloria, you're a Gloria. Da, 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 da. Maybe. Okay, you probably know. There was, she's not. been dead for probably longer than you've been alive. But oh, uh, yeah, great fucking song. I used to sing when I used to work at Collingswood. Mm-hmm. Um, I would get home from Wayne at like really crazy hours at mm-hmm. night, and I couldn't sleep. So I would like start blasting music, and then I would like pick Elvira up when she was like really little, <laughs> and like dance and sing to her. And she... No she hates you. <laughs> There's, like, I saw it today online. I was gonna post it in the Discord. Um, you know that picture of Ben Affleck standing outside smoking a cigarette, and he just looks miserable. Like, somebody drew cat ears mm-hmm. and a tail on it. It says my cat while listening to the hundred and twelfth song I wrote about them. <laughs> yeah, I think you sent me that. <laughs> Um, I was in a hospital for a few days uh, about seven years ago. They were only somewhere for a colonoscopy. I'm expecting a crusty old doctor, but it's five young blonde women. I'm an atheist. My last thought before they gasped me was angels are taking care of me. <laughs> Best trilogy, Lord of the Rings or OG Star Wars? I have to say Lord of the Rings. I gotta go Lord of the Rings as well, nice. yeah. See, you actually remember Star Wars, so that means something. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, well, because Lord of the Rings hasn't had, like, Lord of the Rings has the theatrical version and the extended cuts. I only, like, the extended cuts are the only one that's canon mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. Star Wars has been re so many times and recontextualized in special mm-hmm. edition that it's muddied the water to it. Uh, granted, my kitchen, you can look right now, I have Star mm-hmm. Wars movie posters framed. Hey, I love like Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. It's, my, you know, it's one of my favorite things in the whole world. But when it comes to just a, the, a better original three films in their purest form, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Newt has very cat-like eyes. I do. Hooray for boobies. Isn't that a band? Or not it's a, a band. Blackout album? Gang song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The album, yeah. Yeah, because that's what Bad Touch is off of. Mm-hmm. And Brian mm-hmm. used to be their security manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I heard it's actually good. What's actually good? Boobs. I mean, yeah, boobs are great. Immaculate? I really want to oh, see it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the old version of Star Wars. Lord of the Rings is the best. Yeah, no, he's talking about like OG trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I want my own nice tits. A guy can dream. Good mm-hmm. luck. Um, I want a Neil Breen Easy Rider, but it's very Neil Breen. <laughs> we were literally just talking about who was I talking? I was having an Easy Rider conversation. Oh, with it was here. I mean, yeah. here, no, it was. I was. I don't know who the fuck I was talking to. We were having a conversation about Easy Rider recently, mm-hmm. and about how that movie basically changed the Hollywood. Oh, it was Lana and I oh. we were having a conversation about how that movie basically changed the entire 
studio system. Mm. And that was a turning point because Roger Corman was offered that movie because he discovered Jack Nicholson mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, and he, he didn't want to give them the points they wanted on the movie. So they took the movie to the studio, left Roger Corman behind, mm -hmm. and then started basically the new Hollywood system, which was what bore, you know, that's where we got Bogdanovich, that's where we got Spielberg, that's where we got Lucas, that's where we got Francis Ford Coppola, and it all came from that movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sorry, still chewing. Yeah. Speaking of bodybuilders, I guess that Majors movie is most likely never coming out now since more stuff came out about it. Yeah, probably not. Who? Jonathan Majors, the oh. dude who was Kang the Conqueror. What um, came out about him? He... What, what, okay. So there's, I'm of two minds about this thing. Yes, he was abusive. Yes, he was a piece of shit. But that one video, like, he's literally running away from that girl. Oh. Where if that, the roles were reversed in that situation, imagine what that would look like. Okay. You know? Mm. Yes, we need Bob the script when she was, like, 14 until she was old enough so her production company could do it. I guess she really liked the script. That's really Yeah, cool. and then she did Madam Web in order to get Sony, like, mm -hmm. yeah... I thought I heard something about that, yeah. No, it looks really good, and I just love how angry it's making people. Because apparently, like, at one point, like, apparently the MAGA crowd really liked her. And okay. uh, and then when she's like, yeah, well, I think we should tax the rich. And oh, yeah. Like, and wait a like, minute. And then on. she did this movie, and now they're mad about her. So mm -hmm. now they're trying to minimize her, being like, her tits aren't even that big. And I was like, what a weird flex. Right? You know? Also, like, I feel like she's got more important things to say than, like, her, that her tits are big. You know what I mean? I like, mean, yes. So I don't think she cares. Well, yes, I know. You know. And tits are trying to escape, I guess. <laughs> We're free! Yeah. <laughs> they, steal, oh, yeah. <laughs> they steal a car. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back. They take your, they take your dick with them. <laughs> you, <laughs> your dick flings the coat over his shoulder. Starts walking out on the balls, turns back, my tits go, of course, and yeah. they jump up. And, like, they steal our wallets. <laughs> you call the police, and they're like, what kind of drugs are you guys doing? <laughs> oh my god. Um, which thumbnail is whose tits? This is the best game to guess whoever, right? I want to do more. Like, I want to see who else's tits I can get to, mm -hmm. to supply them for the thing, and we'll just uh, do yeah. a who's who mm -hmm. of, of, you know... I'll give you a hint. Mine are super pale and scarred. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else is distinct about them. I mean, you can't see the nipple, or that yeah. would be distinct. Mm -hmm. But, um, did you see the lesbian love subplot in the newest Ghostbusters? So, oh, wait, sorry, the person who sent the two baby bottles earlier, I think he's saying tits. I think he's uh, like, oh, okay. milkers. milkers. All right. Because we're talking about boobs, and he just sent a whole bunch of hearts, and then uh, okay. two baby bottles, and then a whole bunch of uh, hearts. Oh, all right. Yeah, the way that they shot that subplot was strange. Okay. I'm gonna get some water. Can okay. Only because they did make it out like she was in love with the ghost. Um, Me too, honestly. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't think that was the, the, the what they were going for, but I also, I don't know. Sorry, I totally that's okay. Um, yeah, oh, also you can see why I had to wear shorts over this, because, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not super obvious, but, like, the second I bend over mm -hmm. it all, it's just like, oh. Um, but... <laughs> the acid scene in that movie bothers me. I'm like, that's not what tripping is in a stock graveyard. Gothic graveyard is like... In which movie? In... Um, I don't know. <laughs> in, uh, in, um, uh, in, uh... An Easy Rider? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, easy Rider is several thumbs up emojis. Yes. Hard question. Friday part four or six? Uh, I'm going to go four. I'm not a... Wait, which one is six? Six is the comedy one. Yeah, oh. four. Oh, no. All right. Uh, imagine a woman with big tits tripping and revealing her tits are really two dwarves that start laughing and running away. Oh, my God. There's a line similar to that in um, a Chris Caligo song. He works with Tech Nine a lot. Um, uh, he says, I forget what the beginning of the line is, but he describes her ass as being uh, like midgets wrestling in her pants, <laughs> which is like such a great line. That, that song has a lot of really good lines, although it also has the unfortunate line of referring to her ass as a turd cutter, and I feel like that's not something you want to use in a sexual context, but... Like, I know that that's a phrase, but, like, 
You know, he's like, oh, she's got a turd cutter on her. And I'm like, I would recommend you go back to the Yeah, maybe we go back to the lab and we yeah. rework that line. <laughs> the turd cutter. Sorry, that song is so good. And I'm mm. just like, but um, it's called Girls Like That, if anyone's interested. Um, throw in some chubby guys like Chris Farley giving Adam Sandler trivia questions and Billy Madison. <laughs> uh, these those pants are winning. Thank you. They're technically pants. Um, I bought these at Spirit Halloween. There, uh, as you can see, I got I've got a, a skeleton happening here. Your bones. Skeleton. I got bones. I don't have toes though. I don't have feet. Well, I have like my regular ones. Yeah. But... Like... <laughs> no, like the pants don't go down that far. Is what I'm saying. Nubs. You can see, I got socks. Oh, are you um, showing off that I can't do that anymore? Huh? Are you showing off that I can't do that anymore? Why can't of... you? Oh, you're. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about that. But no, um, these wow. I gotta wear. I gotta wear shorts over them because, like, ableist. I don't think you can see, but like, if I bend over, you can. You'll see the outline of my panties. Mm -hmm. Which I don't care that much, but which is why I took it off for the stream. But like, yeah. I'm not gonna be walking around fucking maniac with my ass out. It's true. Um, I will. Yes. Ass is true. Okay, it was easy, rider. Right? Okay, yeah. Easy. Uh, the fight scene in the new, in the new Roadhouse are less than great. Oh yeah, we we're talking about that. Yeah, earlier. I heard it was like CGI. For the thumbnail t tits to clarify. Oh, throw in some chubby guys like Chris Farley giving Adam Sandler trivia <laughs> question for the thumbnail tits. That is correct. <laughs> Do you have a favorite David Lynch film? Elephant Man is several thumbs up emojis. Someone replied, Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive. Um. I don't know. I like I like all of his movies for different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, even something like Straight Story, <laughs> uh, Inland Empire. Um, you know, my first introduction to him was The Elephant Man. Okay. Uh, and then you know, Eraserhead and and okay. all that shit. Um, I don't know. I I don't know if I have. I bet, probably Mulholland Drive. I'll probably okay. go Mulholland That's Drive. Fair. Just because the Club Silencio scene is just I fucking love that scene so much. I saw that alone on my birthday. Um, and was just like, this is brilliant. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't want to see that winky emoji. So you do want to see that. <laughs> I love the way you pronounce panties. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll have this candy and with my panties. <laughs> Please don't combine candy and panties. Candy panties. I kind of say Sandman's name like that too. Sandman panties. Sandman. <laughs> While well, eating candy. candy. Look, I don't know how I ended up doing that with my A's. With I didn't used to. Mandy. Mandy. Um, Blue Velvet is great too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paps, Blue Ribbon. Blue Velvet's killer? Oh, Blue Velvet is killer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, I couldn't stop smiling and almost giggling when Conor McGregor walks like Chicken Hawk from Looney Tunes. Somebody said that earlier. Oh, yeah. I was laughing hysterically when they said that. Oh, my God. Firewalk with me is great too. All Twin Peaks. You know what? Yeah, you know what? What do you mean, Washington Peaks? Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to change it. Fire Walk With Me might be my favorite. Um, no. It has one of the top five favorite ending scenes of any movie ever for me. Um, when Laura Palmer is laughing as, as the, you know, the angel comes down and stuff like that. Um, I fucking love little things like, uh, like David Bowie uh, is like, appears and like he's in the opposite Twin Peaks. Okay. So bizarre. Or like when they're in the one club and it's all subtitled, like, little things like that are just brilliant, and I can see why the movie got booed off screen. Oh but oh, my, Lost Highway, too, was another one that we fucking, like, we ate that one up like crazy yeah. when we had to see that. Oh my god, I love that. Um, yeah, it was very, I still think it's so funny that, like, I rolled up and I was like, everyone's gonna look like me, and then they didn't. No. Uh, everyone looked all artsy and uh -huh. shit, and I was like... I can't, because we went there, it was like a Monday night. Yeah. And it was like jammed fucking packed. It was absolutely packed. packed. But uh, yeah, I was wearing, um, I think I was wearing that like red corset thing. Yeah. And like, I, I went ham on my makeup mm -hmm. and like, oh my God. And, uh, and then the cloak and all that. And I just roll up. Because then I remember after we went to like that restaurant, it mm -hmm. was like in the middle of like yuppie Trenton. And yeah. we were the only ones in there who looked like we, like the circus was in town. Yeah. I always look like that though. Yeah. Cause like I was saying in the in the Mets versus Bears make Foley video, like I even at that wrestling, like that was a wrestling thing. I expected to look in place and I didn't. But I'm not. I guess I'm not complaining. It's just like I I'm kind of used to getting stared at at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I I there are times that I'm surprised because I'm like oh more people are gonna look like me and then that they just don't like. Because uh, there were a lot of little kids there for meeting Mick Foley. It was, like, the, the dad and then the mm -hmm. son. And, like, there were a bunch, bunch of sets of adults and children. And, they like, the kids were just 
like mouth agape, like absolutely baffled by my presence. Yeah. I either awakened like so many, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like or repelled or something. Repelled, exactly. Like, what if you went somewhere though and everyone was dressed exactly like you? I, that would kind of be jarring. Yeah. Like right? I'd be happy, but I'd also be like a little like, all right, what, yeah, do what the fuck? Because the closest I've gotten to that is um, when I used to go to Vortex, which was like an um, industrial like dance night, I guess, mm-hmm. at, uh, at Vortex, at Vortex, at Voltage Lounge. Um, well, I think it's somewhere else now. Um, and like, that's where everyone looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the most I have fit in aesthetically. There were times that people were dressed more than I, like crazier than yeah. I was. And I was do like, ever, that's cool. um, Do you ever hear the song No Rain by Blind Melon? Mm-mm. I don't think so. So in the music video, there's a little girl, there's a little chubby girl, she's just a bee, and she's tap dancing, and everybody laughs mm-hmm. at her. And she's out in the world, and she's finding all these people, and everybody, no one looks like her. And then finally, she wanders into, like, the, like, out into the grass, and then everyone there is dressed as bumblebees, and they yeah. all dance together, that's and I was cute. just like, oh, that's adorable. That's real cute. Mm-hmm. Are you saying that when I go to these industrial dance nights, that that's what That you're <laughs> like a bumblebee girl, I'm like yeah. a little bumblebee girl. Mm-hmm. Um, plus the Pink Room song. Okay. Newt, how's it feel filming again? Uh, oh, the, the thing we shot? Um, mm-hmm. it was fine until I injured myself. Oh, fair enough. Very <laughs> last fucking shot. Um. Yeah, what did you do? Because I went back to try to explain, or try to, like, so, figure it out. So, alright, so we happened? filmed everything completely out mm-hmm. of sequence. And the very last thing we had to shoot was the, because we had to move everything and then reset the lights. We had to film the guy announcing each contestant. Mm-hmm. So the first guy comes out, and the way I, because I, I, I choreographed the fight scene mm-hmm. and then the intros, and the fight scene went great. Um, yeah. You know, uh, he, he grabs me, he pulls me up, we're jawing back and forth. I pull a knife out of the front of my pants, Hell yeah. and then we're wrestling back Oh, that's back where you got that sword idea. Right? Yeah, so we're wrestling back and forth. So what I did was I put the knife back this way, because what has to happen is Fallon has to grab the knife out of the back of my hand, grab me by the face, push me back, and then okay. she goes and starts stabbing the guy. So I, that went over nice. fine. So the first dude comes out, he does his little thing, he does a spin at the camera. So yeah, what yeah. I do is I stick my head out like, oh, me? And mm-hmm. then I go to do a kick. So I planted my foot, and when I raised my leg, my foot slipped. So And it popped so fucking loud that the girl doing the audio stuff behind the screen heard it. Oh, um, no. And then I tried to get back up, but... The ringing in my ears was so loud oh, that I couldn't stand. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Is that a knife in your pants or you're just happy? <laughs> so I had to have Melissa and Fallon basically, like, help me. Like, they, like, like uh, fucking, like, the cheerleader thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh, picked God. me up. They moved me over to the sofa. Then I needed to get out of the outfit that I was in. So <laughs> right. I had them, like, undressing me. And you're like, that. this should be so this much sexier. This is so much sexier, but it's not. Oh, my oh, God, it God. hurts so fucking bad. That was Pear saying hello. What was Pear saying hello? Um, that's his dog's name. Oh, okay. Paps Blue Ribbon is Paps Cordon Bleu translated. Uh, yes, yeah. it's very true. What movie are you talking about? We were talking about, um... Darby's Scream House. No, it was before oh. that. Uh, Lost Highway, I think? No, it was before Lo- One of those. It was a David Lynch um, movie. It was a David Lynch movie. FWWM is Crazy AF, but Bowie can't get better. Um, oh, Fire Walk With Me. Oh, yeah. Firewalk with me, David Lynch, like, oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about Firewalk with mm-hmm. me. Dennis Hopper is so fucking good in Blue Velvet and Easy Rider. Yeah. Here's to your fuck, Frank. <laughs> Blind <laughs> Melon is so good. Change is another top song. Both are so touching. And Mouthful of Cavities is another one. Mm-hmm. They're just fucking beautiful songs. And then Shannon Hoon died, like, right before they became famous. Same thing with uh, um, the lead singer of Sublime. Like, right as they took off, they died. So I'm just making sure, because I know previously, because a couple of people, they're cursing, but it's, like, censored, so I want to make sure yeah. that you guys are able to... Did I see how many more messages shot me? Do I have to move to this, or do we consider causing? Sure. After she was with Sergeant Lee, Mine's on my modus. Tell me my modus. Um, live chat on. Okay. I think that's correct. Okay. Um, now it's letting me, uh... What's it called? And now it's letting me, like, if someone says something that gets filtered, I think I'm going to be able to, like, approve it. Okay. I think. He's so good, Rip. Shannon, that is. Yeah. Uh, it was a bunch of numbers. She walked across my number pad when I made her moves, and she stole my spot when I went to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Oh, I didn't notice the numbers. I don't see them. They may have gotten uh, 
filter, filter yeah. yeah. But I don't understand what it filters, because I try to tell it, but I don't want it to filter anything. I get weird. I'll check, um, like, YouTube Studio is where I can keep tap of, like, how things are going in the analytics and stuff like that. And I always check the comments to see what comments YouTube, like, filters out. Mm-hmm. And there's little ones, like, one said, hooray for boobies. <laughs> like, w- weird ones, like, and I'm just like, why did so this get taken why did this out? Why get filtered? Get, okay, there we go. There you go. Um, my ass started hurting, so. Mm. Seems like all those 90s guys died too soon, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you give an addict a lot of money, it's only an amount of time. Yeah, That's basically. Scary. Danny Boyle fave, minus 28 days later, a train spotting. Uh, I can't talk about 28 days later. Oh, right. <laughs> I think only Eddie is the only one alive from the OG Seattle crew. Yes, yep. Okay. Um. Buffering. <laughs> I'd love to talk about 28 days later. I'm being texted things, and oh, okay. I'm getting distracted. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I mean, there are things I'm enjoying being distracted yeah. with, but, uh... <clears throat> nice. <laughs> and just... I don't know. Mm-hmm. I've been... I don't know how I'm managing to exist, because, like, my waking hours are all either wrestling or work. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're here, actually. This is, like, the one thing True. I do that isn't either of those things. Yeah. Um, You're welcome. Although it's... Yes. <laughs> It is weird, though, because um, I, I'm only on two days a week now, and I don't know why at work. I mm-hmm. don't want that. Um. <laughs> oh, you just reminded me of something. So yeah. when we're done filming, I have something I need to talk to you about. Okay. S- somebody who we thought we were good friends with apparently was talking badly about you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fun. Yep. Cool. So Jeez. we'll have that conversation after we're done. All right. Because I went, really? Sounds good. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. well, that's not terribly surprising, unfortunately. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, sounds like it was a little bit, I don't know who it was, but it sounds like it was a little bit, um, to you, but I shouldn't be surprised? I don't know. Uh, no, I was surprised by it. Okay. And I, I think it was more so of, like, I, well, I'll explain it to you. Because yeah, it wasn't it was just you, it was me as well they were talking badly about, and I went, okay. huh, okay, yeah. Um, Somebody we used to work with. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that could be a few different people. Yes. Okay. All right, well, we'll come back. We'll get back to that. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, so Fallon told me about it, and I went, really? Have we all seen Poor Things? I haven't. I have not yet. I really want to, though. When can you talk about 28 Day? Oh, he... Uh... (laughs) Because... Because that was the that was the uh, script that they put out for Monster Mania that got me my job lost at uh, Stringwave. Eddie was never an addict though. Well, I guess that's why he's it's true. The only one still alive. Uh, still said he'd make a twenty nine days later script joke for leap year. <laughs> <laughs> it crossed me. It crossed my mind. Because that all happened at the same time when they were talking about the uh, the lack of physical media for twenty eight days later. And I almost asked in the Discord for somebody to put together a, a Photoshop, and I was like, no, this will just no. this will be more problems. Yeah. I mean, just look at what I'm getting now for a dude being a stereotypical nerd, you know? Have you mm. seen that whole thing? No, but that, when I was so... When I was messaging you guys, I was brushing my teeth because yeah. I was about to leave. Mm-hmm. Um, and I heard you say something along those lines. You asked a guy to show up to a shoot dressed like a nerd. And, and that's what he dressed know. like. Yeah, and he didn't but know. But he didn't about... know who James was. Mm-hmm. And then I'm getting shit on disc on uh, Reddit and Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. And um, and, and you know, and one of them is the person who's been now been blocked by 25 accounts. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Who <laughs> said that I'm the most embarrassing, cringe person ever? And I, it's really sad what my life has become. And I was like, Damn. you have 25 sock yeah. accounts. You Just fucking lunatic. Yeah. yeah, he's... Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> they were talking about him in something else recently, because I guess he was... I don't know who else he was going at. But he like, Have you seen this? I was like, no, nah, man. I don't look at that no, shit. Like, you know? Mm. And it's, he's made it so... It was fun for a little bit. It was right? fun for a little bit, but then it just became like, you're a danger to yourself and people in your community. Mm-hmm. You know? Um... 28 Days Later is a great zombie flick. Oh, no one's debating that. No, no, great zombie mm-hmm. flick. Boo them naysayers. Sorry, fuck Screenwave. That movie's classic. Yeah, Appreciate that. I agree. Talk about the Sandra Bullock movie, 28 Days, where she goes into rehab. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, uh, the office joke. He's like, 
Yeah, she's like, yeah, I, I rented, I thought it was 28 Days, the Sandra Bullock movie. And then all these zombies showed up. <laughs> or the other one where it was like, uh, it's like, I went to see uh, Grizzly Man, but I went into the wrong theater and ended up in Wedding Crashers, but I stayed till the end because that's the thing about Grizzly Attacks. You never know when they're going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Gerald said, I will do anything for the bit. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. There is one bit that I had to tell him not to do. Uh-oh. In fact. Uh-oh. I will not share any more details, but... Well, you'll tell me afterwards, then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's not, it's not all that. I, all right. I just thought it was slightly too far. Okay. Far, considering. Um, I really despise Sandra Bullock movies, but teach their own. Oh, yeah, no, I, I assume that was just a joke. I, I mean, I lo I'm a big fan of Demolition Man. I thought that was really good. She's in that. Hell, yeah. Um, Danny Boyle is so good. Don't yeah. bother, bro. Yep. Is don't bother in reference to the, the like, 25 sock puppets or whatever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, your dating game vid reminded me of the Mallrats ending? We have a dating game video? The the thing I shot last week. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that was kind of, so... Do you want the last twist? Uh, I'm good. Okay. The, um, the, what I, the, the look I was going for is a movie called The Dark Backwards. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a real artsy movie, um, from the 80s, I believe. And, uh... When I was explaining to the uh, Tony Goggles, who was putting the whole thing together for me, the look that I wanted, I showed him the dark backwards. Because um, yes. there's like weird... I get like strange visual cues, and I'm like, oh, this would work well with this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I get... I wore that fucking that cat suit thing. Yeah, 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 exactly, like that. Um, little things like inspire me or trigger something in me. Um, so I, I, I explained to him the dark backwards so he could build... It to look like that, but I do see how it could look like the dating game from Mallrats mm -hmm. as well. Um, you know, and and uh, what was really cool about that space is uh, this Afro punk uh, spoken word musician named Sun Ra it was big in like the seventies. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently, he used to he performed there, and they had oh, a yeah. big fucking Sun Ra um, uh, banner in there, and I thought that was really fucking cool. Because I remember when um, when Crystal started college at Rutgers in New mm -hmm. Brunswick, they were doing a thing about Sun Ra, and I was like, oh my god, I have a 35mm print of Space is the Place, oh, yeah. which is a movie about all the black people are, get tired of racism, so they just leave the <laughs> earth. <laughs> um, right. So I, I, got, I went and did a uh, speech to like her class about Sun Ra and about that movie and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So I was like, I'm so smart, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my dear, nothing is saying sunrise too far. I disagree sometimes, but also, yes, that's fine. Mm. Well, do you like this other film? Train Spotting is so good. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm a big Danny Boy. Again, I love 28 Days Later. I just think if I talk about it, I'm okay. setting myself up to get attacked by, yeah. by Reddit again. No, so. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. Space is the place, Sunra is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? R. I, I was going to say, this is going to be one of those like anti-jokes where it's like, uh, you're expecting it to be R, but it's actually the C or something like that, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I have to go to bed now. Great stream, big hug to you Good night, Maggie. Good night. Um, mm -hmm. I think a remake of Thelma and Louise would be great, but cast Mickey Rourke and Axl Rose. Uh, <laughs> uh, one last and I'll stop. Who's better as a movie franchise? You don't have to stop, that's yeah, why we're that's here. That's why we're here. Who's better as a movie franchise? Halloween, Friday the 13th, or Nightmare on Elm Street? That's um, hard, because I only really saw the first couple. Of I think that you can perpetually... I, I think that... Uh, F Freddy... Uh, let, let allows himself for the most interesting. They don't always do that, but using the dreamscape, you can do more storytelling and visually than any of them, but they never really have gone that route yet. Um, of those franchises, I'd probably say Friday the 13th is my favorite. Um, just because I grew up loving tits and gore, mm -hmm. so, um, but obviously, like, the first Halloween is, like, an actual film, and mm -hmm. Halloween 3, obviously, I think is a, is a great sci-fi horror, uh, movie. That's fair. Mm -hmm. So I'm removing the cinnamon sugar from my hands. No, it's all, it's all good. From my hands. Um, the culinary mercenaries are, are, you think it would be, but it's the C, yeah, you can say. Mm -hmm. Um... The killer, mostly. Wait, the killer... Oh. Oh, the killer. Okay. Um, I mean, I always had a soft spot for Freddy Krueger until I found out. Until they made him a pedophile, yeah. 
<laughs> I thought it was hot. I was like, yeah, it's like right. you have because he, he's a child killer, right? In the original series, mm-hmm. they, there's allusions to the fact, but the Jackie Earl Haley one, the one just straight up like oh, did no. that shit. And I'm like, oh, wait, I don't yeah, know which that. would have made it would have been so much more interesting if he was falsely uh, right that burned could, alive. That could like, and be that's why I said when they, because then he's getting revenge on the kids who exactly. lied. You know, but instead they were just like, nope, he's bad. Nope, he's yeah, bad. Found also kills children. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. See, this just got filtered. Uh, it's got tits in it here. I'm, I've approved tit mouse. Yes. Um, hold on. If you like anti-jokes, Neil Hamburger, he's a character. Okay. Okay. Uh, love the tits in part five, and Friday is the correct answer. Okay. Friday the 13th, because there's better consistency. Nightmare in Halloween is too many garbage installments along, among low classics. Yeah. New, do you remember the Black Hole, Disney's first PG movie? Yeah, movie? man. I fucking love the Black that. Hole. Okay. Um, uh, the Joe, the producer guy I was working with, and I... Um, we, when we were in LA, we went to a retrospective of original props and artwork from the black hole. Cause we both are such big fans of that movie. Martin Landau's in that movie. It's got its own little R2-D2. Yeah, that. black hole's cool. I haven't seen it, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like how Gerald didn't even say, hey, Mets, have you seen it? She's like, I'm just going to show it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's back when Disney was, like, trying shit, like, Watcher in the Woods and the Black Cauldron. How about a groundskeeper, how about groundskeeper Willie he'll get you in your children's <laughs> dreams in a Scottish accent? God. <laughs> then when you when they get you, you're going to need a post, compost heap. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's your hand. I'm trying to... And then he's like, uh, a groundskeeper Willie. George Clinton. Parliament Funkadelic. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> they kill Willie... Mm-hmm. And then he comes back, and he's he's like, uh, he's like, we, Willie could come back at any time. He gets off a bus, and he's like, ooh, I'm gonna get you. And then he's like, he's like, oh wait, I left my gun on the bus. And then the bus <laughs> drives away. So he's like, Jason. <laughs> Newt, any posters you're hunting for? I mean, there's always ones that I really, really want, but I can't afford them right now, so I don't really look. Uh, you know, sometimes just to remind myself, like, oh, if I had money. I'll like go and look on eBay or like mm-hmm. there was a dude uh Friday night we went to the highway theater to go see scanners and there was a dude there who had like a ton of old folded movie posters. Okay. He had some good shit. But I was like, nope, if I look at these right now, I'm just gonna depress myself, so I just avoided That's it. That's fair. <laughs> um, I love your creep show poster. What's the best Romero film? Someone said Night of Living Dead. Uh Dawn is is brilliant. Dawn is probably the greatest independent movie of all time. That or Texas Chainsaw, I've said that before, it's based on Texas my mood. Texas Chainsaw, my beloved. Um, Dawn and Day tend to switch with me sometimes because as I've gotten older, the nihilism of mm. Day really resonates with me more. Day just suffers from the Ghostbusters 2 syndrome of having the worst score to a Ooh. movie. Like, the, the movie score is so bad. Oh, no. and, and it's such a strange contrast to dawn which is more of a comic book okay. you know and he has to tell the social commentary and stuff like that um but day just goes in such a different uh you know angle right but i love martin i i love even night riders i'm a big fan of uh bruiser with the misfits in it um i don't know george romero is a genius you know hell yeah um, Scanners is so good. Oh yeah, yeah. you got a, yep. a review that review coming, coming up this week. Yep. I learned the Cygnus model was broken when the crate fell on the way to storage. They sent it back to Disney, hoping they'd repair it, and they legit put it in a trash can. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I love the duck crawling scene in Simpsons with Willie. Grease me up, woman. <laughs> um, uh, it's a uh, lunch lady Doris. Do you have any grease? Yes. Yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman. He tears his shirt <laughs> off. And he's jacked. Relatable. And he's got a little tiny red like speedo on. He's crawling through the. <laughs> Make ray for Willie. I have a black cauldron poster. Thinking about selling it. Oh, nice. I rewatched Dawn of the Dead in the theater last October. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, I saw it in 3D. What movie posters are on your mind? Oh, like they're saying when you go to eBay. And oh, if I go, to, I don't know. I'm always, I don't know. I'm always looking weird stuff. I love double and triple feature posters, like stuff that only existed 
together at weird times mm -hmm. in different theaters. I have a whole bunch of those. Um, I don't know. I, I if I ever get the money again, I need to I need to buy back my Dracula versus Frankenstein poster. I sold it to make some money. Um, Do you know who? Like you know where that went? Then? Oh no, not at all. Oh, yeah. you mean buy it back? Like get another team, one? Yeah. yeah. Not actually. No, I know exactly who bought it. Walt Flanagan bought it from Clerks. Oh, okay. yeah, but. He ain't gonna part yeah, of it, not so I need to get another yeah, one. You have to find yeah. Because um, I went and filmed three episodes of Comic Book Man and neither of them aired. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that happens a lot, I'm gonna be honest. Um, best David Cronenberg film, The Fly Still Creeps Me Out. The Fly was like a little bit hotter than it had anywhere yeah. to be. I'm gonna be real. Maybe that was just like Jeff Goldblum's existence. But yeah. Like, the Fly was a little sexier than the it should be. I, lo I really like Rabbit. Rabbit doesn't get mm -hmm. enough credit. Uh, Marilyn Chambers in her only non-pornographic role is the lead of it. It's a very interesting take on the feminist take of vampirism. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And him basically, like, the movie was funded by the Canadian government because it was a tax shelter thing. Yeah. And he literally just made a movie making fun of the Canadian healthcare system. And the government had to pay for it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, no, uh, History of Violence is incredible. Eastern Promises is incredible. Um, Cronenberg's another one of those ones where even like when we're watching, we're watching, uh, scanners mm -hmm. and it's like, you could tell even in this little body horror movie that like this dude was on a different level than yeah. any of his contemporaries at that point. these scanners. And, and, you know, Lana and I talk, we're both hot for Michael Ironside of the movie, uh, cause Lana just met him at a convention and was oh, yeah. like, so like taken aback <laughs> by how like, you know, she was in love with him, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, no, I was like, dude, he's, he's another one. He's like, he's acting fucking circles around everyone else mm -hmm. in that movie. And see the review on Wednesday, but we're talking about how that movie is essentially like a computer age take on the story of Jesus and the devil. You know, it's very okay. interesting. All right. Hold on. Um, never watched the remake of day of the dead with Nick Cannon frog. I heard about it. Yeah. A nest double features I saw was the Indian in the cupboard and spices. Okay. Okay. All right. I liked that book Indian in the cupboard. I didn't. I didn't read the, the movie book. came out in ninety three, and all I really remember about it was the um his Star Wars toys come alive. Oh yeah. So yeah. Darth Vader's in it. Hell yeah. Um, dumb wrestling question. What's better, Iron Claw or the Wrestler? I actually haven't seen the Wrestler yet. Uh, I did see Iron Claw. It was very very good. It was they're very, both very sad. Uh, mm -hmm. they're. Both emotionally mm -hmm. uh, devastating. I can imagine. And coming <laughs> off of the Cronenberg thing, they are both body horror movies too because it's what a human being will put their mm -hmm. form through. Um, the Wrestler has a completely different vibe to mm -hmm. it though because where in, in Iron Claw, there's these people who were befell by... You know, not yeah, cursed, the but the family thing. Yeah. Whereas Randy the Ram in the Mickey Rourke plays is a dude who did this to himself. Yeah. And I really like that aspect of it. And there's just this beautiful scene with him and Evan Rachel Cook, uh, where she's his estranged daughter, and he's this old. He says he's like I'm an old broken down piece of meat and stuff like that. And he's 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 just it's him in that moment realizing just how much not he's only fucked up his own life mm -hmm. but he's fucked up his child's life too yeah. and it's so sad honestly that's like something i think about every so often is like we all know i don't want children yeah i do not ever want children mm -hmm. no thank you um i used to <laughs> so like way way back i was like oh yeah i'll have three kids like my parents did yeah and i got a little bit older i was like i'll have, I'll have like one kid mm -hmm. um then i got a little bit older i was like well maybe i'll adopt because i don't actually want to ever yeah. be pregnant now i'm like what if i just never you know yeah. Um, I mean, and, uh, which is so funny because the first time I told my dad I didn't want to have kids, mm -hmm. he was like, you'll change your mind when you get older. And I've only gotten more I don't yeah. have children as I've gotten older. Um, which is also weird because I've now hit the age where people think I have children and I'm like, what? And I'm like, wait, no, that's actually well, I'm married and has kids. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but like, then I'm like, oh, right. That's actually a reasonable question for a 27 year old mm -hmm. is that like, oh, do you have kids? Like, yeah. Oh, right. No, I don't. But that's not... Like, this isn't weird. This isn't a weird question. Yeah, yeah, Anyway, um... <laughs> so, like, that was something we were watching, uh... Who's Dark Side of the Ring? It may have been Luna Vachon's. Okay. Um, we were watching somebody's Dark Side of the Ring. Uh, and... They reference... 
I think it was her. It was a female wrestler, and we've only watched a couple of them, so it was either her or, like, I don't think it was Moolah, because yeah, that was did. mostly focused on, like, Moolah being an awful human yeah. being. Yeah. Um, but it may have, may have been somebody else. I don't remember. Anyway, it was about a female wrestler, and she had a kid, and I was like, oh my god, how the fuck are you balancing that? Yeah. And, like, the more I'm like, it's good that I don't want kids since I want to go into the industry, because I don't have, I'm not gonna have a family to fuck up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... I'm probably never going to get married. Mm. I'm never going to have kids. So, like, anything that I do is only fucking my own life. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, you know, if I randomly... Because that, that's kind of how I am anyway of, mm. like, spontaneously doing things. Um, like, uh, like going watching Skate Time USA. Yeah. If there was, like, you know, a wife or husband or whatever mm. waiting at home for me or kids, you know... I'd have to make sure I go home instead of, like, yeah. you know, because I've been like, oh, I'm coming home after the show. Yeah. Versus, like, no, actually, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go to Phoenixville. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go to Phoenixville. And... Right. Um, and, like, you know, I know that, like, wrestling has that vibe level where you got to travel all the time and, mm-hmm. like, you know, very much, like, on, at the drop of a hat, basically, like, be like, oh, maybe I'm available yeah. for this booking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, it's good that I'm not going to be fucking anybody else's life up. Like, it'll just be my own. My whole thing is I purposely plan on ending my my name with me to yeah, fuck that's my dad fair. over. But now I get, like, Christy's daughter constantly says to me, like, well, if you were my dad, and she keeps doing that thing about, like, how I could have been her dad, mm-hmm. and it's, like, weird to me because I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, you could have been my kid. Right. Like, that's kind of where we were in our relationship right before that. Of, like, having kids and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, you would have been yeah. my kid. I mean, yeah. obviously, that's not how genetics no, no, no. work. But, like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, in, that's In a slightly really alternate strange. universe. Like, so I said to her, I was yeah. like, you'd be a fucking lot shorter if you were my kid. Because <laughs> Christy was really short, too, mm-hmm. so, you know. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, sorry, looping back slightly. Mm-hmm. But apparently she was recently... Uh, Oh, species, not spices. Oh, okay. okay. And apparently recently she's been going through all of my exes and their associated people's Facebook pages. Oh. And I have something to tell you about someone who reached out to her. (sighs) Okay. Seems like we're going to have quite a conversation. 15-year-old. Oh, no. Oh, no. And her name isn't her name on Instagram or anything like that. And they, they were discovered by someone who... I used to be friends with, and they reached out to her. Mm-hmm. And that's what started the conversation and me being like, okay. Because again, this isn't my kid. Yeah. This is the kid of, of you know, my ex-girlfriend yeah, yeah, yeah. and my former friend. But I feel this level of, like, ownership on yeah, this kid and protection of this yeah, kid. Yeah, like protection. So no. I had to uh, reach out to a family member of this other person and say, hey, that's not cool. Fun. Yep. I don't know why people can't just be normal. <laughs> right? I don't, I don't understand why people can't just be It's fine. Again, all right. So, like, you're, how old are you? You're 27? Yes. Okay. I don't think it's weird that a 42-year-old talks to a 27-year-old. No, no, this isn't weird. I don't think it's weird that, like, like if it's not in a sexual mm-hmm. way, I don't think that it's weird if I talk to somebody who was in their early 20s. Mm-hmm. But what does a 40-year-old have to do with talking to a 15-year-old? If right. you're not my employee... Yeah, well, right, yeah. I mean, you know? That's, <laughs> where you're like, go sweep this theater. Yeah, like, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my God. No, I get what you're... Get what yeah, you're it, it actually, like, it really, like, upset me. Yeah. I wonder why. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I would watch Mets versus anybody videos. As the kids say, 100... Oh, my God. Yeah, that would be fun. Um... Rabbit the Fly, A History of Violence are my favorite Cronenberg films. Yeah, all good. Is Jeff Goldblum the one person you'd call daddy? He's got the vibe. Um, probably not. I'm very much against calling yeah. people that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, no, that, that's not my thing. Not not against where I tell other people not to, but, like, when people ask me to, I'm like, uh, no. You know, movie, <laughs> you know what more recent movie that Jeff Goldblum is absolutely wonderful in? What? Uh, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, my God, he's so, he's good, so in good in that. He's so good in that movie. He's so good in that movie. There's just so many little things. He's, he's like, you know, um, I'm, I'm thousands of years old, but on this planet I'm... And then he goes... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then she's him. trash. No, not trash. Have you been waiting this entire time to call him trash? Like <laughs> that movie, I, I did like that. Yeah, movie a lot. that also came out on the 
three year anniversary of my arrest, I think it was. All I remember is you brought somebody with you to the theater that night and I thought they were smoking. Yeah. yeah. Who the fuck was that? Because remember, I stopped the movie and kicked a bunch of people out. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck did I bring? I was that? some guy you were with at the time. Was I dating him or was it? I like... think it was just somebody you were hooking up with. Raymond Sean. Could have been. I don't know. Because he came to all my marbles. Because I went movies. into the bathroom and there was smoking. Mm-hmm. In, like, there was smoke coming out of the trash yeah, yeah, can. Yeah. And I, like, freaked the fuck out. Understandably. Yeah. I may have, I think that was Sean. And then people went into the because th- we were all in Theater 4. Mm-hmm. People went into Theater 3 where Andy yeah. and his son were, was who had uh, yeah. Hodgkin's disease. And we had to have the theater all cleaned out and ready so they could watch it by themselves. Right. Yeah, that night was a nightmare because then it I had was. to leave the theater at midnight. Yes, that was Sean that I brought that Yeah. Because he was like, does that mean me? And I'm like, no, you didn't fucking do anything. Yeah, I don't. Oh, no, wait. No, he thought he did something because someone was like on their phone or something mm-hmm. in front of us. Yeah. We're like talking the whole time. And he like told them to shut the fuck up or yeah. turn off the phone or wherever the fuck it was. Mm-hmm. And the guy like almost started getting into it with him. Mm-hmm. And that was like during the opening credits or whatever. So when you like kind of snapped and you were like, okay, because I think that's when you like put the cap on the man yeah, people yep. bring and like this, that, and the other thing. Mm-hmm. And so Sean was like, am I still good? And I'm like, yeah, yeah fine. He doesn't give a fuck about that. Yeah, and then I had to get out of there, and then I had to find nobody was open for a gas station, and I literally coasted yeah. into the airport parking lot. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay, David Cronenberg has a vision beyond his budget. That's unfortunate. Yes, yep. Who doesn't, though? Videodrome. All hail the new flesh. <laughs> Literally me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like Shivers and Dead Zone. I binge watched yeah. Dead Zone the series. Okay. Oh, with Anthony Michael Hall, yeah. Okay. The VHS case looked like the cupboard. The clamshell opening even had a keyhole. Oh, for Indian in the cupboard? That sounds cute. That's cool. Don't bring children into this evil, screwed up world. Right? There's so many reasons I don't want kids. Like, it's like a growing list at this mm-hmm. point, right? And that that's one of them is like, I didn't ask to be brought here. I would have preferred not to have been. Although now, like, I feel like I'm figuring it out. I'm, I'm mm. chilling. I'm vibing. But also, like, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. Especially because, okay. Especially because, like, mental illness predisposition is to some degree genetic. So, like, obviously mine isn't strictly genetic. Like, I had genetic predisposition and then things happen. Yeah. But, like, if I'm bringing a kid in this world who's almost guaranteed to at some point develop, like, a severe, uncurable mental illness like I have. Like, I don't want to put somebody through that. Like, it's different if I really wanted kids and then I found out that they had that. Like, then I'd be like, okay, like, you, like, we'll work through this together. But, like, if I'm starting off not wanting kids Mm. and then knowing that on top of that, any kid I have is probably going to try and take themselves out anyway. It's like, you know what I mean? But, like, like, that's one small reason in a long list of reasons the entire concept of being pregnant terrifies me. Uh, the it's idea like a, of dealing with small children in general terrifies me. Like, it's just all of it. I, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. I'm good the only, like, upside is I feel like I would raise a really fun child. Like, I feel like whoever I raised would end up being a really cool person. But, like, that isn't, like, that does not in any way outweigh all the other shit. Yeah. So I just have to hope that other people raise cool people, you know what I mean? Like, I was telling Fallon, Fallon was talking about her kids, uh, and um, I was saying, like, I would raise my kid to be, like, a Mennonite. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And they would be like, Dad, how come you're allowed to have, like, video games and air mm-hmm. conditioning? And I'd be like, sorry, guys, that's your religion. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Love Luna and Sherry. I, yes, Luna Vachon and Sherry Martell, my wives. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. Luna, I also, I love uh, her husband too, Gangrel, uh, David Heath. I love them both so much. They're like, I just, Mm -hmm. well, because Gangrel's the vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Luna, I mean, who? who, I don't, I I watch that one. I know, I love her. Um, people assume I have a kid every time I buy Hello Kitty merch. They're like, oh, is this for your daughter? I'm like, no, I just like Hello Kitty. And they pause and go, oh, it's Gerald. <laughs> I like, well, it's like, uh, the thing where it's like buying a toy is like, you know, is this for your son? And I'm like, yes. Yes. Oh my God. There's a, I, I know I don't talk, have I talked about my, I don't think I've talked about what my collection is on the channel. I know what it is. You know what it is. Every time I go to buy one, half the time, well, not every time, so yeah, half the time, they're like, oh, do you have a kid? Or like, how old's your kid? Mm-hmm. So the one time I bought something and the lady was like, oh, how old is your kid? I may have books. 
And I didn't want to completely lie and tell her I had a child, but like, I also didn't want to be like, oh, this is for me. So I was like, oh, my niece just turned four. Her name's so, Kaylee, and she has Down we, syndrome. <laughs> yeah. So like, when I, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, my niece just turned four. So when I went to pick up the, the collectible item, um, I, she had stuck like a whole bunch, because I was hoping, I was like, oh, maybe that's like out of the age range. Because yeah. I was like, I don't remember when, I don't know when I started reading, but I thought that four was too young. So I was like, okay, this makes it so like, you know, I don't, I don't know when in normal time is for children to start reading. I was definitely reading I, by four. I know that for a fact. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Well, I guess wrong, obviously, but I was Because I like, like really got into reading comic books. Mm -hmm. And I okay. push, 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 like... I made my parents help me learn how to read so I knew what the fuck was going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I think... Because I, I remember how I came up with four, but I was trying to aim for, like, this is probably not an age where she has books for... <laughs> She's like, jokes, jokes on you. Jokes on you, yeah. yeah. So when I went to pick it up, it had, like, a whole bunch of books stuck in it that I guess are appropriate for a four-year-old. So, hey, if anyone has a four-year-old <laughs> um, who wants some books... books with line pop, though. Definitely, yes. Um, yeah, I don't have any use for it. Um, one of my friends is trying to have a baby, but she's good. Uh, one of my coworkers just had a baby and is not interested in, in the books. Again, I keep forgetting that yeah. I can't, yeah, you can't move my knee me. properly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just have books for a four-year-old because I was too polite to be like, oh, no, thank you. Maybe um, I'll leave those around. That that might call, draw some attention. They're kept with the collectible. Although, so like, like to see my books for four year olds. God no. Um. So like at the very least, if someone finds them, they also find the collectible. And I can be like, ah, oh, you know what's so wild? Um, this lady thought that I have a four year old. <laughs> <laughs> so, Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? As you're pulling a gun out of the back. <laughs> Um, okay. In Iron Claw, things were bad, but not the same. I don't know. Both are interesting human stories. Yeah. yeah. I think that's essentially what you were mm -hmm. saying. Metz was born for the ring. Can tell the ring is their spirit animal. Thank you. Um, I do feel more and more like uh, that. The squared circle. The squared circle, yes. <laughs> um, like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm built, I'm built to be in wrestling. Like, mm -hmm. just, I don't know, everything... <laughs> Well, because, like, so unfortunately my entire, like, class, for lack of a better word, like, everyone at the at the factory knows that I'm, like, a pain junkie. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they don't know that I'm also sadistic. I don't think that's come across yet. But um, <laughs> they'll find out eventually. They'll learn. They'll learn. <laughs> um, they'll learn. Because we were doing promo practice uh, recently. I think it was on Tuesday. And um, when I went to cut a promo, I was, like, all meek and, like, because, you know, I'm, like, anxious and whatnot. Mm -hmm. The chair shot. Yes, I did. Um, yes, I did talk about the chair shot. Yeah, in the um, Mick Foley video. Yeah. And uh, I did play the video for Newt with audio on. With audio, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> You sure they want this? Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, no, what are you doing? It, no, I literally asked for it. And, uh, me on the ground. I literally asked for it. No, it's... I gotta imagine you're the, that third party walking in being like... I would just back away and just pretend I never you saw it. You can see a bunch of people in the corner, like, just like, what the fuck? I like the people who scatter when they realize they're mm -hmm. being filmed. Yeah. Well, because everyone's saying, like, get out of frame, get out of frame. Yeah, it's like, I don't have Tuesday off to go to court. I'm going to get out of this. <laughs> right? But, um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, but I went to cut this promo, right? And I was, like, all meek at first. And then, like, as it went on, I was like, see, the thing is, is you don't know what I'm capable of. Like, you don't know what I'm willing to do. And it's like... <laughs> Like, I know that just seemed, like, generic I'll be horrifying talk, about that. Like, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I'm like... I'm I don't like, see that as a threat. But I would never... I would never hurt anybody no, like that. Well, She's course. so sweet, and I love her. Um, Maybe that's the real problem. I'm gonna have trouble getting sadistic with everyone I train with because I like them. Yeah. Um, I have to, I'm gonna have to branch out, and then I'll be able to do, like, that and shit. So instead of me being like, oh, I don't know. Like, I, you were so nice to me the other day. I don't want to... It'll just be like, oh, I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You need to have, like, facial blindness on these people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. The face blindness will mm -hmm. help in the long run. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I don't know you. Thunk. It's yeah. like, no, wait, oh, what the fuck? I, I gave you so parking nice money. You. Yeah, like, <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> um, How do you guys feel about Spacey coming back? <laughs> He's there right, with that Hitman movie where he plays the same character in House of Cards. He's back. Uh, 
Yeah, he was a guest at a con. Oh. And I was just like, ugh. Uh, I like, don't know if I would. No, I was that. like, I don't think that's a good idea mm-hmm. as well. No, cons tend to have children in them, don't they? Well, I don't know if it was... Well, I mean, so it was not as much kids. It was much, like, more young men that he was, like, very inappropriate oh, towards. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought it was young male children. That's all. I don't no, know. I, don't I, guess think, I, I don't think... No, 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 like... The director okay. of X Men was like young boys. Okay. This was like dudes in their like late teens, early twenties. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still not great. Yeah, not yeah. But it was more so it was like a, an abusive. I, I, yeah. yeah. It was more an abusive thing than like yeah. me picturing small children. I got. I get mm-hmm. what you're saying. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's that's somehow worse for a con specifically. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's like they're because they're trying to court. Negative attention is just attention at that point, you know. That's not the case. I it's know. Fine. Um, well, okay, how do we feel about it? Not great. No, not at answer. all. I was like, I wouldn't go to that con. I get that, dude. That's how I feel about my best friend's little brother's girlfriend. Oh, the protective. One. Yeah, 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 yep. Um, I feel like Ram was hopeless. And, oh, back to the wrestler. Mm. I feel like Ram was hopeless and just didn't know what to live for outside the ring. So yeah. sad, but Iron Claw, believe it or not, had a good family message in the subtext. At least. I don't think it's in the subtext. It's literally what the fucking final the scene is about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I feel like that was pretty That was pretty clear. Um, no, we should definitely kind of watch The Wrestler. It's, it's a yeah, very I do sad see it. movie. I keep being reminded of it because when, we're, when I'm in Gorilla in mm. the back, so... um. Or at, at the Monster Factory, uh, in the back where we're like, oh, have it. yeah, so. where the we do the music and like the smoke and everything, and um, there is a poster for the wrestler because I guess my coach is actually in the movie. Yeah, they filmed uh, a part of it there because yeah. the Blue Meanie's in the movie. Yes, and um, so the poster's there. So every time I walk back there, I'm like, hey, I need to watch that. I need to watch it. like three or four times a week. I'm just like, hey, I need to watch. <laughs> I have the fighter. I don't know where the I thought I had okay. the wrestler. Um, but yeah, no, Iron Claw, Iron Claw, I think, had a good, had a good ending, mm-hmm. good family message. I am being, like, recommended, I think, one of the, like, one of the future, like, the current Fawn Eric's, I don't know how to wear this, uh, on Facebook, it keeps telling me to add him as a friend, I'm like, I don't feel comfortable doing that because yeah. I do not know him. Um, I think I've just been adding so many wrestlers, it's starting to recommend me, like, Mike Quackenbush, and, like, <laughs> yeah, I know, right, what a name. Um, and like, you know, one of the fun Eric's and I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable requesting these people as friends. I don't know them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I love Goldblum and Thor Ragnarok. Uh, congrats on the revolution. Go us. After all, let's remember you can't have a revolution without a dictator. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goldblum is king. Best movie besides Earth Girls. Have it easy. Quite lol. Earth Girls are easy, yeah. <laughs> Beat the meat with a chair. Oh, with the chair <laughs> shot. Hey, man. Uh... Big fan, big fan of the chair shot situation. Um, please don't die. Right, Earth thanks. Girls Are Easy with Julie Brown, whom I just met at an art show in New York City this week. That was pretty neat. Ooh, Jim Carrey's in that movie, and David Allen Greer's in that movie, and Jim, uh, Gina Davis is in that movie. Okay, in regards to Kevin Spacey, cheers, I guess. He didn't disappear them in any way. Sure. Oh, you mean like how the Boy Scouts are lost in the desert? Yeah, in the, in the med- desert. They wandered out <laughs> the desert in Mexico, and they were never seen again. Uh, I said besides, well, we all know that's the best. Okay, so aside but aside from Earth Girls Are Easy, what's the best? Are you saying best Goldblum movie or, like, just best movie in general? Yeah, like, of any genre? I don't know. Like... It just says best movie besides Earth Girls Have It Easy, but it's uh, Goldblum is King, then best movie. So I assume, yeah, best Goldblum movie. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the Fly is incredible, and I don't know, he's been in so many fucking good movies over the years. You can take chat. I sure, require I'll more liquid. Chat. You guys have been left with Newt. Um, well, yes, and Goldblum. Uh, I don't know, like, I, I genuinely, like, he's one of those actors, too, who's had a whole resurgence. Like, I really, really like him in, um... The Life Aquatic, uh, where he's like the he's the the oceanographer who's getting all of the uh, the grant money, and um, he's Bill Murray's ex wife's ex husband, and it and it's talking about like why their relationship didn't work, and he goes, I can understand why we didn't work. I'm half a fag, and Bill Murray goes, <laughs> Me too. And, and Bill Murray goes, everyone is honestly, and he's just like that's his. <laughs> <laughs> everyone is honestly. Sorry, I'm a bit cold. Although I finally forgot my... Yeah. 
video on tomorrow if one wants to make it. Oh my god, give me back the chat if you're not going to well, watch it. Well, I'm reading it that, so I can, I don't read things out loud. I like, you know, but I like we're interacting with people. They, they get what they get with me. Oh my god. You get what you get, you like it. Alright, um, alrighty, I finally get to visit my three-year-old tomorrow after four months of waiting for this fever dream to be over. Excited to see him and I want to be on time, so with that, have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Have fun with, uh, have fun with the, the small one. Oh, a month. Oh, my bad, a month. Okay. Mm. Yes, enjoy, enjoy interacting with, with your son. I'm mm. excited for you. Um, Hideaway. Uh, Hideaway's a good one. Okay. With Thanks. Alicia Silverstone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David Cronenberg should have acted more as Roland Nightbreed was cool. Yeah, Decker in that one. Yep. Best Western movie, Tombstone or The Unforgiven? I haven't seen Unforgiven, but Tombstone. Tombstone is one of my favorite movies of all I time. I love that movie. Uh, and then I love all the the uh, spaghetti westerns. I love the, mm -hmm. the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, and A Few More Dollars, and Hang 'Em High, and all those movies. All the you know. Is Tombstone the one where Val Kilmer has tuberculosis? tuberculosis? Yeah. And I thought he was really hot, and then Dad was like, he doesn't always look like that. I'll be a huckleberry. Look, <laughs> apparently nothing I like more than a sickly dude. Yeah, like, like a good a good dude with some tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just Google what he looks. No, not Valvinus, God. Oh yeah, he really doesn't look like that normally. I love me a good sweaty dick. A sweaty pale dick. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh my god. This is a very interesting looking man. That yeah, movie. what the hell? He looks so normal when he doesn't have tuberculosis. That's, That's yeah, uh, him as Bruce Batman Wayne, looks... yeah. Yeah, he looks so normal when he doesn't have tuberculosis. He's apparently a real dick back in the day. <laughs> That's what I heard. Like, he's a real asshole. Hmm. Interesting. Now I'm just looking at pictures of Al Kilmer. I'll mm -hmm. come back. <laughs> in this Jim Morrison mm -hmm. in the Doors movie. I haven't seen the... Wow, rude. My phone just, like, refreshed and was, like, sick. Like, ah, uh, see ya. Um, please stop giving me political ads, please. I've only asked for very, like, right-leaning ads to be on our videos, you know. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make money off the MAGA crowd. Yeah. Anyway. It's a real right-winger. I'm gonna sell some t-shirts. Uh, new, don't try and dom. You're not fooling anyone. What? <laughs> oh, my God. That was Gerald. Oh, okay. I was like... <laughs> Are you talking in the sense that uh, his biggest kink is tit-fucking? <laughs> Um, sick dying men lol. Like, okay, not actually, but like, I, I have a few different types. We've been over this, I think. But, um, definitely there is a, a quiet subsection of, uh, of like really sickly looking dudes. Cause I, I really liked, um, was it Christian Bale on the machine? No, stop. <laughs> um, looking like way fucked I up. I lean out of frame when I come back, I have a saline IV. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where the fuck did he keep yeah, that? Right? <laughs> Um, no, like, look, I've got, I've got a few different subsections of, mm. of types, uh, but, like... The sloth guy tied to the bed for a year and seven. Huh? Have you seen seven? No, I haven't. Oh my god, you've never seen I seven? I know! <laughs> Another Kevin Spacey movie. Yes, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Um, What's in the on. box? Sloth. Seven. Do you want to maybe actually search instead of just closing it? No? I love the, the doctor's line. He's like, uh, he's like, if I, if I, uh, if I shined a flashlight in his eyes right now, he would die of shock because that man's been tortured more than anyone ever could and he still has hell to look forward to. Okay, okay, don't, don't look at that mess. Don't, okay. you need to focus. Okay, um, so seven movie. So put S-E. Seven oh, yeah, with the... E N. So the V is actually a seven. Huh? Is this it? No. Wait. Sloth victim. Yes. Peter Victor Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, well, no, I'm gonna find him. I'm not gonna find him attractive if he's a fucking child molester. Well, yeah. But I mean just because he's a he's a living skeleton tied to oh, a yeah, bed. I do kinda like that yeah. look. That's a good look. <laughs> Uh, so fucked but also, up. Also, you know, deserves it. They he's... think he's like a wax figure and there's <laughs> all these those Pine. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, God. all the pine, oh, the pine things. Scented. Yeah, and yeah. And then like the car the, the, SWAT, the SWAT guy leans over the bed to like see mm -hmm. what it is, and then he starts like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> uh, apparently, the uh, the result was so ch uh, the results for the makeup were so chilling that the actor didn't have to fake being frightened by his jump in the first yeah. Day. Yep. 
That's crazy. I do have to see that. Dude, that Ooh. movie is. That's a, so I like this aesthetic in general. Well, yeah, it's an American yeah. Giallo, basically. Mm. Um, no, that movie is incredible. Oh, yeah, I still have to see it. Why seven sloth victim was okay? That's a theory. Uh, anyway, <laughs> stop. YouTube keeps fucking refreshing every time I oh, walk God. away. He made me put that thing on me. He he made me fuck her. Oh God, he put a, he put a gun in my mouth and he told me to fuck her. What? <laughs> Lust is this thing he has um, made that's basically a knife dick, and he has him fuck a prostitute to death. Oh. And then they find the dude, and he's like in complete fucking shock. Oh, okay. It's messed up. Okay. I One like dude, that. they have him eat until his stomach explodes. Ooh. Um, I've already seen that on uh, Thousand Ways to Die. Yeah. Um, paint your wagon red. There, now we can be friends again. Wait, what's that in reference to? <laughs> Do you think that Apple not allowing a bad guy to use an iPhone is a giveaway? Uh, in movies and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, Maybe. That was a king. Who's the best leading man in 2024? I don't know. In movies right now? Yeah. It's where the knife strap on is from. Meth, yeah. I showed you the knife. Mm. Oh, okay. I guess, like, dudes who are, like, le- who's the leading man right now? I don't know. Jason Tim- Moe, I Timothy guess. Timothy Chalamon. Oh, yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Uh, who else is the leading man? Well, I only man? care about Bones and All. Because <laughs> um, he plays a fucking cannibal. Austin Butler has screen pre- I mean, you- but you still have Brad Pitt. Yeah, you know, you still have Leonardo right. DiCaprio. Mm. Um, I don't know who's he, who's even in movies anymore. Like know. you know, I've I'm, never known actors. Yeah, it's true. Unless I obsess over them. Mm-hmm. Tombstone is way more quotable than Unforgiven. That's yeah. Fair. Doom Part Two was fucking good. Good, but here TC was never a leading man in my eyes till Part Two. Oh, Chalamet. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. That was said before we. Because uh, uh, I do, I lo- I liked him as Willy Wonka. I did too, actually. Yeah. That, was, that was good. Um, that movie, that review is so interesting because that was when we had our K&N. Yeah. And, um, oh wait, no, that's not the one that I looked visibly frustrated with you guys. Which one was that? There's one where if you watch it towards the end, I'm getting, like, annoyed with both of you. I don't remember what movie it is. Is it Indiana Jones? Which is the one where I'm sitting behind you guys? No, I think that was... Um, Lily Wonka, where I'm sitting behind you guys, and then okay. me and Jones, I'm sitting in the front. I was participating in that when I was. I don't remember, back. yeah. Um, although I did at one point turn to Arcane and I was like, um, "What the fuck did I say?" It was like, "Can't you have any whimsy for once?" Oh or yeah, like yeah, that, that was in Lily Wonka. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because he was just being like intentionally salty no, about it, so annoying. and I was just like, "Really? Like you weren't like taken aback by mm-hmm. the the the." The majesty yeah, of but it was the same way fucking Indiana Jones. They like or they like Indiana Jones, mm-hmm. and was still like, oh well, that wouldn't have worked. I'm like, yeah, that's. It doesn't have to work. It's an adventure now. movie. Yeah, exactly. Have fun with it. I think that was an Indiana Jones the one where I said, "Can you like yeah. have for once?" Because like I was because at that point I already sat through being annoyed that they were being so negative about Willy Wonka. Yeah. Which I didn't even love Willy Wonka all that much. Like I don't like musicals. I. Like, yes, the visuals yeah. are... Impre- I mean, mm-hmm. but fucking you guys can see them. Yeah. Like, I didn't love it. Um, but, like, I still, really did, like, though. chill. Like, yes. I really enjoyed it. And that's fine. Like, we have different yeah. opinions on movies. But, um, yeah, yeah, it was just, like, it, no. You have to like exactly what I love. Okay. Movie. Guys, I love Willy Wonka. Exactly. It's so good. <laughs> you have to play the character. <laughs> right? But, um, no, like, I, I had already sat through their negativity with Willy Wonka, yeah. and then when we went to go watch Indiana Jones, like, didn't think they could possibly be negative about it because yeah, it's like a classic. Yeah, because the movie's 40 years old. Well, yeah, that too. And then they're like, oh, well, the, the, it was specifically, it mentioned the, um, the, the. The minecart yeah, race? No, not um, the minecart race, the yellow floaty Oh, thing. okay, yeah. The boat the or raft, whatever. Yeah, yeah the raft, mm-hmm. thank you. And, like, that just, like. That snapped something in me. I was like, for the love of fucking God. <laughs> like, you're not... Yeah, it's... Not, the mm-hmm. laws of physics don't really matter in an Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, it's not the point. We're coming off a movie where the literal power of God melted a fucking dude's Exactly! Face it's like, like, oh my God, it'll be fine, I promise. <laughs> and, like, also, the obsession with hyper-realism in movies is slightly more recent. Yeah. So, like, back... Like, at the time that Indiana Jones was made, it they weren't... Thinking about no, there like, were, internet there movie were critics. flights of fancy. Yeah, because you, know? you know that's the concept of entertainment. It's fine. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, it's, I, and they're based on the nineteen thirties 
cereals. Like, it's not mm-hmm. supposed to be... Right. Like, if in reality, Indiana Jones' face from getting punched all those times right. would look like fucking mashed potatoes. Right, we talked about know? that in review, too. But it's just like, <laughs> yeah, they, they got on my nerves. And then I was like, well, that's fine. Like, we can get through that. Like, yeah. that won't necessarily be, like, a friendship ender. And then they mm. fucking walk in the air. Well, yeah. Anyways, I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, that was frustrating, though, because, like... I know you guys didn't really seem to be a huge fan of Arcane, but, like, back in the day, I was really good friends with them, yeah. so, like, I don't understand what the hell happened, and it's, honestly, I guess it's fine, but... Yeah, they, they made me kind of uncomfortable. That's fair, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. here and the, the theory and stuff like that, me being, like... Mm. Yeah, like, and I knew that they had, like, an off-putting vibe, but I was like, yeah. well, so do I, but, like, it's different. Yeah. So, um... Seven is so fucking good. I know, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> Seven is, is fantastic. Kevin Spacey, Usual Suspects, with, of course. Yep. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the good too. Another good flick he was in. Best Fincher film. Seven is too fucking good. <laughs> he said that again. But my favorite Fincher film is actually Zodiac. I think Zodiac is an underappreciated masterpiece. Okay. Oh, wait, I did actually like that. I think it's so Zodiac. good. It's very, very good. Uh, Grace Book said, Newt! With a million exclamation points. Hello. So hello. Um... Oh yeah, I showed you the knife strap on. Okay, Seven is a classic. Any of you guys watched Shogun yet? Great show. I haven't, but they were talking about it at work the other day, and uh, everybody has had nothing but good things to say about it. Hold on, now I'm just gonna look up this strap on again because I know that <laughs> I know that Joe showed it to me. Like I do trust that. I'm yeah. just like, I don't remember what it looks like. Hold on. Uh, Nobody knife, came in here with the, with the package. Knife the strap. Everyone comes in. I don't want to watch the whole scene because I want to. <laughs> and it's the dude. <laughs> Look at him, he's so upset. Yeah, and that's the dude from. Um, he was in Daredevil. He was in. Um... <gasps> Is that it? Yes. Yeah, that dude was in a bunch of stuff. He was on uh, ER. He was on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Oh, I I watched like every episode. He was the guy with the. He was the schizophrenic guy who kidnapped his son. Yes, that. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. <laughs> and uh, the, it's, but this movie you'll especially like because Trent Reznor is like uh, 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 closer um, or th- you know all that downward spiral stuff uh-huh. is the opening title sequence, and it's like it's really fucking crazy. Okay. I would not seen this movie. And yet. then all of the ones that he remastered, all that he redid for um, uh, for David Bowie at the time mm-hmm. are the end credit music, Ooh, the Heart's gorgeous. Filthy Lesson. Yeah. Um, and the credits roll backwards. Okay. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. There are no movie stars nowadays. That's fair. No, um, well, I think the the last movie star is... Oh, wow. It was listening. For, okay. The the Max gets, it just showed the Willy Wonka. Oh, okay. Because I had open YouTube again. It's mm-hmm. giving me ads. I think the last real movie star is Tom Cruise. And he's That's a little fair. weirdo, but he is the last movie star. Yeah. Someone said, Tem- or Gerald said Temple of Doom. Yes, that was the mm-hmm. Indiana Jones movie we watched. But yeah, I think that was where, and I don't think that was during the review. I think that was when we were watching a movie or shortly thereafter, and they were complaining about that, and I was just like, can you just have some fucking Yeah, movie? can you not complain about Indiana yeah. Jones and the Temple of Doom? Like, And like, it was just, I, I think it was also wearing on me in general, because like, um, uh, obviously we were friends, you know, several years ago, but mm-hmm. when we reconnected, um, they were really really on this one guy who I guess is a, a locale or whatever. Yeah. Um, in, like, to be fair, like, this guy does suck. Like, the, the guy who was, like, her obsessing over is a pedophile and whatnot. He was, like, mm. constantly talking about it. And I was like, I don't care about this guy. Because he reached out I to don't. me <laughs> as well about coming to do, like, a podcast. Yeah, yeah, Because he was a dude who worked with Screenway. Oh, okay, did yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Okay. Um, and he really wanted me to, like, talk about it. I was like, I know the name, but I don't know who this person is. Right. Um, and, like, I just don't, like, I'm not going to give this yeah. guy more attention. And I didn't know, and again, I don't know bringing people into my apartment. Mm-hmm. Like, Gerald's a good person. Yeah, obviously. But, like, I don't know bringing these people into my apartment who I can trust. Yeah, you know, that I'm, kind of I'm stuff. sorry. I just yeah, said you I know. can trust this person. Yeah. But, um, that's not the case, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I'm far more, like, I'll be open and talk about shit, but I'm far more guarded, like, with inviting people into my space. Yeah, that's fair. You know? Um, but yeah, I was just like, oh, yeah. Because he at Race was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? And he's like, you're just gonna, like, and I'm like, it's fine, they're Mets' friend. Yeah. But Race was like, how, like, how do you know this person's not, like, a Reddit person or something like that, you know? Yeah. That I mean, that... that Gerald was, like, telling stories oh about us. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gerald, Gerald, the tell-all tale of, you know, Newt's apartment. 
Okay. Um. Hold on. Mets and Newt, who plays you in the movie about your lives? Oh, I have no idea. Um. I'll be a uh, half CGI, half puppet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who do you think could successfully play me? In a um, movie. You know so many more actors than I do. Who could play you in a movie? Hmm. hmm. I'll have to I think mean, about I'm very it. indirectly related to Marilyn Monroe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll have to I think would, about that. Who that. could play you in a movie? Um, That's fair. You're putting like more thought into it than I was. I am because I'm trying to think that. of like a good one, mm-hmm. and I can't. I, I don't know. I have to think about that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, it's sad. I'll just have to watch performances, not be not BS acting from modern film. Mm-hmm. Sure. I love Mark Ruffalo in Zodiac. Oh my God, right? It's great. Yeah. I love Zodiac. My mom actually asked past student advanced screening. It was so good. He. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. and yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal, the guy who plays Roger Rabbit uh, in that fucking scene where he goes to the projectionist's house. And they're down in the basement, and, and they you hear someone moving around upstairs. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God. And then the use of the hurdy-gurdy yeah. man is the theme yeah. song. Oh, God. And then That's how, insane. like, they li- they literally rebuilt that era San Francisco mm-hmm. in a computer. Uh, and I was like, this is brilliant, you right? know? Um, Little things like even, I love that because people know uh, Fincher for Seven, they expected yeah. that to be this. But it was more about the procedural aspect of mm-hmm. it, and I liked which how, I loved. Mm-hmm. which yeah, because and it's so true to the books mm-hmm. um, as well about the Zodiac. But I love when he he goes to the screening of um, Dirty Harry, mm-hmm. which is has uh, the villain that's supposed to be like the Zodiac killer, and you have that juxtaposition between the police work and the Hollywood version of it yeah. in this Hollywood movie directed by a guy who made a more sensational serial right. killer. It's a great, like, you know, layers. Yeah. Big fan of that. Zodiac is really good. RGG gave an amazing performance. Yeah. So good overall. New with the real info. You can watch it with me to make up for seeing the melting orgy without me. Okay, sure. I'm sorry. I didn't know that that's what I was going to be seeing. <laughs> um, I just, you know, flatly was like, oh, you'd really like this. Which, he was right. Um, but I brought it up first. Yeah, you brought it up. And then I forgot what it was called. Gerald brought it up. Then I forgot what it was called. And then fucking Flatley was like, you'd love Fall of the House of Usher. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, that's neat. I've heard a bit about it, but I don't actually know anything about it. Um, he was like, hold on, I gotta show you this one scene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that independently three different people were like, you'd really like the, the orgy scene where they all die. The melting orgy <laughs> all melt scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn. I would like that. I would like that. Um, I asked ChatGPT how would Indiana Jones be if he was an overweight drunk womanizer? It stated it would be a shock and darkly comedic but questionable hero. <laughs> Anti-hero adventure film. Okay. Jack Black as Indiana Jones. Yep. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, didn't Mets have to move their car at one? Yes, I have to move oh, my shit. car in two minutes. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll be... Yeah. Zodiac is really good. Do you have favorite tales from the crypt? Okay, I'll let you talk okay. about that while I... Yeah, uh, and I'll, 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 no, I'll read it off here. No, it's fine. Okay. I have another phone. Okay. I mean, it's not connected to anything right now, but... Um, let's see. Uh, do I have a favorite Tales from the Crypt episode? Um, uh, a favorite melting orgy scene? Society. Yes, society is great. Uh, effects by Screaming Mad George. Um, and, uh, yeah, Tales from the Crypt episode. What's my favorite Tales from the Crypt episode? Um, maybe... Te- uh, terror TV or terror on TV, the one where Morton Downey Jr. goes into the murder house and it's like a and um, like it turns out there are ghosts in there. That was a fucked up episode. Um, Yellow, which was a non horror episode where uh, um, the guy was a coward in um, in World War One, and his father says you're gonna stand up in front of the firing squad. But you're not going to get killed. Um, they're going to like make sure that you don't. And then he does get killed, but it was also his father can prove he's not a coward. The one with Brad Pitt was uh, was about a drag racer. And that was a Two-Fisted Tale episode, not a Tales from the Crypt one. Because um, t- Brad Pitt was also in an uh, 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 episode of Freddy's Nightmares as well. Gets me because it's related to my life. Oh, all right. Yeah, there's so many good Tales from the Crypt episodes. 
Uh, what about the Tales from the Crypt weird spinoff of the 90s? The HBO one, um, Perversions of Science, was what that one was called, I think. Uh, well, I remember Tales from the Crypt Keeper, and then there was a Tales from the Crypt game show, uh, which was sort of like Legends of the Hidden Temple as well. I remember that. I watched a live taping of the game show at Great Adventure for Halloween one time. Dan Aykroyd is... Yeah, that, those episodes were, like, jam-packed with fucking actors, man. Um, there's so many ones that had, like, you know, like, Schwarzenegger's in an episode, Tom Hanks is in an episode. Um, that, that show really... Demi Moore, Joe Pesci. Uh, that, that series really attracted, like, top talent because you had... Um, you, you know, you had Joel Silver as a producer, you had, um, uh, the director of Superman, uh, doing it, the Reluctant Vampire one with Malcolm McDowell, yep, uh, the one with Meatloaf and Christopher Reeves with the Cannibal one, that was good, um, I got, uh, it's on my bookshelf somewhere, I have an entire list of, uh, the Cannibal Diner one, yeah, um, there's the one where the kid's adopted and he's a werewolf and his parents are uh, his adopted parents are vampires. Uh, there's the one with Zach Galligan where he's a um, uh, he he goes to learn with a puppeteer but he's cheating on the guy's wife. Nothing but trouble. Yeah, I love nothing but trouble. We've talked about that one uh, last time I streamed. I think and it's like the last time that they were like, oh yeah, we'll give Dan Aykroyd a bunch of money to make something, and he's like, I'm gonna make this. Giant babies, and I'm gonna have a dick nose as an old man, and uh, uh, the, the uh, Tupac and um, and fucking uh, Digital Underground are gonna show up. The lawyer in hell, um, uh, because there's also there was the one, um, the mom from Home Alone's in that episode where uh, she's in that small town. Um, that's a fucked up Tales from the Crypt episode. Yeah, Schwarzenegger did the one with um, the old man from uh, from Puppet, the first Puppet Master, and uh, the guy is like uh, getting new body parts, and uh, it was um, it was John Travolta's wife in that one. Yeah, because M Night Shyamalan was gonna was gonna um, was gonna handle the reboot of it, and it never happened. It was gonna be on TNT. And then there was one with, like, uh, Patricia Arquette, and she's, like, in love with a scarecrow. Um, and the old man, who's, like, her stepdad, is the, is the baseball player from uh, Major League, dresses up as the scarecrow. And it makes the wife jealous, so she stabs the scarecrow, but the guy is in the outfit. <laughs> What's this? Tales from the Crypt. Oh, okay. I'm stealing your... My blanket? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see if I have the magazine here. Because the magazine has all the episodes in it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Elvira had, like, just a little bit of her ass sitting on it. Mm -hmm. So I, <laughs> I went and I grabbed it and I went, yoink. And she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all I do is sleep all day. How like, dare protested you? just a smidge. Mm -hmm. She's like, Meh. Whatever, she'll yeah. get over it. It's cold out there. Yeah. <laughs> not a fan. I'm not wearing enough pants for this. Pants? Did I say it like that? I'm not God. wearing enough pants. <laughs> okay. I gotta find the Ooh. crypt book. Oh, displeasure. Ah, uh -huh, I, I don't like the cold, guys. I don't. So, when Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight came out to theaters, the theater I went to had a promotional magazine that had it, um, so this is about, it's from Fangoria, so it's about the making of the movie, when the fucking dude oh, gets yeah. punched through the face. Nice. Uh, the best Billy Zane movie ever, he's incredible in this movie. Um, Jada Pinkett Smith, before she was a fucking crazy person. So the whole history of Tales from the Crypt. Um, the comics it's based on... 1970s movie the pilot episode with the killer santa claus is fucking great mm -hmm. or the one with um the mom from back to the future 
she's a prostitute and she wants to like get out of her life so she make the she goes to this pawn shop and the guy makes a plaster cast of her face mm -hmm. and her life improves but like now like she's getting older looking okay. but the face isn't so she kills okay. the guy and steals the thing and then she drops it so now she's stuck that way okay the one episode that used to really make me uncomfortable when I was a kid was um, this, uh, this like, uh, funeral home in, like, the hood, and this boy who's uh, the nephew of the funeral director gets sent to live there, and the, the uncle is, like, really, really abusive towards him, mm -hmm. and then, like, uh, he, he orders a coffin, and he says it's the wrong size, so he, uh, he blames the kid, so he pushes him down the steps and breaks his neck. Oh. And then, like, he buries him in that coffin. He cuts his feet off because it's too short. And then, like, the ghost of the kid comes back, but he's, like, on the crutches. And it's, like, but that episode used to really make me uncomfortable because that kid didn't do anything wrong. It used to, like, make me, yeah. like, really sad. That's fair. I gotta watch Tales from the Crypt. Oh, it was great. And then, um... The, uh, the, uh, yeah, this was, I remember this one, The Undertaker's, uh, where, uh, the kids break into the funeral home because they think that the, the Undertaker is, like, intentionally killing people, okay. and it was fucking, it's the kid who was in Indiana Jones, that he was short round yeah. in Indiana Jones. Oh, I loved this show when I was growing mm -hmm. up. Um, one where, uh, Tim, Tim Curry plays, like, five different characters. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zach Galifin from uh, from um, Gremlins is in one of them, and then they made a cartoon out of it. Yeah, so I I was like, I just thought this was the coolest fucking magazine when I was a kid because That's I was super like, cool, yeah. you know, hell yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. I've had this on my bookshelf for like since 1995 when this movie hell came yeah. out. <laughs> Um, Dan Aykroyd was amazing in Yellow. Yep. The Reluctant Vampire is good too, as Malcolm McDowell. Mm hmm Cannibal Dinner Diner? Dinner? Yep. Was my favorite. Speaking of Dan Aykroyd, Nothing But Trouble was pretty disturbing. Yeah, we were talking about this one, yep. While You're in Hell. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a fan of Tales and would direct that episode. Mm -hmm. I recommend looking up how to spell his last name, because it's not that. <laughs> um, it's, that's not No, not that's correct. not how you spell um, it. I know they wanted to reboot it, but there are issues with who actually has the rights, I guess. Yeah. The opening with no CG. Favorite Stanley Kubrick film. Those are great episodes. Uh, favorite Stanley Kubrick movie? Um, man, I gotta go... I gotta go Eyes Wide Shut. Mm -hmm. I, the, I'm, I find something new and fascinating about that movie every time I see it. I would say second would be The Shining, mm -hmm. third would be 2001. Okay. I haven't seen 2001. Or Eyes Wide Shut, but I think oh, it's really? Um One of my favorite episodes was the Steve Buscemi of They Get Disease where they start falling apart. Yeah, with, with it was also story. with um, uh, Roger Daltrey from The Who, the lead singer of The Who, is uh, the lead of that episode. Okay. Amber Grease is, that, is the name of that episode. Okay, ooh, what did I do? All right. There we go. Clockwork Orange, though. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, let me recalculate that. <laughs> Clockwork Orange would be number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, Tales from the Crypt is so fucking good. The last season where they go after the old man's money is great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm from San Antonio. Well, the very I'm last like... episode ever was animated. It was uh, oh, yeah? Three Little Pigs, but it was, like, super gory. Hell yeah. yeah. You gotta go all out with the gore for mm -hmm. animated. Um... I'm from San Antonio, that same tortilla blanket. I think this is the one that Sparkle Scarzella sent me as a gift, me. yeah. Um, I think it's the first of the last season. That's my first movie, Little Demon Night Forever. That's mm -hmm. classic. Okay. We're caught up. But. Yeah, Billy Zane is so good in Demon Night. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Hey Man, Nice Shot is the first song oh. on the soundtrack for that one. Yep. Why are we talking about that song recently? Oh, because it was on my playlist. Yeah. And some, some people, people thought it was about Kirk Cobain. And some people thought it was about Bud Dwyer. It is. No, I know that, but mm -hmm. like, there's always that conversation about the two mm -hmm. on who it was about. Mm -hmm. Do you know who the lead singer of 
that band's brother is? Mm -mm. The T-1000. Oh. Yep. Okay. Or Peacemaker's dad. <laughs> Peacemaker's yeah. racist dad. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Billy is king and that track is amazing. Yeah. Um. Mm. Sorry. 2001 A Space Odyssey for me. Need to rewatch I Is Hated Shining. I'll answer for Neil to a clock report. Yeah. Demon Knight or Bordello of Blood? Demon That's not Knight even a true. question. Bordello of Blood has some fun stuff in it, but it can't hold a candle to Demon Knight. That's fair. Bordello of Blood is about a uh, whorehouse of vampires Ooh, that were okay. raised by the Queen of the Vampires. Lilith is raised by a church that wants to get rid of all the sinners mm -hmm. by having them get like fall into the trap of the vampire. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they fill up super soakers with holy water to fight the vampire prostitutes. That's amazing. <laughs> and then the third movie was Rituals. That movie's awful. Okay. It's essentially a lower budget remake of I Walked with the Zombies. Okay. Mm. Now, so, I mentioned I haven't seen 2001, but, oh yeah, so I'm... Ric Flair's entrance theme mm -hmm. is like the theme from that. So now when I read 2001 as I'm just like, ah, Ric Flair. <laughs> oh, the dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that. Yeah. Which I was like, I've heard that before, but I haven't seen well, 2001. They did it in the beginning of Barbie. They reshot oh, yeah, the beginning of Barbie with the dolls. <laughs> no, but weirdly, I think like an anime that I was really, really into also took okay. it. Like, God, when was I into that? Probably when I was like 14, like 2011, 2012 at the latest. Um, why haven't you blocked that guy yet? Who I saw it? that name pop up oh, again. I don't know. He's probably watching, that's why. I, I don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if you are watching and you're the person in question, fuck mm -hmm. you. Um, okay, okay. Best two movie franchises. That's a good question. Like ever? Yeah, I think so. You're not going to give us like options? You just <laughs> want to know in general? I guess. Uh, two movie franchises. For me, one of is The Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. but I know I'm a little biased. But I mean, I guess, can that be considered a franchise? Because don't know. it's if it's three books. Well, I'm including, I guess, The Hobbit, but I don't, I didn't like The Hobbit yeah, me that either. much, so. Technically, also, it's one book, but I'm not getting into yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Not getting into all that. Well, it's one novel, six books, three volumes. <clears throat> Cause like I, I that's me being really pedantic. So. Yes, because like you know, they're like no one's gonna read all that if it's one volume. You gotta publish it in three. Mm -hmm. No one gotta do so. anything. I'm well, they J.R.R. Right. Tolkien, motherfuckers. I need to see this to big that. old see all this big old dick right here. I'll take that ass to Middle Earth. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, two separate franchises or franchises that are two movies? I like the thing recently. I, I think saw it's two separate franchises. It That's was Tolkien and uh, J.R. Uh, was it Martin? Oh, J.R. Martin. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I, he's like, I'm doing this and this, and and uh, Tolkien's like, yeah, I wrote mine while I was also a full time professor at Oxford. What's your yeah. excuse again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lord of the Rings is so perfect. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, then, yeah, what are your, your top two franchises, movie franchises specifically? <sighs> if you've got them. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. Token because... is dead. Yes, I know. I didn't mean I needed to. <laughs> I am aware. What? When did that happen? <laughs> like is this recent? No. Oh, my <laughs> God. When did he die, actually? I know that I knew this at one point off the top of my head. This is how I find out? Oh my god. What's my favorite franchises? He died in 1973, so it's a little bit later. Than okay, well that, that gives me time then to, to get over it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. in 1892. God damn. Young in there. Like I, like, I knew that logically, right? But, like, 1892? Anyway. I guess if it's like franchises that like don't dip, like Evil mm -hmm. Dead is a franchise that's always been consistent. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at uh, fucking J.R.R. Tolkien's like stuff. Sorry. Mm -hmm. His novel, The Lord of the Rings, is a, 
Thank you for referring to it as one novel. That's correct. Anyway. <laughs> Does the Sex and the City series count as a franchise? Probably. <laughs> I got a bunch of those. Um, I don't know. It's hard. Um, cause I'm trying to think of like, because there's so much stuff I'll watch just, you know, I'll just always yeah. put on. Um, but when I think franchise, I tend to think of movies that got like multiple sequels that don't always have to revolve around the same narrative. So I don't really look at like Batman that way because there's changing actors and all this right. kind of stuff. Or Lord of the Rings because it's based on a pre-existing text. Okay, I see what you're You know saying. what I mean? Yeah. So like, like you're like, I'm just gonna say text. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> so I don't activate meds again. Yeah, um, like the Terminator movies could have stopped after the second one. The mm -hmm. Alien franchise could have stopped after the third one. Still haven't seen any Alien movies. Really? Yeah, I know, right? Because there's a new one coming out, Alien Romulus. Okay. Which looks like it's going back to space, like horror in space. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's hard. That's too vague. There needs to be, like, ramifications. There uh, might be, and I'm just reading. Yeah. How do you say hi in Elvish? Well, it depends on which dialect you're speaking. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> um, the general greeting, and I believe sitting there in this Um All right, no, I'll stop. Um, <laughs> hey, man, nice shot makes Demon Knight infinitely better. Yeah. Yeah, Robert Patrick is a cool actor, but was surprised he's a very religious guy. Same with Tom Mariah from Slayer. Yeah, yeah. I yep. mispronouncing his name. Uh, Tolkien is dead, lol. Rip, I know it's too soon. <laughs> 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 two movie only or two books, one, three movies. Wait, two? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait. So this is in response to best two movie franchises. Wait, two separate franchises, a franchise that are two movies. Two movie only, or two books, one, three movies. I think we're missing another noun. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was like, yeah, that's like a weird, like, SAT question. Right yeah. <laughs> two movie only, or two books, one, three movies. Or, did you have a stroke while you were writing that? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I got this. Okay. Two movies only. Two, so two franchises, or two, yeah. Two movies, or two books. Well, now I'm lost on one, three movies. I'm doing my best, man. You need, like, a Rosetta Stone to get to this <laughs> one. Azure's Evil Dead is a great show. It was yeah. so good, and yep. I saw it before I saw any Evil Dead movie. Really? Yeah. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get all the references. Oh, it's great. But two movies that everyone in knows. Okay, wait. Two movie only, or two books. One, three movies. But two I literally, movies. like, I'm gonna get a nosebleed from you explaining this. <laughs> but two movies that everyone in knows. Two um, movies <laughs> in that everyone knows? Because these are, this is the same person, so I'm assuming these are continuing thought. So it's, hold on. Two set of franchises, a franchise are two movies. Two movies only, or two books. One Three movies, but two movies that everyone in <laughs> Carry the Six <laughs> divided by grass. Sorry, can you please say like, that? I I don't know what happened here, but I don't understand where you're at. You've been completely coherent up until then, so I don't understand what happened. <laughs> like that's not even like English is your first language. Like English is way that's down the mean, list. Literally, they, they literally, <laughs> literally every other sentence from them has been coherent. I have understood every single thing they've said. Until that. They're like, I was really enjoying this conversation until all my fingers fell off and I still had to finish <laughs> the conversation. Look. Um, well, that faux shock about Tolkien reminds me of that scene in Tron Legacy. Why is that keep coming up today? Where Olivia Wilde asks if Sam knows Jules Verne and he says yes, she goes, what is he like? Oh my god. Uh, Mission Impossible could maybe be that great. Yeah, movie. I can okay. see that. Aside from the second movie, that is a strong franchise. Okay. Every time they say Brandon, just... I said the words, mostly. Look, I, I'm trying. Mostly. Um, oh, that was someone else who said that. Okay, uh, Halloween was done after the first film, lol, but I enjoyed the rest. Batman franchise is basically just a series of remakes, but they're good, mostly. Yeah. Everything I've heard about Alien Romulus is that they're just doing the Alien Isolation game, but without Ripley's kid. Oh, okay. I'll help the Giver and the Giver to you go. Mark that movies. I like the first two Guyver movies a lot, actually. <laughs> Guyver with Mark Hamill? That's my choice. Yep. Okay. So, 
You're saying like two movies from a friend. Now I'm in, now I'm even more confused. Because okay, <laughs> two movies, two movies only, or two books, two movies, like or, out of one of yeah. three. Okay, out of three movies. For example, I'll help the Giver and the Giver to you go. Mark that movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry I'm am I, is this me like am I <laughs> no um, I'm doing my best I'm sorry Guyver with Mark Hamill that's my choice okay it's a good series so they're doing Alien Romulus 10 years after replacing it with Prometheus which I actually enjoyed but that mm-hmm. might be because I haven't seen any Alien movies yeah Trailer looks like they should have started with it first. Okay. Yeah. Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> Someone said two movies, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> Fast and Furious franchise, bring it. The Guyver 2, greatest interpretation of anime ever anyone can debate. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Okay. Badu Barata Nikto, right? Barata oh, Barato Nikto. No, I don't. Do you know what that's from? <laughs> You've said it before. So that's the secret. That's the words that Ash has to say to get the book. Yeah, okay. But it's actually the the words that from the day of the Earth. So it's still that the okay. robot says. That's like the secret code. Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah. I like that. Klata Baratu. Because <laughs> he can't remember the last thing and it yeah. winds up awakening the dead. Amazing. Oh, oh fuck. That's great. Two movies from <laughs> I'm really stuck on that. So, okay. two movies. Two movies. One book. <laughs> or two books. Two franchises. <laughs> subtract 11. <laughs> it's like... One, three movies. So, if they could tra- change the track, it would kill an old person, but not a bunch of babies. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. I don't understand any of this anymore. I don't know either. Mm-hmm. Um, Are we all caught up with everybody? Yeah. All right, we're gonna call this a night. Oh yeah, it's one thirty. Because I'm getting, I'm starting to get okay. tired. Um, how long do we stream? Uh, you stream Holy for shit! Hours Six and a half hours. Dude. Yeah. All right, this is a long ass stream for us. I love Prometheus. It should have been a trilogy of what became what that five minute flashback in Alien Covenant. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Okay. All right, guys, right, that's all for tonight. Good night. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for checking in. Is it? Yeah. That's what I oh, mean. no. That's in the live stream now. Yeah, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> I thought you had already hit mm-hmm. it.